and lovely jewellery makers. How are we all? What day is it today? I actually don't know. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Today. Yeah, there yes. we go. There we go. You know, you just don't know where you are. What's my name? Where do I come from? Mm -hmm. What day is it? Exactly. You know, often? All the time. All the time. I've got the lovely Linda, Good morning. everybody. Good morning. It feels like ages since we've done a show It is together. ages. Yes, it is. It is. Honestly, it's um pre christmas now, february before christmas yes no way yeah oh well it's nice to see you back it's lovely to see you too oh you're looking lovely as always thank you and stunning jewelry as always well, oh my goodness um, me the kits today amazing pearls yeah, and they are. Do I spot a little bit of Botswana there, Linda? You certainly do, and it's absolutely glorious. It's such a long time since I've seen Botswana up close and personal, and it's a joy to it, meet it you? again, yes. It's absolutely the peach, I think. Lovely. That's the yeah. rare salmon peachy hue. The, the peach hue. Botswana, yeah. Oh, my goodness yeah, me, beautiful. as you can see. So you've got your Botswana kits, which you can see these amazing pieces right now, on your screens. They're coming up at 9 o'clock, mm -hmm. uh, which come up with, uh, come with um, a few other little goodies, of mm -hmm. course. And of course, um, your project, sorry, mm -hmm. I've, said, I've done it already, haven't I? Yeah, it's going to take some to. getting used to this, isn't it? Yes, definitely <laughs> after nigh on 14 years. Yeah, yes. projects, they come with written instructions as well. Mm -hmm. For so one that's piece, fantastic. yes. So, you can, yeah. so you've got that reference. That's available um, when your order is uh, dispatched. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll get the project home and then you'll have the instructions there for you to reference as mm -hmm. well. And then at 12 o'clock, well, we can't have a Linda show without Linda having pearls. No. Because they are your favorite, mm -hmm. aren't they? They certainly are. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I fell in love with pearls many years ago and it's a long-lasting love affair. Yeah, totally. Absolutely incredible. And you've got some lovely little elements within there as well. Mm -hmm. So that's your projects at 12 o'clock today. But not only that, jewellery makers. Now, I'm really excited about your deal of the day um, because you know how we've brought you some absolutely amazing master carvings over the past sort of three, four years? Maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's probably about that time frame. Um, but for me, I just think they just keep getting more and more and more and more exciting as the time goes on. That being said it's becoming more and more and more difficult to actually get hold of them but can you know how we're fascinated by those interlocking links and like how do you carve something from one solid boulder in like a link yes, and get it interlocked yes I'll ask this question how do you carve something with an internal moving part I, I, I can't get my head around it your deal of the day today is the famous story the legend that is the dragon and the pearl but instead of having, you know, a beautiful dragon carved with a pearl, it's a beautiful dragon and a spinning pearl inside. Inside. It's almost like a, a fidget piece of yes. jewellery, isn't it? Yes. I, I just, where do you begin with something like that? But the pearl in the centre actually rotates. And then this, I, I, I can't, look at this. The other one is a spinning horse. So this rotates internally so clever how amazing is that you can see the horse just there just absolutely mind-blowing the skill to and it's not something that you can solder or cast it's carved in the same ancient way um as was hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago by hand so yeah in a solid gemstone so that rotates internally so those are your deal of the day's jewelry maker so we've got the famous story of the dragon of pearl you've got the beautiful horse that rotates inside um, in the circle of heaven mind blown and then jewelry makers as well let's, let's show you your early bird this morning now you know how we we spoke about the magnetic clasp how it was a revolution when it first launched here at gemporia not just jewelry maker um, I believe for the first time today we're actually bringing you a diamond cut variety because I've not oh. seen that before. No, neither have I. Look at how pretty they are. Well, you get such beautiful sparkle from that diamond faceting. Um, just taking your magnetic clasp up a notch or two. 
Um, so as if they're almost bejeweled with beautiful diamonds. And as you can see, they're in the three colours. Now, um, these are in your eight o'clock hour, so you can shop ahead on these jewellery makers. So take a little look at all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. If you click watch live to the uh, top right hand side of the screen, and then if you scroll down, you'll see all the items in this hour. Your early bird, um, that's the gold, the rose gold and the silver diamond cup, first time ever in your magnetic class. Everything's frozen, don't worry. Um, but you can do it. You know what to do, don't you? Um, so shop ahead on those. Just to give you a little bit of a heads up, we've got 55 of the rose, we've got 85 of the yellow, and we've got 150 of the silver. Um, and I think it's not just going to be me that's excited about the diamond cup magnetic class. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. Not only that, jewelry makers, you've also got the final few opportunities of um, your black series. You know how how jade forms in a series of different shades. So, um, got last available opportunities of those. We've also got some absolutely in incredible pearls um, Ross and I we've heard on the grapevine about these pearls but we haven't actually physically seen them in person um, so oh you've been waiting by the vault for them oh oh my goodness me well they're scheduled in today's show as well that's in the 11 o'clock hour isn't it if I remember rightly um, so beautiful fireball pearls and I know that Dave spotted some fireballs over in Tucson just gone a couple of days ago uh, and they've been sold individually as I said they were um, some couple of years ago and this is a nice little treat jewelry makers we have absolute last of stock opportunities in the willow and tig collection that was launched Two years ago? It must be two years ago, mustn't it? Yeah. I mean, Tiggy was tiny, wasn't she? She was a little yeah. little dot then. Yeah. So these are very last of stock. We've got a lovely selection here, Ross. You've got the Garnet, you've got the Buddha, you've got the Willow Tree, um, you've got the Rose, you've got the Tiger, but these are extremely limited, like ones and twos on most of them. Some of them are a bit more um, more available, aren't they? Um, but the majority are actually very, very limited. So we're going to be saying saying bon voyage to the willow and tig collection and there's no plans to do any future pieces because we're all so busy aren't we and frankly i think you get amazing collections without without my input oh i don't know about that Elle. i mean that is a stunning collection i mean as soon as i walked into the studio this morning that willow tree like i said to you just hit oh, bless you know, you. the luster of it and the elegance of that, of that pendant you. is gorgeous Bless you. Well, the last of stock opportunities, they're coming up at 11 o'clock as well. As always, drop us a message. Come and say hi. We would love to hear from you this morning. Let's say hello to our fantastic crew. We've got gorgeous Dan. Hi, gorgeous Dan. You're right, lovely. Yeah, good You're good. 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 We've got luscious Lauren. No, she's not there. Um, <laughs> lush, lush, oh, there she is. <laughs> Ooh, she says, um, in the gallery, who I know you can't see, you have the man with all the deals. You've got the fantastic Ross. I'm a glug of tea as we speak. And then we have got gorgeous Adam as well. Gorgeous Adam, he is there. You're right, Ads. You're right. It's just what you were just talking about his rewire on his house. Oh, just gosh. before, I know. Been it's a big that job done that. there and got several t-shirts from big that. Big job. Right then, should we get cracking? Um, oh, some beautiful heshies in your lovely shell. Um, let's see how many of you are watching. Because, yeah, I think you've all known uh, know that uh, if you tune in bright and early, there's a custom that Ross likes to start his shows with uh, each morning. I'm not, I'm not promising that that's what's going to happen now, but you stand a good chance. Um, so your lovely Heshies, beautiful. You get a lovely linear-like look, but also remember you can flip them um, and almost create like a bubble style. We've got how many? 20, did you say? 25 exactly, but there's loads of you trusting the process. They trust you, Ross. Yeah, thought so. There you go. Pound. Wow. A pound. It's it's become Ross's thing. His signature, Linda. Likes to start the show with one pound deals. With a one pound deal. With a one pound deal, wow. yeah. 
It's become his thing. Um, Vera, Julie, hello to you. Dawn, Rhonda, Lisa, Jennifer, Chantal, Amanda, Rupal, Ella, Lisa. I can't keep up with you. Nottinghamshire, we had 25 and there's quite a bit of multi-buying going on. Ella in Essex, lovely to see you. Make sure you're checking out everyone. Um, amazing, one pound deals. It's Wednesday morning and we're all feeling excited for the show because it is going to be a cracker today, isn't it? Um, we've got lovely Linda. What more could we possibly want on a Wednesday morning? It's a, a, with pearls, yeah, exactly. That's like the epitome of a yeah, good Wednesday show. Blender. Amazing. Well done, well done, well done. Uh, moving on, let's do some beautiful lapis lazuli. Um, you actually get two cups in this strand. Now, you could not possibly, Ross. I, no way, no way, Ross. No way. I, 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 I. He says, this is the last one I've got today, by the way. It's the only one he could find of these deals. But there's no way on earth that our lovely Roscoe, even Ross, you know, and let's be honest, he can deliver on, on deals. He says, I have got 40. And he is going to do it. It's been on air twice. And do you want to know where it's closed, both those occasions? £34.99. pence. So it's never been lower than £34.99. £19.99 is already a brand new low. Having said all that, if we just squeezed it under £10, I mean, that's amazing. If, it, if it's been on air at £34.99, under £10, amazing. He could not possibly. He's only gone and done it. A pence. Oh, my goodness. Or as we like to say, pence. A pence. It's a pet, 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 pet. Gosh, you can't get plastic beads on a strand for that. No, well, uh, yeah. I well, it's wrong on so. so many levels. Tears. Much like Ross. Every level. <laughs> he missed that one, though, didn't he? Aren't you, Ross? You're wrong on so many levels. <laughs> Only joking. Just joking. Just, and he goes, no, 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 you're right. I am. I am. Not really. He's a good. He's a good guy. I promise. I promise. I promise. Uh, <laughs> shall we do a beautiful capital on the tans? <laughs> right. Um, okay. We can't do any more one pound deals, but we do promise we'll bring you some big closeout deals. Um, a one and a half carat tans like cabochon. Oh. Beautiful calibration. So eight by six will fit in most of your mounts. Um, which I think, I believe, you can still get off our website as we speak. Look at that, look at that intensity of color. When you picture tanzanite uh, as, you know, um, gem quality tanzanite, I, it's look, it looks like this. Gem quality tanzanite, that vanadium rich blue. Even here at 29 pounds and 99 pence, goodness me, that's already low when we all, when we all well, recognise, remember that this is a one locational gemstone. We know that there's, well, they estimate about 15 to 20 years remaining of mining. That being said, so, you know, 29.99 is already a great early bird deal. How many do we have then? 20 remaining. First price crash. Drop your messages in as well. Come and say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you this morning. Tell us what you're up to. First price crash, nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Ah, oh, amazing. Um, but we're not stopping there. We're going even lower. Um, it look. Can you imagine if you're able to get two, which twenty quid? You know, that's three carats. If you know, if you wanted to make some three carat earrings, how amazing is that? Now we're going lower, but we have to put a time restraint on this. You've got a minute at this next price crash um, before we have to move on. And do remember everything um, is only available within this hour and then everything on the web will disappear only in the eight o'clock hour. But that's how we push those boundaries even further. Six pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers for Tanzanite. It's opportunities like this that I kind of think, oh, I bet, I bet we're not popular, you know. I bet we're not popular with our with our colleagues when we're doing Tanzanite deals like this. You know, because 
Visualise this in 14 karat gold or 18 karat gold, maybe with a few accent in diamonds. It ain't going to be anywhere near the price that's on your screens. Um, have a look at our website. You can find the ring mounts there. Make sure you're checking out, though, to guarantee that price tag. And I always say this, are we going to regret purchases like this when we know the gemstone is going to deplete in the foreseeable? Highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. Jan in Oxfordshire stacked up too. Well done. I've got Irene and Rachel there on the, um, in, uh, on the web. I've got people on the phone lines as well. 15 seconds and I've got to move on. Again, simple gem setting. So our website, you can get a four prong mount for a really good price as well. Just a little bit of coaxing of those prongs. We can even show you how to do that. And you've just made yourself fine jewelry. Well done everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Mm, moving on to, uh, oh, I love this. Um, you know, you were saying you gravitated towards the pen that pendant i gravitated towards the hessonite garnet mm -hmm. i love hessonite yes it's beautiful it just glows doesn't it absolutely i mean stunning. look at that glow and that's under that perspex top yeah you've got this plastic lid effectively hessonite loves natural light so here in the studio we have zero um but when you take it outside you will see this really beautiful almost reddish well, imagine like a cognac, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, like, like a, a, an armagnac. Yeah, yeah beautiful, beautiful colour. And it's totally and utterly natural. Big stone, you've got eight carats and one cabochon. £14.99 pence only. Again, totally and utterly natural. Hessonite garnet, that you get different varieties of garnets. You get the reds, obviously, which is probably the most recognised. But you can also get your greens, you can get your lime colours, you can get colour change. Um, Hessen, you get orange. Hessonite has got that really delicious colour saturation. We've just halved that price tag. Let's take it even lower. How about we break through that milestone under £10 and not just buy a penny? And we're going again. 60 second clock on your screen. You, uh, have you got quantity of these? 60. I am asking for my own personal benefit because I absolutely love Hessonite. See that reddish colour? And it's, but it's not like a, it's not like a pillar box red. No, no, it's a it's chestnutty a red, isn't yeah, it? Almost, it's, got that, it's got that sort of fire behind yeah. it, that warmth. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Almost amber like. Yeah. Um, yeah. It would be the finest quality cherry amber. In 35 seconds, jewelry makers, we're going even lower. Good luck to each and every single one of you. 0800. Uh, six triple four six double five. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Gloria, Maker, Janet, Marie. Nice to see you there. Um, drop us a message. Come and say hello, Deborah. You can see I can see you on the web as well. Beautiful. This will work with your wire work, your uh, gallery wire, your um, CB bezeling. You could do that too. How about bead embroidery? Even if you haven't got a Scooby Doo clue, what you're going to do with it as of yet? It's one of those items at six ninety nine, but not stopping there. Sorry, what was it before? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Six ninety nine. You know it's an absolute steal. We've better than half that price tag, jewelry makers, for you. Claire, Una, Peter, and Sharon. Una, I mean, I'm I'm thinking about your wire work. I'm just seeing your name on the call screens right now. Una does amazingly intricate wire work. Imagine one of these in the centre of some wire work. I'd love to see that in in that sort of evil eye. Is it? Oh sort of yeah. Eye of Horus type of. Very uh, nice design yeah very be beautiful very nice. as a, a sort of a a brooch pin for a pashmina oh beautiful 6.99 and and i think i'm right in actually saying this was the first gemstone that our founder actually unearthed with his own two hands yes that's right so we've got a yeah. lot to thank our hessonite garnet mm. for haven't we and i mean when you think it's an ancient 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 gemstone i yeah. mean that that actual gemstone there could be and possibly is thousands and thousands of years old yeah and here we are mm. at 6.99 yeah. yeah it's crazy isn't it yes it is crazy when you say it out, when you say it out loud 6.99 for a gemstone that has that has formed yeah. in the earth mm -hmm. is incredibly rare incredibly beautiful as well um, no reflection of the true value or worth of course make sure you check it out Jacqueline stacked up two Claire well done Peter and Sharon Deborah says I'll have three at that price tag thank you very much jewelry makers there's more where that came from you know Shall we do a jewellery box? Uh, I've got two. The black one first. Well, these are nice. Dare I say it? I know it's only February, but stocking fillers. Or just because gifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just because gifts. Be lovely to make a oh. piece of jewellery for a, 
a friend or somebody who's done you a very nice, kind gesture or something. Yeah. And, and that is a just because. Um, and pop it inside that. Do you know, the jewellers that I worked at, Linda, used to sell these, like, travel jewellery boxes. Mm -hmm. And they were really expensive. Mm -hmm. And we've got that leather, a nice star detail on the zip. The fact, this is really practical. You can put your earrings up here or your pence or your chains. You've got a little pouch just there maybe for the chain to go in so it doesn't all tangle and knot. You've got areas for your rings or earrings and also you've got the um, so little, I don't know how to describe those well, there. You could put your um, earrings, stud earrings. Stud in earrings there, you? Yeah. in that bit there as well. 9 99 now, closed at 9 99 last time that it was on. This is lovely. You know, if you go away for a weekend or on holiday or something like that, rather than just sticking it in a jiffy bag, which let's be honest, we've all done it. We've all done it. I'm guilty of it too. Actually looking after the jewellery um, and putting it in a proper case like so. It closed at 19 99 last time it was on air on the 1st of February. What, last year? Oh, yeah, because it's February now, isn't it? I re actually do not know what day of the week I, I six days ago closed at like oh wow that's ridiculous isn't it in the best possible way four ninety nine that is a definite item for a present for isn't it definitely get it for next Christmas exactly I know you all laugh at me. I know you all laugh at me. Valentine's Day, good point. Um, Miss Janet, hello to you. Hi, gorgeous girls and Team JM. What a lovely treat to see Linda on my telly box. Oh, thank you. Uh, it is a treat, Bless isn't it, Miss Janet? Thank you I so totally much. agree. Always a treat to see our lovely Linda. Um, 4 99 I'm absolutely shocked at that. It is one of those, even if you haven't got a clue who you're going to gift it to, even if you haven't got, even if you're thinking, oh, I haven't got any trips planned yet. I you mean, know you're going to use also some for point. a man as well if you do some um, cufflinks yeah. and things like that. You know, a guy needs a little com compartmental uh, carrier like that for the various cufflinks. Definitely. You know, particularly if you go on holiday where, let's say, it's a cruise or it's somewhere where you in a very nice hotel where you dress for dinner. Every yeah, night. you need your nice jewellery with you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and and that could even go in your handbag if you're yeah. reluctant to put it in your suitcase, couldn't it? Yeah. You could actually put it in your handbag. Um, you know what? We got a pink one too. Beautiful pink one too. Amazing. Mm. So, for example, I would choose this one, but I know if my little Willow or Tiggs yeah, yeah, yeah. would choose this one. Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. Definitely. And they like to take jewelry, don't they? Yeah, yeah. If oh, they're yeah. Going away. yeah. Well, not absolutely. just take. Actually, that would be nice on a little dressing table, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, a little um, treasure box. Yes. Beautiful. You know, but they, they can put all their earrings, costume jewellery or otherwise. It's getting into the habit of looking after them. Tell you what we're going to do. We'll match the price tag, jewellery makers. Oh, I might have the both of them. You might have one for certain pieces of jewellery, certain one for the other. Um, again, <coughs> excuse me, also comes with that lovely little star zip. Match the price for you as well. Again, perfect present draw gift. You might be going into hospital or something like that and you want to take certain pieces of jewellery or maybe you're going to know you're going to have to take pieces of jewellery off then actually to have that um, to have that available to keep it safe you know I would I <coughs> if I managed to get I mean I could do with a couple of these because even this morning I was getting stressed about the fact that um, I was sort of rustling about in my very large sort of jewelry. It's not full of very precious jewelry, but it's full of precious jewelry to me. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And um, I would keep those solely for earrings. Yeah, absolutely. You perfect know, for perfect earrings, perfect aren't they? For, for, for earrings, definitely, because they, you know, they they often use the butterflies, or you can yep. you can twist the shepherd hook on the earring if you sort of cram them into something larger than that. But in there, not only can you see them straight away but they'll also remain damage free. Absolutely. Um, hello to you Irene, say, morning ladies, bought these little jewellery boxes in three colours for presents, uh, received yesterday, they're beautiful. Thank you, love Irene. Oh, you're very welcome. Very, very, they are lovely, aren't they? You can feel the quality of them, Irene, can't you? And can I also say Valentine's Day is round the corner. Mm -hmm. You know, how perfect. 
little Valentine's gift, not breaking the bank, is it for a fiver? You wouldn't get one rose for that, <coughs> would you? No, a red rose, no, definitely not. Do you know what, you say that. Um, you know, I'm involved like the PTFA for Willow mm -hmm. School. They were looking at, um, and there's suppliers that supply sort of little gifts for the kids to buy. Um, a, a, a plastic rose mm. was £2.50. Mm. £2.50. Um, okay, let's do what, sorry? The early birds that are coming up and available on pre-order. Um, I fully expect these to be a sellout because we've done magnetic class, of course, but never anything like this where they're actually beautifully diamond cut, faceted in, in effect. Um, so you're going to get this really almost parve set vision as the light hits each and every single one of those facets. Now we've got them in the three different colours. Very contemporary, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Um, and we've got them in all three colours. So you can shop ahead on these, choose your preference. Maybe you're thinking, I want to make sure I've got all of those colours. They're on the website as we speak right now coming up within this hour um so there's the yellow gold vert. aren't they lovely yeah, so they, beautiful this is that um you know if you do asymmetric jewelry which i'm a great huge fan of um and you want to asymmetrically pop the clasp yeah and so consequently you know you could do with a decorative clasp couldn't you yeah you want it to and be nice. the decorative magnetic clasps are perfect for that because you can say drop one single row from um, the top solder yep. jump rings round to say one on the other side mm -hmm. and um, and then you can drop more than one row on the bottom one so yep. you've got a very fashionable um, stylized piece of jewelry yeah absolutely yeah you'd want it to be seen if you have a look on the website jewelry makers look at where we're starting I mean that's already when you consider this is diamond faceted um, so items number one, two, and three. Um, if you want to guarantee yours, shall we guarantee these? They are 925 sterling silver, yeah. Under £10 today, says Ross. There's a price pledge for you. So if you can shop ahead, you can secure yours, you can check out, safe in the knowledge that everyone pays that final low. They are magnetic clasps as well. I mean, the magnetic clasp in itself surely is best part of a tenner. But this is diamond cut on top of that as well. So shop ahead on those so you don't miss out. We've got quantity um, 50, 85 and 155. I actually don't think that's that many. So, I mean, imagine using one of those on, say, your, uh, um, your shades of of black jade eye and like linda said if it does work its way around or you wear it asymmetrically you know it's it, it's beautiful how about yeah all three under 30 pounds that's amazing you know what i suggest as well is um if you buy one then buy two yeah of each preferably um simply because you can you can go then go into capsule jewelry because it's a magnetic clasp you can then create um as I was saying, you know, the sort of one strand around the back of the neckline and then multi strands coming yeah. asymmetrically from just below the shoulder blade. And if you buy more than one, you can mix and match then. You can put one design on the one and clip it to its, yeah, lovely. its partner. That's it's magnetic. Nice. And then you can make a completely different design. That. Interchangeable. Pop them in your little jewellery box and you've got capsule jewellery for holidays. Interchangeable. And when you're off on holiday, you can put it in your jewellery box as well, can't you? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Shop ahead on those. Um, amazing. Guarantee your place. Uh, I've got the most beautiful amethyst, Ross. Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, that's, yeah. Do you that's know, chocolate box purple. Perfect, isn't it? We, and we used to, I know I've said this recently, we used to see amethyst all the time, but yeah. we rarely ever see no, it now. No, we don't, no, Imagine no. this with one of your diamond cut magnetic glass, mm -hmm. how stunning that would be. Or with your shades of black, jade eye, or with the pearls, for example. This is... Oof. yeah clearly yeah. zambian am uh, amethyst you can tell that because as, as linda was saying it's that perfect chocolate box purple um hematite spaces yeah so they don't discard those they are genuine gemstones um in between look how beauty that beautiful that strand is just simply restrand it exactly uh, I was as about it is to say that you read my mind just a simple restrand it's yeah. an elegant beautiful wearable piece of power, absolutely oh penny has dropped what month are we in oh gosh yes february month of february yeah 
February's birthstone Birthday. is amethyst. And jewellery maker usually gives you a little bit of an incentive, don't we? Yeah. Get 20% wow. off February's birthstone amethyst with Feb 20. That's off your show prices as well, not just the web only. That's off show deals as well. So it's about another six pounds if I'm my maths are right. Yeah, isn't that's it? right, yeah. And we're not even stopping there. Oh, wow. We're not even stopping there. Like you said, Linda, I would just literally restrand yeah, this, would, put it on a nice yeah. clasp. You really would. Wow. Wow. Goodness so you get another me. two pounds off that price yeah. tag then. Eight pounds today. Look at the quality. I mean it's textbook, isn't it? Dare I even say it? I'm gonna say it. Look at the look at the image of your discount code yeah the strand i have before you is by far the best quality of all those would we all agree i perhaps should i perhaps won't be thanked for saying that but it's true though mm -hmm. there's no there's minimal inclusions you've got that perfect chocolate box color eight pounds for you this morning we've got 60 available and there's a load of you adding it to your baskets as well yorkshire sue caroline janet sorry london helen lee hello to your new customers claire uh cynthia susan caroline in cambridgeshire morning everybody look how pretty that is it's textbook it's when we imagine amethyst it's this beautiful well it is yeah. it's that it's, yeah, it's so that, that that's the picture milk tray box mind, color isn't it that that beautiful, deep, glowing, rich, velvet purple. The purple one out of Quality Streets. Yeah. It's that colour, oh, yes. isn't it? Yes. It's that. Take advantage of that 20% discount. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ross is saying he, he always thinks that uh, top quality amethyst reminds him of tanzanite, but it's in the opposite. Does that make sense? So you've actually got tanzanite gives you sort of the, the, the pinkish purple as a secondary hue, where, and, um, whereas amethyst with the blue body color yeah whereas amethyst gives you the pinkish purple and then the blue is the secondary color because it is pleochroic also yeah good point roscoe um use your discount code feb20 um so that makes this amazing strand eight pounds only it is busy this wednesday morning it's lovely to be with you all i hope you're well enjoying your week thus far Anne marie cynthia caroline janet yorkshire london helen sue maker new customers getting involved claire irene emma um, uh, maker Anne Marie um, make sure you check it out we only had 60 of them and drop us a message don't be shy we are live here in the studio we would love 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 to hear from you this Wednesday morning tell us what you're up to you do have you got any plans have you got any plans for February what's going on in February it's a busy month for me February this February it's not normally it's not like an annual thing this February I'm very busy I'm here a lot over over uh, February as well so I've taken lots of overtime shifts I hope that's okay and we're finally getting our bifold doors done <laughs> you are finally yes. getting that well, supposedly anyway we'll see I've Fingers jinxed it crossed. now haven't I yeah. I've said it now yeah. um make sure you check it out what are you up to you going away have you got a project that you're you're keen to start in fact speaking of projects this would look lovely with your 12 o'clock projects wouldn't it oh gosh yeah I love amethyst and pearls together I think that's yeah. just an amazing I mean, combination Amethyst for me as a gemstone. Yeah. Um, again, uh, it's a very historically yeah. um, a historical gemstone. Goes back centuries, decades, thousands of years. Um, it has a lot of myth and legend, and I do a lot of reading about gems. Yes. Whether it's online, in books, wherever. Um, I was sitting in the library the other day with my granddaughters and they were looking for books to take home and there was me, I was rooching through a gemstone encyclopedia. And um, there is nothing better than having a gemstone in your hand yeah. and reading all of its provenance and all yeah. of its education actually. It's magical that The is. history. And amethyst is incredibly interesting. Absolutely. Well you can see the regality can't you yeah. uh, actually attached to this gemstone. I've got how many left? 14 of these left. Lots of multi-buyers getting involved. We don't see amethyst very often. You would almost expect it to be one of our regulars mm -hmm. and it used to be but mm -hmm. sadly not now. Make sure you are checking out your baskets. Use Feb20 your discount code to get that further 20% off. Um, an already amazing prize for quite literally 
textbook. And I'll say it again, the amethyst that you've just acquired is better than the ones photographed on this behind me. It is though, let's be honest, it's a better quality. Um, there's eight of them left. Still time for you to get involved, just about. Um, London, Pauline, I've got five of them left now. Irene, Cody, Maker, Emma, Susan, sorry. It will remain on the web for 26 further minutes until everything disappears literally disappears um so that's how you secure these early bird deals everyone it would go beautifully with your early bird as well um your diamond faceted magnetic class so do make sure you don't uh, miss out on that as well fantastic well done everybody now i have the most amazing blacksmith now have you seen this strand oh it's so beautiful you'll like this as well linda there's something about black spinel oh for me. there is isn't there, there is I something love it. about it you know, when you see it, you're looking for another thing to say about yeah. it because it just, you know, it promotes... There's not enough words, is no, there? there isn't. There's not enough words. No. Now, no. the closing price, says producer Ross, it's ridiculous. Wrong. He says, I didn't launch it. I didn't determine the price. But it is bad, he says. Okay, right. I'm intrigued. Look at how perfect that black spinel strand is. Black sp I know what you're going to say now. I know what you're going to say. This is, you're not going to tell me this is Burmese, are you? Oh, goodness me. It has to be, doesn't it? Oh, look, just look at the luster on it. But, but, but... The issue, and I understand how this may, maybe have, uh, has gone unnoticed. I don't know how, but it... Uh, country of origin shouldn't be the one thing that we look at first. It should be the quality of the stones. However, the Burmese mine is, is on the point of closure. Don't forget, Spinel is mined alongside your rubies and just sapphires. They form in very, sim uh, very similar circumstances. So Burmese spinel is, H Heinz, uh, so consequently, if B Burmese ruby and sapphire are actually dwindling and to the point of almost running out imminently, so is black spinel. So is your Burmese spinel. It is wrong, Ross, you're right, whatever you take this to, because if it's lower than 34.99, that's already wrong. Look at the quality though. He says if it's wrong at 34.99L, then I don't want to know what this price is then. It is wrong. Burmese spinel Whoa. will run out at the same time that your Burmese ruby will do. The Mogok ruby. Well, under £10. And that's no way near done. Okay, yeah, this has slipped through the net massively. But look at the quality. Look at the quality. It's all about the beautiful surface luster, the exterior of the stone. Um, forms alongside your rubies and your sapphires. Remember, historically, um, this was a gemstone that was often mistaken for either of those gemstones. Black spinel, there's no denying, though. Even you, you, You're not going to mistake black spinel for a black diamond. You're not going to mistake black spinel for an onyx or um, an obsidian because it, it just has that something extra. Uh, that's my humble opinion, I anyway. Think it has more than a black diamond. Totally, absolutely. It's There's more about it, more mm. performance. Um, you get strength as well because it's right up there on the most scale. That to be going a, a single penny lower is so wrong, Ross. You're right. You're right. So wrong. This strand caught my attention the moment I stepped in, uh, foot into the studio this morning. Imagine tassels. Mm. Imagine, oh my goodness me, that is so bad. Oh my word. So I bad. I mean, you know, at this level now, I'm thinking multi stranded, simple necklace, but multi stranded, whether it's long oh. or whether it's. Like the um, Michelle Yeoh necklace. Exactly. You know the one I'm yeah, talking exactly. about I with do. the black opal? Yeah, I do. Which she wore to yeah. that uh, premiere of. Can wasn't the premiere, sorry, it was the red carpet, Oscars possibly. Yeah. Um, for And she got an Oscar, didn't she, for Crouch, uh, Crouching Tiger? That's that right, one. yeah, yeah. But it's black spinel, isn't it? Yes, the multi layers across the deck. It is Crouching Tiger, isn't it? Hidden Dragon, yeah. Um, amazing where it goes, literally across, reaches across her collarbone. So beautiful. Uh, and no, no disrespect for other locations, but, you know, they're not Burmese. They're not Burmese. And There's Burmese something about a Burmese gem that just gives that little bit more performance, yeah, colour. Yeah, totally. 
That's why in the world of rubies and sapphires, it's up there with the best of them. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the same applies when it comes to your spinel. I mean, look, at I don't want to keep my hand still. That's why I want to, I'm rocking it back and forth. So you see, and it's not internal. You're not getting brilliance. You're not getting scintillation or fire. It's all about the external, but it's got to be that dynam dynamic, perfect, not opaque, silky black luster um, of, of spinel. And it's all totally and utterly natural. Yes, I am getting very excited about this opportunity and yes that is far too low in terms of its price tag did we have quantity then ross 60 okay but the call screens have gone crazy there's lots of fours and threes and twos um I, I, like linda said i'm def at that price as well visualizing multi-layers i'm thinking about big tassels and to be able to say that's burmese spinel natural Burmese spinel something that in the foreseeable um, in the foreseeable will most likely deple deplete alongside your Burmese ruby and sapphire um, well done everybody Linda Cindy Yvonne Jacqueline Patricia Jacqueline Linda Veronica Caroline Sharon Janet Heather Pauline getting four maker and Isle of Wight getting four Christine Maeve Ellen Ella uh, Alana um, well done Cynthia what I tell you what, you're part of the problem now, Ross. Part of the problem if you do this. He's like, I shouldn't be doing it, but I want them all to sell out today. <laughs> you're as bad. People in glass houses and all that. Can't be saying, no, that's wrong. It's so wrong. And then you're, you're doing this. Part of the problem. We're going even lower. And that means, by the way, whether you're the first person or the very last person, everybody will pay this, uh, will get this price reduction as well. There's way more than 10 of you with it in your basket, and I've only got that quantity left. So you'll need to be quick. Not one of you, not one of you is going to be paying uh, $6.99. That's already awesome, though. It is absolutely awesome. Stock up your stashes. You can get as many as you wish. Stock permitting, obviously. Could we beat the clock, Roscoe? What do you reckon? We might do, they might sell. we'll still do the price crash, don't worry. Because there's threes, twos, fours, fives getting involved. I've only got 12 left. Oh goodness me, the call screen's gone crazy. Bless you. Have, a, have an extra pound. So you can buy your... Um, Lapis lazuli. Or the gorgeous tanzanite, was it the cab, the cabochon? Was that a tanzanite cabochon? Or the garnet cabochon? Oh, beautiful. As a tassel how amazing five pounds and 99 pence only again if i just literally flip it like so look imagine that in like a big tassel how beautiful that would be how stunning that would be the movement that you get again totally natural all that surface luster um there's just something about for me burmese black spinel something about it is on a whole other level Stratos stratospheres above i just love it i love the light performance um and of course because it is right up there in terms of its hardness you can get that perfect polish that perfect cut um and that's what that's why we're seeing this one as it sold out yeah that's why you're getting that surface uh um performance well done everybody stay where you are um speaking of beautiful cutting as well now amazonite we've we said it the last week didn't we were like amazonite we think big things are on the horizon for amazonite it's already very much in the limelight but even more so i think over the forthcoming couple of years um with likes of monica veneda ashley clark irene newis lots of big designers all working with um amazonite and i don't blame them it's a beautiful tropical gemstone um there's a lovely write-up on uh monica veneda that discusses the fact that this is that bridge between the cold of winter um, and the warmth of spring it also talks about it being the beacon of hope it's a very positive gemstone um, now we've only got 11 available member of the feldspar family um, and it has this wonderful very tropical light blue amazing color perfect faceting again that's the first thing that struck me when i saw this strand and even here at 39 pounds and 99 pence get it now we, we are uh, not meaning to blow your maker's trumpet, but I think we're pretty good at um, recognizing uh, when when a gemstone is on, uh, you know, on the eve of 
enormous success and popularity. Does that make sense? So, and I think I think Amazonite is there right now. I mean, it's big now. Lots of people know about Amazonite, but we think it's gonna, you know, it's it, it, it it's gonna erupt in terms of popularity. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. Um, wow. We haven't what? There's a cup we haven't seen in Amazonite. Not recently, I agree. We've had more rounds, haven't we? Which is lovely too, but not often we actually get the um, bicone like shape. Again, tassels, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Simple, Ashley Clark kind of biography, uh, biography um, inspired bracelets, stunning. Use some of your lovely spaces that we've launched with recently here at Jewelry Maker, just on a simpler, uh, stretchy bracelet, stunning. I love Amazonite. I walk, when I came in this morning, I sort of walked, I was looking for something, and so I was sort of wandered through to the back end of the studio, and that strand stopped me, literally. Yeah. It was to my left, on a table, in quite a dark corner, and it literally stopped me, and I sort of peered down at it, and next to it was that previous strand of spinel. Yeah. And those two Perfect. together, I couldn't take my eyes off yeah, them. Yeah, beautiful. They'd be amazing together. And you're right, even in this in this sort of the darkest or most subdued mm. lighting conditions, Amazonite does glow, doesn't it? Has this Absolutely. amazing glow about it. There they are. That's what um I haven't uh, yeah, they look so stunning together, don't they? But they do, they glow. It's that's, that's the thing. Beautiful. They often say that, don't they? Amazonite um glows at sunrise and sunset. I mean, like a, um, a station necklace, so you've got where you would have chain, you've got your spinel, and then a station of uh, the bicone of Amazon, and just repeat that all the way around will be stunning. Stunning. Loving that. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on that one. Um, oh, or how about actually, oh, hang on a minute, Roscoe, but what about that? That's a nice combination, isn't it? Yeah, it's that sort of gorgeous tactile opaqueness, isn't it? Stunning. Um, amazing. Now, who wants some storage? I've got two. Two storage bags. And I'll show you them both. Do I look professional? Yeah? Amazing. Um, now, they're very different storage containers, which I will show you. One has, if I remember rightly, firstly, very, like vanity case, very robust, yeah. nice zip fastening. This one, I'll show you the difference. It's got those little screw lid oh, wow. pots, of which it's a double layer as well. And this one, I'll show you the two, just so you can see the difference. It's got those containers. Yeah? So we'll do the purple one first, and then we'll come back. Now, there isn't many of these, and they went crazy on storage the other day, jewelry makers. Now, these are fantastic for your findings, for your sea beads, for your micro gemstones. They come also in this nice little robust bit of foam, so that you can just lift that out, and it's double layered. So if I show you, there you go. Um, you've also got your nice sort of netting here that you can put maybe your project instructions oh, within and your tools. Um, it's all there. Um, Mark launched these, didn't he, guest designer Mark? And he was saying, I could actually stand on that. It was wow. like, it's that robust, I could actually stand on it. Well, you and know, I've just started, sorry to interrupt. No, you're all right. I've just started having what I call my grand pre spring clean, nice. where I start to tidy before clean. Yeah. And, um, to be honest, the worst part of my house that is calling out for tidying is the jewellery yeah. part. And um, I did some yesterday, and when I um, sat down last night with a glass of wine, I felt so cleansed. It is cleansing. So organised. I love a sort out, I do. Because, you know, I am continually looking for things like, you know, little crimp beads, crimp covers, clasps, chains, all of the findings, I'm continually rummaging in big plastic bags. Yeah. And it's so annoying um, because, A, you, you're making a, a noise, you're getting yourself stressed. But if you just open a box and you see all those little pots and yeah, it's, it's, you can see through them and see what's in and there. And that's going to aid your creativity what it as does, well, isn't it, it? It absolutely does. It clears, it keeps your mind clear, you don't get stressed at all. 
Right, this is the second one, jewelry makers. Again, this is the larger. If you remember when we launched, around about our birthday, wasn't it? This size, you know, where you have the one stack, but you actually get the two stacks. Jewelry maker logo just there. Adjustable strap there as well. I don't know if you can see that. So that's adjustable. You've also got the hand holding on top. Velcro, zippy zip. Sorry, that was my mic, sorry. Um, and there you go. And then you have these. Plastic, plastic containers. When you get round to your jewellery bit in your room, in your house, you need these at, at I mean, your disposal. I mean, I've got absolutely tons of um, Heshi beads. Yeah, well, they'd be perfect, perfect for that. Isn't it? And and also, Linda, these are removable, so oh, they're yes, adjustable. So Does that make spaces, sense? Yes. So you can make your spaces even bigger mm. or smaller. So look at this one up here. That's got two slots, um, and you get what? How many is it there? One, two, three, together, four, five, yeah. ten. 10 altogether, yeah. Amazing. £29.99. Do you know what? I, I, You know, you sometimes see these programs where people go in and have, sort out people's, like, organise yeah, yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. I'd love that. Yeah. I'd love to do that. I, I do like having a little sort out. Oh, yeah. Every so often. Yeah. It's easy when you haven't got kids around your feet. Yeah. But I, 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 I find it really enjoyable. Yeah, it's very, it is very cleansing, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Give mm -hmm. everything a nice clean, nice and organised. And then ultimately, jewellery makers, that's going to benefit your creativity, mm -hmm. isn't it? The pieces of jewellery. And you know where everything is, as opposed to sort of scratching around at the bottom mm -hmm. of boxes and right. bags, etc. £29.99 pence only. That's incredible, isn't it? That's an amazing price, um, I think, just for these containers inside. So you can get... Do you see where I'm coming from? In fact, didn't Mark say that these are best part of about eight, three pounds each, mm. and the bag for free? Yeah, they wouldn't be three pound elsewhere, would they? What do you reckon? Seven ninety nine? Eight pound sticks in my head as well. Yeah, Moscow, storage for some is expensive. You go into craft shops, you know the big, yeah. sort of hypermarket craft shops or any craft shop really. Storage is expensive. It is. You know, because and, it's and reusable, really, with isn't this, it? you don't have to limit it to jewellery making components. No. I mean, my husband's building a model railway at the moment, and um, that would be such a bonus for him for all the little bits all and the pieces little bits. he's looking for. All the yeah. little bits and pieces, absolutely. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Last of stock opportunities on those. Now, of the Black Spinel jewellery makers, there's two. And of the Amethyst, there's one. So, um, before we dive into your early bird, you want to show what, sorry? Uh, this. Someone's purchased it and they've asked to see it. We won't say who, just in case it's a present or something like that. But you want to see it in person. But, oh, uh, it has sold, ah, uh, uh, these are amazing. They are truly, truly amazing. It comes box like so. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. I don't, oh my goodness. Hang on. Let me oh. just I'm gonna keep keep high when we say high luster, that is the understatement wow. of the century. Bear with me, I wanna take you get the clasp, which I know is a minor detail, but still you get that. But look. Wow. <gasps> I'd have to have there that. There are on your my wrist. pearls. Now the bidder Wow. The moment we put this on your screen, eight people add it to your basket. You've got yours. Well done. You've got. You've done it. There is only one, at one hundred and forty-nine pounds. Now, if you are one of those eight people, you can always wish list it. Um, how amazing are they? Eleven of you are on the phone line to that wish list it. It has sold out, but congratulations to the collector that managed to get hold of that. Oh my goodness me, absolutely amazing goodies so far today. Now, up next, it's your early bird. We have brought you the beautiful, the revolutionary magnetic clasp, haven't we, for many a years. However, never to my knowledge like this before, faceted as if it were a diamond, bringing you the beautiful surface luster and sparkle of diamond cutting. Up next, in all three colours, it's your early bird. How many times have we had the discussion of lots probably lots 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 the discussion of how it's the the finishing touches that make all the difference to your jewelry you know from somebody that that 
buys jewellery as well and you know and I love to uh, sort of attend things like your artisanal market have a little look at the one of a kind of sort of unique uh, um, designers rather than just the chains um, and of course the initial design is what first grabs your attention but then when you get closer it's looking at the finishing touches mm -hmm. how has in this use a pearl necklace as an example but how well has it been knotted um, has the finishing of it been used have they used French wire have they used gallery wire what clasp and and when we start including clasps like this it's taking that amazing piece of jewelry that you create to another restaurant you know and i love your magnetic class I, I was raving about them only last week they are a revolution i think in terms of uh, ease of wear not just if you have dexterity issues but you know if you live on your own and you don't have someone mm -hmm. to help you with your class but also if you've got very short patience like I do and if, if I can't put it on straight away it just doesn't get worn doesn't see the light of day a magnetic a magnetic class will avoid all of that but how do we take that amazing idea that concept to another level um, well, it's the it's it's the finishing touches like this, the detailing. So almost faceting your precious metal as if it were a diamond. Look at these. I love them. They are brand new. Oh, I want to get a few of those. Do you know what Ross is just saying? For what you're getting, I think they're the best priced magnet magnetic class you'll see. They're also the most beautiful, Ross. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna stick my neck out and say, I think these are the most beautiful magnetic class we've done. Yeah, and you have to take that on board, really, because um, jewelry is an accessory that we use to accessorise your outfits, etc. Yeah. So, so the, you know, the more bespoke and the more beautiful that you can get, has got to be better. Yeah, absolutely. And also, if you sell your jewelry, you know this is a good selling point um, about the fact that you know if you live on your own or if you have got uh, problems with um, your hands or something like that let's face it we still want to wear our jewelry don't we? Of course we, we do. And I mean the times I'm, I'm doing this with the bracelet and sort of cricking my neck and getting in all sorts of weird and wonderful positions and yet with the magnetic they just literally find each other. Well, I in said this the other day. Have you ever wondered how our how our colleagues on Gemporia swap their jewellery so quickly? Mm -hmm. It's because they're on a magnetic class. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. They've got interchangeable magnetic class. Look at this. Look, I'm not saying that this wouldn't look lovely with like a Boltwin class. It would, but I know which I prefer. I would 100% prefer the continuity of that spherical shape and then the added beauty of that faceting in your in your class. Now, we said earlier on, at 19.99 that's amazing but we made a price promise didn't we we did say that we guarantee for the first time a diamond cut magnetic clasp under 10 pounds now there's no point ross is saying in my ear in us sort of stopping off at 14.99 12.99 because you know it's going under 10 pounds also fyi we have 85 I don't think that's going to be enough, personally. Because, uh, look, I make jewellery occasionally, not as often as I'd like. Um, I would multi-buy on these. Because definitely. I've never seen a, ma a magnetic class yeah, like that definitely. before. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I mean, who knows when we can get a, uh, a stock of them again. We I love it. Dare I say as well to our team upstairs, can you imagine these in, like, big sizes too? Mm. Not quite that, not quite melon size, as mm -hmm. my hands suggest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but maybe like the bigger statement sizes mm -hmm. as well. How beautiful would they be? Now, yeah, you've delivered, Ross. We are under £10, £9.99. The core wow. screens have gone crazy. We should be going, right, there you go. There's your yellow gold. Moving on to the rose. There is a reason, jewellery makers, why this is the early bird. Not only because they're beautiful, they're amazing, they're innovative, they're striking in the fact, in the fact that you've got those lovely facets. Precious metal can be faceted almost... I'm not saying exactly the same way, but um, it can pref do, those facets can achieve the same sort of things that they would do on a, on a gemstone. Luster, they can create, amplify the luster of your precious metal. We're at 9.99 and there is a purple clock ticking. Like as expected, people getting fours. I'm not surprised by that. I would be multi-buying. 30 seconds, you're going lower, Roscoe. 
Oh, this is amazing. Remember, these deals also do disappear in the next few minutes. I want to join you on this. They're absolutely stunning. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Yeah, this I can't believe you're going lower, Roscoe. It's not base metal. It's sterling silver with gold plate as well. Eight millimeter in its size. They put these with your fine pearls. How amazing would that be? Wow. That's got to be one of the best priced magnetic class deals we've ever done. Um, because it's not just the magnetic class, but it's also the fact that it actually has uh, um, that for diamond faceting. I agree, Ross is saying, I actually remember us doing magnetic clasps at like 10 pounds, even higher than that. And they weren't diamond cut, were they? They weren't diamond cut. Um, this will be a sellout. There's twos, threes, fours getting snapped up. I shall be doing exactly the same um, as you as well, multi-buying on these. Um, a little bit of a heads up, the other two yeah, are flying on pre-order. So you've realized when we said under 10 pounds, we weren't necessarily just talking about a penny under 10 pounds um, and have them there. You know, this is the thing. You will always need your Boltman class. You will always need your toggles. You will always need your lobster claws. They have their place. But when you are looking for something that little bit more special, I think that's where these can really do come into their own. Um, hello to you, collector saying, uh, please, can the buying team get us more magnetic class in both six and eight millimeter sizes? Yes, leave it with us. Can we put that on the shift report, Roscoe? We will put that on, uh, put that on the shift report and we were just saying, how about different shapes? How lovely would that be? Lovely, uh, lovely shapes. You could get almost bullet shapes. You can get squares. They might be quite nice. Yes, leave it with us. We'll make sure make that request to the buying team. Um, I'll leave that with you because we're going to be, there's only five of them left. Okay, fair enough. Let's do the rows now. There's only 45. Oh, no, actually 27 with pre-orders. You know where we go. Oh, I love it in the rose gold. Look how pretty this is. Oh, look at that. Mm. They're that gorgeous, definitely, um, it's got sort of a, a double um, coverage, if you see what I mean, where, well, triple, you can wear the clasp traditionally around the back yeah. and do that up easily. You can wear it asymmetrically as a feature and you can wear it centrally as a feature as well. And, you know, I mean, round stone gemstones often do slip around the neck somewhat. Yeah, they do, yeah. So, you know, that's not going to offend you or anybody, is it, seeing that No, in, in, in actual fact, you might make want it, it to be more there. noticeable. Whereas if it was... It's a design feature. Yeah, yeah. It, whereas if it was a lobster claw, it's not really what, where you want it no, to this be. This is much more fluid, isn't it? beautiful look at that look at that lovely movement take advantage rose gold plated 925 sterling silver i know that the, the price point suggests that this might be base metal it's not it's not it's precious metal jewelry makers lots of you getting twos threes fours five sixes even um you can still do it but this is the most limited out of all of your early bird jewelry makers so make sure you're quick checking out your baskets um i've been here well this is my 12th year here at jewelry maker so um and i've never seen to my knowledge anyway i've never seen a diamond cut magnetic class and I launched the very first magnetic class across the partnership I remember that vividly and I was like what these are amazing um what's that I might be launching the very last one with the price we're doing on the silver what as in they might, might not let us oh okay <laughs> <laughs> he says we might not be invited back for the price that we're about to do on the silver one of these okay all right well it's been nice knowing you all the same <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway I've enjoyed my time here whilst, <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, I hope not, Ross. Hope not. Because I've signed up to quite a few shifts this month, so. How amazing is that? Oh. Should I pick it up with the tweezers so we can show it around? Look oh, at that's so beautiful. It is that stunning, isn't it? Black jade, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And likewise, how amazing would it be with, well, the amethyst, for example, that we had earlier on. They'd be amazing with the amethyst. You could use them with those lovely pearls that we've got coming up at you 12 o'clock. You could, I, I'm, almost, I'm sure, because they are very strong magnetic cast. 
with the jade um, circles of heaven oh, pendants I love the idea. dropping from that. Yeah, actually have it turn it into a bale. Mm -hmm. That's a yes, lovely definitely. idea. Um, and likewise with Linda's kit. Uh, sorry, projects that are coming up at nine o'clock and ten o'clock. Nine ninety nine. Now those of you that are regulars here at Jewelry Maker know that we could just go straight down to it, but there's a high probability of us melting the phone lines, the web, and the app. So what we do is kind of tiptoe our way there. Um, if you are one of the many that are already shopping ahead well done you know that everybody pays that final low price tag that's ridiculous though isn't it let's not forget this is 925 sterling silver not base metal but we have 155 or rather we had we're going lower I see what you mean Ross it's been nice everybody I've enjoyed my time here I have enjoyed it but but you're right I don't think we're gonna be invited back if you take this any lower Oh, well, it's been fun. Been fun. Oh, my goodness me. seven ninety nine, but going even lower. Amazing. They're just, just stunning, aren't they? And like I said, this shows that a facet in your precious metal can... It achieves as much as... Not always. It depends on the gemstone, of course. But if you were to facet an opaque stone, you're aiming for luster, aren't you? Yes. And that's what you're getting here with this. Perfect, perfect luster. Very modern and contemporary. Um, going even lower, we had 155, but there are a lot of multi-buyers on this. Well done. And remember, Jewelry Maker, everything will disappear from the website on the conclusion of this auction. So if you've got anything lingering, loitering in your basket, make sure you check it out um, because it will disappear. Um, we have to put the 8 o'clock hour on a time restraint, effectively. That's how. The only way we can justify such low prices six pounds and 99 pence only again you've got some amazing pearls um that are coming up in the in the 11 o'clock hour this would be stunning with that um how about the shades of black that we just showed you earlier on stunning with that um you might have already some lovely jadeite olmec or i don't know favorite a favorite strand already within your stash and you've just been waiting for the perfect clasp you know to complete that look stunning do you know what it reminds me of? Do you remember um, Crystal Maze? Mm -hmm. du, 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 du. It's like that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Those little facets that you they used to get. Do they do they all have a crystal at the end of it? Whether they won or they lost, I can't remember. I can't remember. I always that. wanted to have a go on that game, Crystal Maze. But they all had the little crystals, didn't they? Yeah, at the they end. Did. Yeah. It looks a bit like that. Look at that. Beautiful, and it is entirely all the way around beautiful diamond cutting not just a proportion of it 155 flying out the door the core screens have gone crazy Alison says I'll have five thank you Ivy's multi bought Nicolette's bought three Tracy's bought five London's bought four amazing London a load there are so too many names for me to mention now um, what's that we're going to put a red clock on your screen and that clock is to time out not just this auction but also every auction that we have brought you so far. Michael in Cheshire is getting eight. I don't blame you, Michael. Stock up on these. Leave it with us. We will definitely put it to the team that we want some more um, of your magnetic class in different sizes. I think, yeah, I, I think that's a good call. Good question. Um, so leave it with us, but don't leave it. I wouldn't wait, though, because there's a lead time to that. It takes about three, four months for us to bring a product to air. Um, best case scenario so um check out your baskets as soon as you can on this one um and leave it with us um in 30 seconds everything on the web that we've brought you thus far will disappear so if it's in your basket it's not guaranteed to you um so make sure you're checking out you've got linda's amazing projects coming up after the break all about your beautiful sunset botswana stunning jewelry and of course written instru written instructions make sure you check out we will see you in a few moments time one of Jewelry Maker's guest designers. Just wanted to give you a little heads up at what's coming on Thursday, the 8th of Feb. 
So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful floral pendants. They're absolutely stunning. Some gorgeous gemstones. You set them yourself. They are exquisitely well made. I can't wait to show you them. And then at 12 o'clock, we have some fantastic settings. I've never used them before. I will definitely be using them again. Uh, they're snap settings. Anyone can set them. You can use little to no tools at all. Bish, bash, bosh, they're done. Can't wait to show you those too. So I really hope you can join me on Thursday. Can't wait to be back in the studio and I will be seeing you there. Bye. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step-by-step -step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed. Welcome back, everybody. It's lovely, Linda. Hi. I'm loving your earrings, by the way. Oh, thank you. Very nice. You're looking very sparkly today. Thank you very much. You always sparkle, though, Linda. Always. Yeah, I do like my bling, I must Absolutely. admit. Absolutely. Yes. Well, um, what a treat to see Botswana in your project Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Um, I sort of heard on the grapevine that we'd got some Botswana agate arriving, and then it had arrived, and I pounce on that yeah <laughs> yeah don't wait not waiting yeah um well it's been one of those gemstones uh, i think you'd agree linda that's been really one of the heartbeats of jewelry maker you know Very when we so. yeah. it, it's it's i don't want to say always but it has been part of uh, um our portfolio for quite some mm -hmm. years however there was a period of time where it just disappeared completely mm -hmm. disappeared um and little did i know until we had a relaunched couple of months ago i think it was the relaunch of your botswana here at jewelry maker i'm not saying you didn't see any at all there was maybe one or two strands but nothing like we used to see um because botswana is very different to your other agates it's regarded as the king of agates um and also one of the rarest most certainly but little did i know that botswana agate is one locational do you know in all the I years that, that i've been talking I about did botswana, not know that. nor me it's one locational wow. But also, um, I'm sure you know this, you have some of the rarest colours right mm -hmm. there. 
Um, can I quickly reference that, Roscoe? Because it's it's almost too it, it's this is too exciting to skirt over. Um, now, obviously, with this project, you get the instructions and, and the demonstrations as well. But let's talk about the beauty of Botswana. Um, and I'm going to read an article. These aren't my words, but it's uh, um, a gem article um, that discusses this beautiful gemstone and the fascination worldwide. So Botswana um, is a stunning stone known for its rich earthy tones and intricate patterns, making it a popular choice for jewellery makers um, and crystal enthusiasts alike. But Botswana isn't just a pretty face. It also has a rich history and a variety of fascinating properties that make it a valuable addition to any collection. Botswana, also called Sunset Stone, is a special kind of agate that's really popular and valuable. It has beautiful bands of white, grey, sorry, white, black, grey and blue colours. What makes it even more special is that it can only be found hopefully I pronounced this wrong, mm -hmm. this right, the Bobanong district of Botswana, oh, uh, making it rare. Bobanong district. I like that. Bobbing along. Bobbing along for your Botswana. Um, for thousands of years, people have been using banded agate in carvings, beautiful designs called cameos uh, in intaglios. Uh, the layers of different colours in the agate are important for creating the design. Among the varieties of agate, Botswana is highly valued because of its fine bands of white, black, shades of grey and occasional pink or salmon hues. Occasional pinks or salmon hues. These special stones have been used as talismans and amulets since ancient times, and the Greeks were one, uh, one of the first civilizations to appreciate their beauty and durability. In archaeological sites dating back to around um, 1500 BC, such as the grave of Griffin the Warrior, both plain and carved Botswana agates have been discovered. Wow. According to tradition, Botswana agate can keep spiders away and is believed to help us focus on details, bring positive vibes and ignite a spirit of adventure. In ancient times, agates were used as lucky charms to safeguard against storms, quench thirst and also to bring good fortune. Botswana agate uh, forms when slowly moving uh, waves of lava flood over layers of stone again and again, hence the layers. Um, each time this happens, a new layer of silica or quartz is deposited, creating beautiful bands in the stone. As the lava cools and hardens, it interacts with the surrounding rock, shaping the agate. The different minerals and purities of each layer of silica and quartz cause the distinct patterns and colours that we see in Botswana agate. It's like nature's artwork, telling a story of its formation over time. Absolutely. I, I, I just love those words. Like I said, they're not mm. my words, but it really describes the beauty of Botswana mm -hmm. agate. And then, um, Linda, when we look at your stunning makes, this is that rare, or I should say these, are the rare pink colours that that article actually highlighted rare pink colors but there we go we learn every day it is also a one locational gemstone amazing I did not know that. Normie. that's, that's every day is a school day every it, day so? is a school yeah. day now within your projects remember these um also come with uh, written instructions from our lovely linda I'm just going to scooch that out the way for a second just to show you the components so i've got three separate kits with well uh, um, different sizes, slightly different colour variations. Um, we have this is the only kit that actually has the four mil in. So if that is a size preference for you, then make sure um, you dial in nice and early. Remember, rare pinks and salmon hues do actually occur um, in your Botswana, but it is very, very rare. A one locational gemstone. There we go. Um, and those beautiful bands, those layers, that wonderful artwork that Mother Nature creates. It is the sunset variety. I know our graphics don't say it, but I, I agree with you, Ross. It has that wonderful warmth. You know, it's this is natural as well. Please, no, Botswana should be natural. If you see Botswana and it says that it's dyed um, or reconstituted or anything like that, it's not Botswana. Um, you can dye our gate, and the, uh, we've got no problem with that whatsoever, mm -hmm. have we? Yeah. Um, the price of, of dyed our gate is much, much more affordable. However, we are talking about what we refer to as the king of our gates. 
um, in all its natural beauty. But it comes at a high price tag. Botswana is not an inexpensive stone. I mean, let's, let's show you. I found this on eBay. Um, one necklace, knotted necklace, simple, with a 14 karat gold clasp. Nice. Um, but that's actually a more abundant colour than what Linda's kit, uh, uh, sorry, project, um, actually includes. Um, £319.58. It's not bad. It's not a bad price. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, this is what I term as a gallery gemstone. Yeah. If you go into these sort of art galleries um, or, or shops that are in sort of nat national trust. Yeah. Uh, houses and things like that, you'll often find um, agate jewellery there. And if you're lucky enough to see any Botswana agate in there, it'll jump out at yeah. you by the price, if not the colours. Absolutely. Well, look at this, Liberties. Liberties of London, an 18 karat gold Botswana pebble pendant. It's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. Eight, is that 800? 825 pounds. Mm -hmm. Lovely, but it's £825. Now, you know we're not going to be anywhere near that. With your sunset colours, it's absolutely stunning. And again, you can see when you get close, all those beautiful, gorgeous bands, those layers, the story that Mother Nature is actually telling you. Very paparazzi colours. Yeah, absolutely. First prize crash. You also get the two... Are they delicas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the two tubes of your delicas as well, um, which are... Um, so Mayuki Delica B, oh sorry Ross, Mayuki Delica BD, I don't know what that stands for, um, BD Nickel, um, that's the one Delica size, that, they're 11 O's, and then you've got Mayuki Delica Gold Luster Rose, um, 11 O's and 15 O's, 100 carats of your beautiful salmon pink Botswana agate 6 mils, and 35 carats of the other strand. First price crash, how many do we have Ross? only 50 but you know all of a sudden now i'm thinking no it's not only 50 l this is a one locational gemstone 50 is an amazing product uh, uh, um quantity we're at 10 pound per component here 10 pound per strand 10 pound for your mayukis that's amazing that's absolutely incredible not your price though bearing in mind totally natural not dyed one locational there's only 50 you get everything here today. I I knew it, Ross. Wow. Goodness me, that's Linda. You and I used to make kits back in the day, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Way back in the day, mm -hmm. and I knew as soon as I dropped a Botswana agate strand mm -hmm. into said kit, the price would skyrocket. Absolutely, it did, didn't yeah. it? Absolutely. And you know, credit where it's due. It's Wayne's buying power. It is, and also. Um, when these strands have been um, put together um, on their temporary strands, then there's been a lot of attention to what gemstones to put on the strands. Because as you can see, you've got the gorgeous peaches, which is the rarest. Mm. But then they've popped in these beautiful moonlight greys. I love those. And that, which do give you texture then. You've they got are like, earthy, aren't they? Yeah, you've got like those dots that sort of bring the whole thing um, into perspective. Really. Absolutely stunning. Well, the kit's flying out the door. This is the only Botswana kit that we have with a four mil, if that's a, a preference for you. Um, and we are going to price them as low as we possibly, as we always do, as low as we possibly can. Um, so that if you are a Botswana fan and you are really wanting to indulge today, that hopefully that you'll be able to treat yourself across the kit, uh, uh, the projects. Um, what's that? Just show the delicas. Yeah, sure. I mean, these are That's tiny, true. these delicas are tiny beads with a lot of power. Well, they... A lot, a lot of power. Look, five pounds, did you say? For a tube of delicas? Mm. That's amazing for you, because they're normally about eight, nine pounds, aren't they? But look, on top of that, you're actually getting two strands of natural sunset, peach pink salmon Botswana, five pounds each it's wow. five pound a component that's crazy it's a great deal for sea beads which are made but for a one location or gemstone as rare and valuable and sought yeah. after as botswana fi a fiver 
No. Yeah, we can't order Mother Nature to make that box. No, we bed. can't. Like, we can order. Well, not that CD. we'd see it anyway. No. You know, because let's be honest, she takes her time. Oh, certainly does. You know, she can't be rushed. Woman after my own heart. <laughs> she does take her time. I haven't got millions of years to wait for more Botswana to... I wish, I wish, but... Or do I? I don't know, there's a conversation well, for knows? another day. Yeah, who um, knows? <laughs> five pounds per strand. That is ridiculous. Five pounds per component, frankly. We had 50, but the phone lines have gone crazy. Loads of multi-buyers. Good morning, everybody. And don't forget, actually, Roscoe, you know what? It's five components in this project. Because don't forget, you also get... This is invaluable, isn't it? It the, sure is, yes. It's, um, and you take a lot of time to do those. New concept, yes. I mean, there's quite a lot of technology, which is way beyond my brief, um, involved in, in doing this. I mean, it might look simple on A4 printed sheet, but trust me, I found it interesting well you're not the only person the to have said that to me but uh, i just <laughs> en enlist the help of the under 11s in the family and away we go there you go mark was like oh i copied and pasted <laughs> well yeah you there you to. go yeah um but step by step step instructions with your project as well that is available um in your order history upon dispatch of your project as well so for 20 pounds you're getting absolutely everything and uh, and i shared this information the other day i was like the reason why this is sort of manifested is because feedback particularly from newer customers um who maybe purchase a project and then when their day arrives that uh, uh, it sort of arrives on your doorstep um, you've forgotten the project technique or the demonstration yeah, I mean, and maybe it, they're not familiar with it YouTube. is it's very much um, a learning technique having your instructions there and it's it's a really good idea although it does cause more obvious work backstage but um, I am a fan of learning something by either watching somebody else do it which I do understand can be relatively difficult for you guys out there watching us designers demo on air. I mean, particularly in my case, I might think, oh gosh, I've made a mistake there. You know, sort of rewind, etc. But when you've got something, you've got it pictorially on some of them. Yeah, much easier. And text as well. You can keep checking. Yeah. And then by the time, well, by the time I'd finished doing the instructions, I then remade the piece without referring to the instructions yeah, you knew what you're doing because it had gone into the old brain cells and you can keep these put i keep saying put them in a ring binder mm. and you've got that lovely reference then it even goes down to say on the front um you know uh, the piece of jewelry obviously is illustrated but you know the actual specialism so in this case it's sea beading but it's also beading isn't it yeah as it's well. beading generally but yeah um, it's skill set, uh, skill level, intermediate, estimated time, an hour, what you're going to need to actually create that piece of jewellery. So how perfect is that? A great concept. Um, okay, next up, yeah, we need to move into uh, this project. This includes two tubes of your beautiful sea beads, of which you have a lovely like raspberry pink um, these are six millimeter and eight millimeters so you have um mayuki juraco silver line fuchsia atos and then you have your mayuki delica dark topaz lined ab 11 o's so you get both of those that again seven eight pound for a tube of those each um so that's incredible but you don't just get that you also get lovely strands. I've got to be honest, this this is one of the kits I know that I'd be reaching for the phone for. Please tell me there's a bigger quantity, Ross. Oh, 50. There's 50 available. Yeah, well, you know, you've hit the nail on the head with the one location, haven't you? Yeah. We, we just can't get quantities. No. And it's it's been, what, a good... There was definitely a good couple of years, wasn't there, where yeah. we didn't see any Botswana. Yeah, yeah. That's why I sort of spotted it and then literally attacked it without Mine. even thinking uh, you know yeah i've got to have just to handle botswana i get it again oh, for nostalgic reasons yeah yeah just to bring it all back all those yeah. lovely memories look at that those lovely progressive layers and no botswana will look exactly the same as the other because you've got to remember it's 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 like that snapshot that happened millions of years ago the movement the layers the lava the cooling mm. process the minerals that were present within that location at the time of its formation that determined the colors of your botswana it's just amazing now 
including your instructions, £10 per component, which is amazing. But remember, these are the larger sizes, so we should be at a higher price tag, right? You've got six and eight millimeter, natural, 100 carats in the six mil, 160 carats in the eight mil, full 38 centimeter strands. So yeah, we should be at a higher price tag. And again, I have to say it, whenever I used to create kits back in the day, what? As soon as you drop Botswana into um, a kit, the price went through the roof. And I mean, um, this particular kit stroke project, the components, they were six mil and eight mil, did yeah. you say they were? Perfect for your Marla design. Yeah, amazing. And graduations. Um, yeah, and your graduation. And because you've got the two different sizes of beads as you had in the first project kit, then um, you have got a lot of scope within your jewelry Definitely. making. You know, I mean, ideally, in my head, it's very much like the larger gemstones you wear as necklaces, bracelets, and then the smaller ones you pop into earrings. So you have got that opportunity. I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud, but we are going to match the price wow. on this kit. It makes no sense. We never said we did, though, here at Jewelry Maker. Um, yeah, you are going to get all four components. Gosh for the same price as the previous kit. There's no logic in that. These are much bigger sizes. And they're also, yeah, big, big, big carrot weights here. 260 in total. My word. How many, 50, 50 available. Okay, wow. that's crazy. I remember the days when Botswana Agate, not even the salmon pink colors, it would have been more than that for one strand. Oh, absolutely. And that was great, absolutely. by the way. That was absolutely amazing. But to get two six and eight mil strands, never mind the Mayuki. I mean, it's it's supply and demand, you yeah. know. And because we don't have a a supplier as such, uh, I mean, it's Mother Nature at the end of the food chain, isn't it? Mm. Who supplies us with these beautiful gemstones? And because we can't literally have a proper conversation with them and say, hey, lady, get a move on. We need some more of this gemstone, more of that gemstone. It's supply and demand. And don't forget, it's not just us who are demanding it. No, of it. course. Liberties yeah, of London. Absolutely. It's what about all of these high-end jewellers now with coloured gemstones taking off big Oh, time. massively so. Well, Bray, uh, funny you should say that, actually. Uh, Bray, Brook and Britain. Say that fast. Bray, Brook and Britain. I've got a knotted, probably looks like about 8 mil to me. Yeah. 8 millimetre Botswana Agate necklace. £175. You see, that's a nod to the value of the gem, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the design is very simple. It, it could be knotted or it could be just... It's all um, about the gem, isn't it? Yeah, it could be just threaded. I yeah. say just threaded, but um, threaded is a beautiful way of, of using the Botswana. But, but that shows you the value in several senses of the gem. And in reality as well, Linda, this is rarer because it is the salmon yeah. colour. Yes, remember that exactly. article? Those weren't my words, by the way. It was like, oh, rarely forms in like peach salmon hues. Um, so it's actually rarer than the colours that you're seeing at Braybrook and Britain. Say that fast. It's unmistakably uh, a gemstone, isn't it? I mean, you look yeah. at that VT there, it's unmistakably gemstone yeah. because of all the anomalies in it you know like, agate is known for its styrations and that and they're there yeah like tiger's eye you know it's a gemstone exactly. don't you you yeah. can recognize it's a gemstone 19 pounds and 99 oh. pence i only had 100 and, uh, sorry no i didn't i had 50. i wish i had 150 mm -hmm. uh, but not many of them left i've got one more kit different color palette though um that would work lovely alongside we're pricing them as low as we possibly can so that hopefully if you do want to get maybe a couple of the different kits um then um you can uh you can shop you, you can choose um okay so again i've got a big quantity of these this color i've not actually seen this color in botswana it's amazing now you get two tubes of your sea beads which i'm just gonna, and i know i'm very much sidelining them almost but they are lovely so you get the two tubes which is um a matte luster sea foam i think that's that one and then you've got uh, matte slate blue AB. So that's mm -hmm. that one there. Both of these are 11, oh, sorry, 11 O's in the blue and then 15 O's um, in the seafoam. 
beautiful. We've also got, I've never seen this colour in Botswana no, before. No, no. It's like a honey, isn't it? And also, what strikes me is, is the slate blue. See, the seed beads, the 11, size 11 seed beads, the longer tube, there's that self-same blue is virtually there and there. Yeah. So it's unusual, to say the very least. I've never seen that colour palette. Hey, look at this pink. I know it's let, let's we've got a big quantity. Can I can I just let's take the time just to admire each stone. It's almost look like Moreno glass, isn't it that? First price crash. We have a big quantity of these available jewelry makers. Just look, look at that. Just look how perfect each stone is with the one next to it. You know, perfect what? match. I've just looked up, I'm so sorry. My head was literally mm. in the Botswana eye gate then. Looked up. We've got a coloured variety that I don't think any of us have seen before. But because we have the quantity, we're at 19.99, but we're going even lower. Oh my word. Do you know what is sort of blinging out at me very much with, it, with the strands of all the Botswana that we have here today? Um, which is different to what I've seen in Botswana agate before. I've always referred to it as quite an opaque gemstone. Yeah. This has clarity. Yeah, there's areas and it's of clarity. Yeah. Luster. Mm. Um, you know, you could perfectly happily put it with pearls because of the oh. luster on the gemstone. It would look amazing with pearls. Look Botswana at and pearls as a combination. Absolutely stunning. I can't believe we're doing this jewellery makers. We've got quantity. That's the only reason um, that Ross is going even lower. I've never seen the yellow colours like this before. No, no, so no, intense. No, no, no. Almost like yellow jadeite, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, but, you've got like sort of pale shades of mookite there, haven't you? Yeah. Um, which is unusual for Botswana. As you say, no, I mean, I was picking out sort of the bluey greys, which I love, because that's a colour I do really, really love. Um, but the honey yellows, absolutely. No, you're quite right. They are incredibly Look unusual. at how fascinating. That's Going lower beautiful. purely because of the quantity jewellery makers. We've done Botswana or brought Botswana since pretty much day Not one. Not of this quality, I don't think. Not yeah. like this, though. No, we're so lucky to have had got these in not Definitely. like this 16 pounds and 99 pence only my goodness me every single botswana will be completely unique as unique and you and as you and i um and it is all down to the wonderful story the fascinating geological and gemological story that actually produced this amazing gemstone don't forget 16.99 not only gets you the two strands of natural wow. botswana it also gets to the tubes of the um mayuki and it also gets Linda's um, instructions that will be available um, upon dispatch um, of your project. So, um, and you also get the um, on-show demonstration as well. Of course, if you have any questions, do drop us a message. We are live here in the studio. Make sure you check out your baskets because we had 150 of those and they are flying. Um, what are you going to show? Well, talk us through your jewellery and what, what you're going to demo. Right. Well, what I'm going to demo actually is using the seed bead components because very much the gemstone components in all three projects um, being rounds, mm. they are the least intimidating shape for any beginner. Yeah. Um, and then you move up the sort of food chain and you get to more experienced jewellery makers who can do, you know, different things with rounds, a little bit more complex. So I'm very much leaving you to use the, the gemstones as you wish, because I thought, what could I do other than in some cases I've tailored the Botswana's, I've done sort of leaf shapes, we've done them before, etc. I've um, sort of used the seed bead more like a knot, a spacer, but um, that little necklace there on the end, which is the one that um, is, is on the instruction thing, is, that's called, now this is my very first attempt at what we call bead netting. Now bead netting can be used to create um, sort of little details like that or bigger details. It can be rolled into tubes and then just sort of stitched along via the bead to create netted beads, etc. You can pop your, because uh, you, you can make them any length or width that you want, bless you. 
and you can actually enfold the beads inside if you make a sort of a wider spaced out netting, which would all be um, using the same technique. Now I'm so pleased that I've got these instructions printed out because I've just alluded to it's the first time I've done bead netting. And it's great for me to be able to refer to them yeah, too. Yeah, to reference back. So Even the experts need to. I'm using um, just some seed beads I had in my stash as far as the pink is concerned, the size 11, simply because I thought they were a little bit easier for you to, um, to see. Um, now you can use any seed bead you want from a size uh, 6 to up to the size 11 for the, the sort of the little the larger beads the, the ones that are there threaded on their own the pinks in this case because <coughs> that that particular bead there is what designates the pattern um, so basically I've got one size 11 followed by two delicas one 11 two delicas and so on um, you'll see on the instructions that you will then when you finish threading them on to um, beading thread of choice fire line, wildfire, you know, whatever beading thread, tiger tail, whatever beading thread um, you want to use, you'll end up having seven lots of the size 11s, which in this case are the pinks, and seven lots of the bronzy delicas. Starting off, in this case, threading on that first size 11 and then alternating them right to the end, finishing with the two delicas. That's quite clearly printed there in the instructions. What I haven't mentioned is when I threaded the needle I then popped on a long random bead, any random bead, as a stopper bead and that is just literally you take the end of your thread, pop it through, literally take it through your bead and then bring it over and take it through again and for safety take it through again that bead will be removed but it's there just to stop the beads in the first instance of the work um, falling off the end of the wildfire. So now I'm just going to slip those beads down to the stopper bead and just a, a slight gap there. Now I hold them by holding the stopper bead for the first row and sort of resting them on my index finger. So what I'm going to do now, this is where I need to refer to, is to start the turn for the next row, is to pick up, I've termed them as A and B beads in my instructions. Um, B is the size 11, the pink in this case, and A are the delicas. So I'm going to pick up a B, which is my pink, followed by two of the delicas. So you can see I've got a pink, and two delicas on there. I know these are small beads, but good job the instructions are there. So I have one B, two A's, one 11, two delicas. And then to start the second row, I'm going to pick up another pink B bead and two more delicas. Now it's a little bit like peyote stitch, but with a difference. A slight difference. So I'm going to edge those beads I've just threaded, just move the original ones out of the way somewhat. And so I've now got, as you can see, my, I've got five beads, two delicas, the pink 11, and two more delicas. Now counting three size 11s from the beginning of the beads that are now on the thread. So that's one, two and three. So I'm going to take my needle and pass it through. I do apologise if my hands are in the way, but so you have got the instructions to refer to. Is take my needle, which incidentally is a size 10 needle. You can use 10, 12s, the big eye beading needles, whatever needle will go through. Priority, go through the gemstone. Most needles will go through seed beads. And then I'm just going to pull gently through which creates a loop and then as I drop the remainder of the beads on the first row down you can see I've now got a loop. Now I've got two delicas, a pink 11 and two more delicas. So the next step is to pick up two delicas and then a pink 
11 and two more delicas and then to carry on knitting I miss the next size 11 that pink V there miss skip that completely and go into the next one and you can see then it will form like a little loop which eventually forms this netting pattern so pull that through and you can see we're getting a loop followed by another loop now it's just a repetition now to the top of that first row so picking up two delicas and a size 11 and two more delicas you don't have to if you um, have got seed beads in your stash and you enjoy doing this and you use you've used everything in the project then um, you can use other seed beads that you may have at home as long as you've got that one larger bead so let's say you've got two size 15s followed by an 11 so you're going to de sort of delineate the pattern because that larger bead is what you weave through or you just step up in the sizes one after the other so if you start with the 11s as your smaller bead you then have a size 8 or you could have 8 as your smaller bead and a size 6 as the bead to weave through so you, you can experiment you can do this with the 4 mil Botswana agates as well um, it, so it's a nice little technique to have um, in your stash of techniques so again I'm going to miss my first size 11 skip that and then pass the needle through the next pink bead it's nowhere near as difficult as I'm making it look I can assure you it's just in a slightly awkward position for camera and again pull through so now you can see I've got three little loops forming so uh, repetition again two of delicas one size 11 and two more delicas as I say referred to as A and B beads in the instructions I've got three there so I'm just going to ditch that third one and re-thread there we go and I've got three there as well it's the light shining on them oh see it's it's always on air when things all go wrong so and it's only a matter of counting which is the easiest part of the whole thing so two A's a B two A's again now skip the next pink bead and go into the final pink bead at the top end of the previous row and then gently pull through don't over tighten this design give it a little bit of fluidity if you over tighten it it'll send to curl at either end mm -hmm. so just keep it a little bit not too loose but have a little bit of fluidity so now we've got to make a turn down into the third row so referring to the instructions which are now next page um, I'm going to pick up three of the delicas this time this is just to create the turn three of the delicas one size 11 two delicas now so we have three one and a two because we have to make that little loop at the bottom uh, on the way back down we take our needle into that first size 11 and bring through creating the top loop of the third row and then reverting back to two delicas one size 11 two of the delicas and again miss that one that's clipping the i'm sorry i'm into the graphics aren't i uh, miss that size 11 there that's sort of holding the rows together and pop into the next one 
You'll soon get the hang of it. When you've done a couple of rows, it just becomes naturally. You can see from the pattern itself which beads you'll need to pick up and which beads you'll need to weave into. So we're doing two more delicas now. I mean, I put this as intermediate because it does need a little bit of patience and um, delicacy, but a beginner can pick this up easy. It's the first time I've done this particular technique. So again, skip the size 11 and go into the next one and pull gently through. Mm -hmm. Always check that that loop that you've just woven is sitting nice and in line and gently. It's not pulling too much because it will start to make that whole design go a little bit weird in shape. So again, down to the very last turn, picking up two delicas, one size 11 and then two delicas and then miss skip that central size 11 and again go into the last one and then we have to form as we did on that second row we have to form the turn um, rather than doing that actual pattern of two one two so on the turn you pick up three at the base or the top of the turn or depends where you are on the design but you pick up three delicas, one, 11, and then two delicas. The more you do, the more you see the pattern evolving. And um, by just referring to the pattern itself, you can see what beads you need to be picking up and where you need to be putting your needle. So there's my turn and the beginning of the next row. So we miss that first size 11 and go into the next and pull in your design and then it's just a matter of repeating all the way up to the top and then repeating the turn and coming down and it'll grow and grow and grow you just need to keep repeating it. I've got it in the instructions to repeat which rows to continue to grow that piece and then eventually you'll have a piece, you'll know when it's, it's sort of wide enough mm. for you for whatever usage you want. And then you just bring, you will fold the two ends together. You'll still have your needle on the end and you just pick up in the row. Let me move this over a little bit. Pick up in your row the first delica on the side that's nearest to me and then our thread through that and then pick up in a zigzag pick up the next delica on the other side of the fold and zigzag across so now I come into this delica over here so you're just zigzagging from front to back and then into the last one because this is only a narrow piece into the last one then you will then be able to remove your stopper bead and you will then have the residue of the thread in line with the remainder of the thread on the needle and then it's just a simple overhand double knot to secure the piece together and that will form you whatever you want it to be in the pattern of lace work netting with seed beads amazing it could be a nice bail that could too absolutely you know this is one of those things a bit like ladder weave and that's one of those things that you start off yeah. and the, a very small part of it will work for some jewelry making and but you can just continue to grow it and like a whole collar of it wow or a whole flat bracelet of it and the more you do the more interesting it gets yeah and if you want to if you did a, a, a very wide piece for a bracelet you could go back to your Botswana agate um, gemstones then and weave them through the center of that design because you've all you can always access the holes in the seed beads mm -hmm. to weave and have like a 3d Botswana row on top of your netting amazing thank you so much That's Linda. A great beautiful jewelry make sure you're checking out your baskets now these are new they are brand yep, new they are. 
I, I do you know what? When when Lauren passed these and I was like, oh, I need some of these. Do you know what? It's taking our usual threading pack, and then and added some. And added more, some. Yeah. So you get look the cord, times two, two different gauges of your elastic, mm -hmm. and you also get the coloured beading wire in a chiffon bag. You used to get monofilament, clear elastic, beading thread. Beading thread. That's mm -hmm. what you used to get, and it wasn't in colours. No, 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 no. It wasn't it in colours. It was into a silver grey oh, or bronze I need gold, some of these. It? Yeah, How I mean these amazing. these are great because they cover a lot of jewellery techniques. Um, yeah. In particular, if you want a macrame, well, um, you those. you've got um, the threads, the matching threads, so you can have your centre thread with your larger beads to macrame into, and then you can have the narrower thread as your outside yeah. threads to put the smaller gems on. Well, it covers the knotting, through. yeah, stretchy bracelets. Yeah. traditional beading Absolutely. these are brand new jewelry makers they've never been on our screens previously before 6.99 okay so i was at least expecting them to be just over double figures like a tenner at least oh my goodness me incredible value do you know that is because you've got meters on here mm -hmm. again um in the elastic you've got the 0.6 millimeter and the one mil so that's great so that means you can definitely use this with your your pearls for example mm -hmm. or smaller gemstones your beading thread you've got your 0.5 and then in the nylon cord you've got the two different gauges as well how many have you got of these roscoe four is that all is there only mm -hmm. 40. oh brand new first time to wear i'm going to be getting some of these as well like because uh, well linda you know this i'm doing some little stretchy bracelets with the children at willow school mm -hmm. um i need elastic absolutely That's perfect. it is perfect and what i love about this is it's all color coded yeah color coordinated is what i should say um well you can complement the gemstones with it exactly as well, can't you? Um, absolutely definitely and no. of course children um, well, particularly little girls just sort of oh, they gravitate towards the it yeah absolutely now we've got four different colorways to bring you as well so we've got it in the red the purple and the yellow how about if i said you can get each of these colorways for under five pounds how amazing that's incredible that is incredible value it really is so that's what three five reels or spools of different threading materials. We used to do, you know, the the, the, the the early days threading packs, you know the ones. They used to come in a chiffon bag as well, mm -hmm. beading thread, monofilament, clear elastic, mm -hmm. and they weren't coloured, were they? No, 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 no. They weren't no. coloured. They were six ninety yeah. nine. That's right, absolutely right. Um, and the thing is, if you go elsewhere into, as I've referred to earlier, into the uh, into any craft craft store, uh, and you might think, oh, I. I want to get some matching threads of different gauges. You know, it's going to be ever so difficult to find this sort of a match. I mean, yeah, these and you, are they match probably perfectly. sell them individually as well, won't oh, they? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They probably, will be. as opposed yeah. to a full bag like yes. this. Oh, let's bring you the lovely sunshine yellow. Ah, oh, these are beautiful. We've never seen colours like this before. I mean, particularly with macrame, what I like is the fact that you can use. So you can use the pink with the purple, yeah. the yellow with yeah. the red, mix and match to form texture and colour and design. Absolutely. And then they come in the coordinating chiffon bag as well. How amazing are they? Oh, I love it. And those little chiffon bags are so useful as well, aren't they? they? Are. So, they so are. useful. We've got 40, did you say, Roscoe? 50 of this one. Is this going to be like the new revamped threading packs? Maybe, not too sure. Maybe we're testing the water right now. Yeah, possibly. Well, get a thumbs up from me, that's for certain. That's for certain. I mean, look how lovely that beading thread. You'd want that exposed. You could actually leave mm -hmm. that exposed, couldn't you? Um, again, the two different gauges of your elastics, your cords, your beading thread, and of course, you get that lovely sunshine yellow um, chiffon bag too. I've got 50 of those, so I'll leave that with you. Let's bring you the red Valentine's Day jewellery makers. Week today, have you got it yourself? Are you all sorted? What are you doing? Have you arranged anything? Do you know what? Valentine's Day today for me is 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 one of those days that's like, don't get me flowers. Don't get me flowers mm. on Valentine's Day. Um it's too expensive, isn't it? Mm, far too. So here we go. Daylight robbery. So look. 
Oh, what's going on? What's yeah, going on? I mean, also, I, I keep referring to macrame, but there's, as Elle said, there's lots of knotting techniques. Yeah. Where these will come, you know, into their own. These are exactly what you want for knotting techniques. Ooh, you can even you can use them for crochet jewelry. Yeah. Um, and there's some beautiful. I must get myself more clued up on knotting and, and bring us a show on Chinese knotting and that. All red as well would be perfect for that. Yes. Perfect for that. I love this one. The red colour is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It's really rich. It is like a Valentine's red. Yeah, definitely. Isn't it? Um, they're on the verge of selling out. Well done. Oh, by the time I get them out, they've already sold out. Right, here we go. Now onto the purple. This is going to fly. Yeah. They're amazing. I hope these are the new threading packs. Um, now, what's that, sorry? Only 50. Mm. Here. Yeah. Here we go. So you get your two elastics. There's your beading thread, sometimes tucked in. There's your beading thread. Look at that colour. Isn't it gorgeous? Stunning. And come on. You get your spool as well. Oh, it's like a lovely black currant colour. You can make some lovely rainbow type jewellery, couldn't you? Beautiful. Tassels as well. Mm. Four pounds and ninety nine pence only. Again, you're flying in for these. Um, I hope they are the what the threading packs of the future because you get masses, absolutely masses. It goes a long way, won't it? Yeah, it would. And the fact that, like I said, the amethyst that we had earlier on, you would use this, wouldn't you? Definitely. Um, now, something we don't normally do, jewellery makers, but we are going to do today, only because there's exactly on the nose 20 left, and that's not really a viable quantity for us to put back, send back to the vault. Not only that, I don't want them to go in the vault. I think these are too beautiful. I think there's something that most definitely... Um, deserve to be used straight away in your jewellery and we have the three different colours we are going to recap the early birds so maybe for whatever reason you weren't able to tune in eight o'clock out in the eight o'clock hour um, then don't worry um, we're going to replay the last remaining quantity but make sure you're quick now bringing you the silver first time ever bringing it to you in a diamond cut so this is your magnetic clasp but a diamond cut magnetic clasp look how beautiful that is absolutely stunning 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 the last remaining quantity there's only 20 so if you're doing the school run or maybe you were driving to work and you've just got it on in the background maybe sneakily on the app um, and you're thinking oh my goodness Al, I love a magnetic clasp but I've never seen it with a diamond cut we were saying it's just it's like faceting a gemstones but instead faceting your precious metal and it brings you that beautiful per, uh, surface luster we only have 20 though so you will need to be quick Diane Cheryl Lincolnshire and Leslie Angela threes and twos getting bought as well well done Janice Karen maker Cheryl Leslie you can do it but you do need to be quick. Um, Angela's got three, Lincolnshire's got two, Cheryl's got two, Janice has got two, and Leslie's got two. So that quantity is limited now. Limited, limited, limited. Um, yeah, perfect. And what's something actually that uh, Linda actually pointed out, they could, they're that strong, the magnets, you could potentially use them actually as a bale as well. Now, coming up, two very, very special brand new jadeite auctions it will never stop blowing my mind in terms of how this is actually achieved to take effectively a boulder of jadeite to carve it into this level of artistry but beyond that to have something internal that moves carved uh, mind-blowing these are absolutely stunning and they've never been on your screens previously before. You have the legendary story, nothing like this, no we haven't. We have the legendary story of the dragon and the pearl. But instead of the pearl being sort of carved on the exterior of the high goo, the pearl is the moving part in the center. Did you see that? The moving part in the center just there. How amazing is that? carved internally not only that you also have the prancing horse that also spins internally within your look at the ice icy translucency of this jadeite and again wonderful intricacy these are brand new premieres they have never ever been seen before 
just amazing. What what absolute miracles um, of nature, but also that skill. Well done. They're coming up. I'm going to be welcoming the wonderful Dave into the studio. He's fresh back from Tucson Jewelry Makers. So lots of updates to be had as well. Do not go anywhere. The launch of these amazing moving works of art coming up after this. one of Jewelry Makers guest designers. Just wanted to give you a little heads up at what's coming on Thursday, the 8th of Feb. So at nine o'clock, we have some beautiful floral pendants. They're absolutely stunning. Some gorgeous gemstones. You set them yourself. They are exquisitely well made. I can't wait to show you them. And then at 12 o'clock, we have some fantastic settings. I've never used them before. I will definitely be using them again. Uh, they're snap settings. Anyone can set them. You can use little to no tools at all. Bish, bash, bosh, they're done. Can't wait to show you those too. So I really hope you can join me on Thursday. Can't wait to be back in the studio and I will be seeing you there. Bye. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that instructions come included with every designer project? Dive right into your Jewelry Maker project with confidence and clarity. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a first time creator, our step by step guides ensure success every time. Just download them from your Jewelry Maker account on our website. Get started today and experience the joy of hassle-free crafting. Instructions included, creativity unleashed.
Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. I am so excited, as always, but maybe just a little bit more because he is fresh back from Tucson to welcome the wonderful Dave in the Jewelry Makers studio. Thank you, Al. Um, good morning, good morning to you, good morning to everyone. Um, Tucson was, uh, as you can imagine, an incredible trip. Uh, got to meet with uh, a lot of my friends over there, you know, many incredible stories about some of the gemstones that have made their way onto the international market. One of the gemstones that, that we really couldn't find was jadeite. Yeah, and, and was, we, we were anticipating that uh, because obviously a lot of that material doesn't leave the Far East, so it doesn't tend to make its way um, to the Tucson Gem Show. Um, I met up with Mason and Kay, Jeff Mason and Christina, who are incredible as always. And we were talking about yeah, the, 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 the problems with sourcing jadeite right now. Yeah. Um, the one thing that I wasn't anticipating, I mean, of course, I didn't think there would be jade, but the little jade that was there, the price has gone through the roof, which, yeah. which I think we're all prepared for. But it's never been more important for you guys as collectors right now to capitalize on any moments that are before you. OK, especially when it comes to carvings like big carat weight carvings. And, and the reason being, obviously, over the last four years, that material, that rough that is usable for carving has mm. disappeared from the market. It's been bought up by the Chinese. And we've all been eagerly anticipating the, the introduction of top rough from Guatemala. And whilst they're finding good colors in Guatemala right now, what they're struggling to find is good stones. And when we talk about good stones, we're talking about the compact nature of the crystals. You know, the, the, that's the material that is, that is usable for, for carving. That is the material that isn't coming. And that has impacted the price of jadeite carvings more so than even the, the disappearance or the exhausted nature of the Burmese mines. Carvings that we bring you, say, usually for like 299, 249, you know, I was thinking, oh my God, it's going to be like maybe a thousand, two thousand pounds. It's over 10. Wow. The a same, the exact job. same quality. And I know a lot of you guys are going to find that hard to believe. And that's why I had to snap some pictures on my phone just so you can understand. These are like the last times we're going to see carvings of this caliber. Mm. Um, getting them in the current market is impossible because, as I said, Guatemala doesn't bring you that material. And this is what I want to show you if I can. This is top carving rough from Burma. Um, this is a, a piece of that rough that would be suitable for a carving like the ones we're going to bring you today. And you can tell that because the bit that's exposed here, this is top crystal. The crystallization here, the compactness, the, the, the translucency of this stone that is hopefully the entirety of this crystal is what makes it suitable for carving. Okay. Right? If, if you have a stone that is still type A, still beautiful that like we're getting from Guatemala, but it isn't compact, it doesn't have that unique crystallization, then carving is impossible because it becomes brittle. Now, when we talk about carving, the GIA wrote a, a wonderful mm. article on this, you know, the evolution of Chinese jade carvings and craftsmanship. And they, they talk about how it's a key element in, in the Chinese culture. Um, the, the art of carving is something that can only be done realistically uh, by the Chinese. Yeah. And they've been doing it with Burmese jade for a, a thousand years. That is something that is going to just disappear. And pieces are going to become more and more infrequent and more and more expensive. And if I, sorry, Ross, if I could just borrow the clicker, it might be the clicker that's broken or not. But, you know, when they talk about pieces like this, where you have moving components, mm. well, this is something that is rarely done in the modern age because it's time consuming, it's labor intensive, and it's extraordinarily difficult to find the level of jadeite needed. So they talk about this uh, dragon and phoenix pendant, 16 grayish white components, which is carved from a single piece of jade. Well, we have that quality in the studio today. Jade that is carved uh, at the component level, like removing sections of it, but keeping it integral to the piece. That is something, it might be an actual first for you guys here at Jewelry Maker. I've never seen I know we've only like ever it. done it once on a Gemporia and it just yeah. flew out. We understand we priced it way too low. Yeah. You're gonna get a, a phenomenal deal today because we got an incredible deal, but I want you to understand replicating anything like this in quantity is impossible. It's actually impossible. But even on top of that, single pieces, even a lower grade than this, are commanding significant premiums. And we see the GIA talking about witnessing the creation of jadeite masterpieces. And while this is incredible, you can see the intricacy, the detail of that incredible jadeite, you know, the foliage on the trees at the microscopic level. This is even beyond that. What we have is beyond that. Okay, that is a much larger piece of jade. It's what we call a sculpture. And you can see it's translucent. Mm. 
when you're talking about free moving components that have been carved from a single piece of jade, i.e. chain link carving or the unique moments we've got for you today, you need to go beyond translucency and have what we call aqua jade, which is translucent jade, which is the ultimate level of compactness. And the way that it was explained to me by Jeff Mason at Mason & K just in the last few days, and I've got a video that will be going live on my website soon, which will be an educational piece from Jeff Mason. He said when he gives his talks around the world, and this is a gentleman that has the, the, some of the best jade in the Western world. He's family with Musayef, mm -hmm. so the Musayef Red Diamond, they're part of his family. Wow. That's why they've moved into jade, because of the expertise of Jeff Mason. Well, he talked about, the, the best analogy is, you think you've got like three jars, right? Uh, and one is, is filled with, you know, conkers. The, the next one is filled with ball bearings. And then the final one is filled with sand. You've still got three, three jars, which is essentially three jades that look the same. But the one with the sand, there's so many less gaps. That's when it becomes, you know, the most incredible level of crystal. Mm. So while they're all ta type A, while they're all natural, these jars, or if we want to think of them as jade, what is coming out of Guatemala, although it's an impressive color, is like with the conkers in there. Yeah. So thicker. you've got those gaps, right? When you want carvings like this, you need really compact jade, right. which is the one with the sand. Yeah. Which realistically is the kind of only material that has been found en masse in Burma yeah. and we can't get any more. Now, when we talk about the, the jadeite horse carving, which you, you're going to get to see, Bernard said, who helped us source this you know, probably 18 months ago, this was created for the Asian market. So it's not created for us, but thank God, because the Asian market is the most discerning market in the world. And he says, the quality is very high. This is the highest skill available of carving and the stone is top water. It's actually, I was talking to Ross, our producer earlier, and he said, both of the pieces here are certified as aqua, which I knew, because yeah. they have to be. You can't, you can't bluff this, you can't do it. Even with the best craftsmanship in the world, you cannot do this in lower grade jade. No. That's why it's so difficult to do. Because it would break? Or yeah, it, brittle, would, yeah. Yeah, it, it would become too brittle, mm. fractured. You can't mm. do it. He said it would be impossible to commission this today. This is a true collector's piece. So whilst I hear from many of you all the time, and, and I know it's, it's wonderful to hear from you, and we talk about the wonderful collections that we've made together, and you know, there's huge diversity in, in your portfolios, you know, different colors of jade, different varieties of jade, whether it's quartzite jade from mainland China, whether it's nephrite from Khotan, or jadeite from Burma or Guatemala. I am gonna say that in the eyes of the market, now that, this doesn't matter because it should always be down to your own eyes. You decide what you want, you decide what you, you value. But just objectively in the eyes of the market, this is the, the true collector's piece. Wow. So of all the pieces that are brought to you, and there's been some wonderful colors, Color is secondary to crystal. Well, these are both aqua, so they're the best crystal. Okay, so objectively, these are, we have brought other pieces of aqua, absolutely, but all aqua is the highest grade. It's the best jade we can bring you. Okay. Like, for instance, of the hundreds of jade art bangles we've brought to you, we've never brought you an aqua jade art bangle. We cannot. No, that's right? true. Because it's just that level of jade is tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. This, again, objectively in the eyes of the market, is the most valued piece of jade. Now, I went to Mason and Kay, spent a lot of time with them. They don't have a single piece like, like this. this. Yeah, single piece. Wow. Okay, e probably even on their website. On top of that, I met with other vendors from you know, the Far East, from Malaysia, from Indonesia, from, from China, who had wonderful assortments of jade, you know, bicolor bangles, everything. You know, I saw a gentleman who had a million dollar collection of jade just across three pieces of Imperial, and yet no one had anything like this at all. Okay, I was hoping to go over there and get loads of pictures of pieces like but this and we can do price comparisons and whatever. You're not going to find it. No. And um, I, I go to Hong Kong at the end of March, 27th of March, to the Hong Kong Gem Show. I, I don't know if I'm even going to find this level of material there. It's just gone. It is mind-blowing, yeah, isn't abso it? Absolutely. It, it is mind-blowing. Um, and just so you know, I've just recently acquired a piece of Imperial Jade. And that is far easier to come by. I'm not talking yeah, about price. Like the this. Imperial Jade is far more expensive at the minute. Yeah. It's far easier to come by than this material. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, you're just saying that. I'm going to show you the piece of jade that I'm going to pick up in a, a month or two when I'm in uh, Hong Kong. Okay. I'll show you this. Um, and it's certified. It is Imperial. It's 52 carats. 52 carats? Yeah, this is it. And it was certified on the 31st of January. This is how recently I acquired it. This is it. So this is the, the piece of Imperial Jade that I've just acquired. Wow. Yeah. 
So 52 carats, top Taipei Fuishi Jada, Hong Kong Gem Lab uh, certificate, which is three figures on its own. On top yeah. of that, uh, I'm just going to move this out of shot. Apologies. You know, we are working together with the team, high jewelry team in Hong Kong, on you know how we're going to set this. This is literally what I've received this morning. Right, wow. you know, a carat of diamonds, eight grams of eighteen carat white gold. Just we're talking about one of the finest pieces that will eventually be in the UK. Yeah, that is easier to replace than any piece in this show today. Okay, because I saw Imperial Jade in Tucson. Yeah, I saw it at um, Roland Schlüssel's booth, Pillar and Stone. Like that was the three cabochons that were a million dollars. I didn't see a single piece of this. Um, I want you to understand what aqua jadeite means. And for that, there's an educational post that I've got here, um, which is in conjunction with two other jade gemologists. And they said to me, when we talk about the type of fuéche, we're referring to the degrees of density, which is the compression in the stone, and the transparency, which is the clarity. Jewelry made from fuéche must both be dense and clear, as well as hard and regal in appearance. So this is what we were talking about earlier. Good jade is dense and highly compact. Bad jade is brittle and fractures easily. If we think about that, they're both type A, or grade A, whatever you want to call it, but there is a massive disparity between both those jades. Okay. Um, Foyche, or water, denotes its level of transparency. Um, a lot of water means high translucency or transparency, while little water means low transparency. Effectively, if we come down like two paragraphs, they say in some rare instances, Chinese labs will certify the jade out as aqua. This is reserved as the purest and finest jade out money can buy. And aqua usually has no color. We're lucky that we have actually a piece with color today, yeah, but it definitely. is aqua. And, and again, I want to bring you onto this Chinese saying, which has never been more relevant than in the showcase we'll bring you this morning. There is a Chinese proverb, a Chinese saying, an insider looks at kind, an outsider looks at color. When an expert appraises jade, the texture and transparency of the water are first and foremost. Um, it is the texture of the jade that determines its kind or type. Right. The colour then improves upon the value of the foie shea. So don't get too distracted by the pretty colours. You'll want to make sure it's a good stone first. Okay. Right. Both of these are good stones. That's not me saying that. Okay. My, my word isn't, isn't very useful. These are certified in the Chinese labs. Both of these pieces that we bring As aqua. One, as aqua. Yeah. Which is top water, which is transparent, which is as good as it gets. That is key for many of you to understand today. On top of that, the level of carving that we've got here is on another level. You know, yeah. for, for as long as we're broadcasting, whether it be the next 20 years, 30 years, 10 years, five months, whatever, we probably won't bring you another piece like this. And I want to take you to the John Neville Cohen collection, you know, known really as the Cohen collection. And they talk about how the Chinese have revered and carved jade and nephrite for generations, and still do. The modern 20th century carvers use all the latest machinery and technology to carve this very hard, brittle material. But all of the antique jade carvings were lovingly made by hand and have been highly valued throughout the ages. And uh, John Cohen says, Personally, I far prefer the antique jade carvings up to the first part of the 19th century. These were always carved from a single stone mm -hmm. with rather basic tools and they often took a very long time to complete. Thank you. That's what we've got here. Everything that, that makes up the carvings we have are made from one single stone. It, I, it's it's beyond it's it's beyond even chain carving, and and in a moment we'll show you all that. But I want to show you what happened in Tucson. Okay. The carvings that we bring you for two nine nine, two four nine, some instances one nine nine, right? The 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 kind of translucent at best, sometimes opaque, really nice color. Yeah. Carvings that that are a lot more rudimentary than these, but still yep. spectacular. Those pieces that you have in your collection, and maybe you've parted with two nine nine. I don't know what we've sold them for, there's been so many, but 299, 249, 199. I picked up a piece, identical. Now it was brilliant because obviously I deal with all the jade. So for me, I can see that. But I was with uh, Toby Cavill, who you know, I was with Hattie um, or Harry Houston, who, who you know from over yeah. on Gemporia. And these people have much less experience with jade and they came over and they gave me that validation. They went, oh, that piece is just like the carvings we bring our collectors, right? So they're, I, I mean, I'm lucky I get to go to Hong Kong, I get to go to China. Their, yeah. uh, their reference of price is about 299 Okay, it's what we sell it on Gemporia. I can't remember what we sell it on Jewelry Maker. Yeah, that's what they think. Right, that's it is. what they think. So they're thinking right now, we're going to see this at wholesale. So it's going to be less than less. that. It has to be, right? That's, otherwise, the business doesn't work. Yeah. You know, this is the price. That's, that is in US dollars. That's over $12,000. Wow. This is the reality. This was three days ago. So 
and, and I spoke to the person. The situation for jade out carving is very difficult because all of the top rough stones have disappeared from the market. Yeah. So the price has risen dramatically as carving rough from Guatemala is not suitable as it's generally not compact enough for intricate carvings. Right. No doubt you can get supreme colors. Mm -hmm. You can get those wonderful Olmec blues, which you can't get from anywhere else. You can actually get a really beautiful green now and yellows. But the carving, if you value that, cannot be done in Guatemala right now. And he said, this piece is almost irreplaceable. Okay, with open work or moving components, the price could be double, maybe even triple. Right. That's what we've got for you today. Yeah, moving components. Say. So he's saying, yeah, this is 12 grand. But if we had the same carrot weight in with a moving component, you're probably looking at twenty or thirty thousand dollars. Now that it, is yeah. wholesale pricing. Yeah, true. Wholesale. There's a much smaller yeah. piece just laid down there. I don't know if you can make out the price, but it is like nearly two thousand dollars. One thousand eight hundred and fifty nine dollars. Wholesale then. Wholesale. This is like very few jadeites that were out there in, in, in the West, which like I said, I anticipated I didn't go there on a buying trip. I went there on an exercise of I'll constantly say to you guys, I'm going to take you guys to the market. I'm going to show you the price of jade. Yeah. Now, I'm going to take, I always say that. And I knew that Tucson would be an opportunity to do that. I also know I didn't go there, although we had funds available. I didn't go there on a buying trip because the best jade, as I've always said, is not in the West. You don't find it in the West. Even I spoke with Mason and Kate, Jeff Mason, who's incredible. And he, was, he said to me, we, we can't source jade from the, the Far East anymore. Like we are. As I told you guys. So what 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 are they doing? Because they are they have put together a portal on their website yeah. where they're buying jade from back. the market back in to sell again, right? So they've almost become exclusively a secondhand jade wow. dealer right now. All certified, all authenticated. They're amazing. I love them. Yeah. This is the reality, and it's the reality for us as well. Mm -hmm. So when I offer you these um, today, I don't want you to look at these like they are the the prices we're going to do. That's something that is ridiculous. Now that, that person that has that $12,000 jade eye, they didn't buy that for $12,000. I'll be supreme, I'll be as honest as I can. They probably didn't pay $1,000 for it three, four, five, ten 10 years ago. But okay. they have to look at what it would cost to replace today. Yeah, exactly. So they, they are selling it for the market price. Yeah. Which is $12,000. By the way, that's old. Yeah. It's old. It's not, he hasn't still got it in his infantry. It, it's old with the next day I went back. So I wanted to get a video of it. And he said that piece is sold, right? So this is the price that people are paying in the West for Jade. And in the East, they're paying even higher prices, right? You have an opportunity today to get what would have been probably the finest Jade in Tucson. Wow. Now, th th yeah, Tucson is not a Jade show. It's a huge gemstone show. And, you know, it's, it's amazing as you've been out. It's you know, this caravan of gemstones that comes it's from all over vast. the world. There's yeah. billions and billions of dollars yeah. of gemstones from all over the planet that descend onto this desert location in yeah. tents. It's the craziest, wildest yeah. world. But I'm telling you right now, there wasn't a single piece of jade like this. And believe me, I scoured every single show. Do you know, and knowing, knowing Dave that you had in your head, I'm mm -hmm. not going to Tucson to buy. Yeah. You knew that was going to be the case. You, you could do, but that wasn't reality. Mm -hmm. It's worth that flight mm -hmm. just to solidify everything that you've yeah. just said, you know, yeah. you know, for the fact, no, seriously, this is the market And, and you know, I've got this wonderful video uh, that I promise I'll post on my Facebook, I don't know, in the next few days. It's with my cameraman, Connor, who's editing it today, actually, yeah. uh, from Jeff Mason. I was on his booth now, like I said, he didn't have any component carvings like this, but I said, um, do you have any Imperial Jade? And he said, we don't have a single piece of Imperial Jade, but we have two stones that if you combine them they'd be imperial stones and this is a video by the way so okay. you'll see it and he picks out one cabochon which is imperial color one that is imperial crystal I mean, they're both you know tens of thousands yeah yeah but he's like in true imperial is a combination of these two like yeah. top top crystalline material yeah and top top color they don't have a piece on top of that there was they had a, an incredible red jadeite strand oh unbelievable right i mean it was priceless and me and him were talking about the piece in Asprey that we've talked about, it's 18 million pounds. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, we have this red jade. And he was talking about how unbelievable it is because it was almost translucent, which yeah. is, it's opaque usually red jade because it's the skin. And he showed me that. Then he showed me like a top, top Kingfisher green jade wow. strand. And then he goes, I want to illustrate just how important crystal is, right? And, and like I said, it is a video that I will share with you. And he put these three strands out, red jade, uh, gr the top top green jade not imperial but top green jade like 
I don't know, forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars, and then an ice jadeite strand. Mm -hmm. Not nice, an ice jadeite strand. Ice. So an aqua jadeite strand. And my cameraman Connor was there, uh, and he said to Connor, you know, which one's the most valuable here? Well, Connor has listened to me. He's, 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 you know, he knows, you know, just about as much as any of us really. Um, he's a cameraman. He's been with me to Burma, to Hong Kong. He's been with me to China, and obviously direct shows as well over on our sister channel. And uh, quite rightfully, he went, well, it's going to be the red jadeite. Red jade out strand, I've never seen one. And he goes, yeah. He says, this ice jade out in the middle, which was a smaller caraway, smaller mill size than either one either side. He said it's twice the price of any of them. And it was void of color. Wow. And he explained because that because of the aqua jade out. Yeah. Aqua jade out, it's almost impossible. And both of these are certified aqua. Now one's an impressive green aqua color, because it's usually colorless. And the other one is, I guess, void of color. It's just transparent, it's like tracing paper. Both of these jadeites are old mine, mm. right? They're old mine. They could have been carved last year, I don't know, but they are old mine grade jade. And I know, and I'm just gonna say it to you, these are irreplaceable at five figures, okay? Wow. And yeah, knowing that, and the deals that we've done over the last four years, we didn't pay five figures for them. I'll be supremely honest with you, we didn't even pay four figures for them, and neither are you but you won't see anything like this again today. I was actually talking with Wayne um, over the last couple of days. I've been a bit ill, so sorry if my voice sounds a bit strange. I'm on antibiotics, but I couldn't miss this show, right? And um, I was messaging him and I said to him, because these are both very, very healthy quantities, by the way. I said, I think you should play one today and keep one for six months time because yeah. I, I can guarantee you, Wayne, we're not gonna have Jade out of this caliber. And he said, no, this is what we're about. If we have something, we give it to you. I don't believe anyone else would do this. I'm gonna give you the chance to run both of them this morning. Wow. Okay, um, so I don't know which one you wanna start with. It doesn't really matter. Carrot weight is not important. You've got the dragon and the pearl in the year of the dragon. Chinese New Year is on Saturday, this coming Saturday. Um, and you've got the dragon around the outer perimeter and the central moving component in the center is the pearl. This smooth, incredible jadeite pearl that is aqua jadeite. And then we have the rocking horse as well, which uh, means good fortunes. It means the tides are turning. It means that you uh. know, your luck is gonna change, which is that. Now, I know it's, it's really easy to say, but I That's want you to try crazy. and get your head around it because it took me a long time to get my head around it, even though I was parroting yeah. what I'd been told about this piece. Like, oh, it's carved from one piece of jade. I want you to literally understand that that galloping horse in the center, if we can show that, oh, sorry. Sure. Yeah, apologies. It's this galloping horse in the center, right? that's free moving, has never left that jade out. I can't get yeah, my head around it. That's what I mean, it. even though we're saying it, I want you to understand that they have carved away until it's free moving just inside here, and they've created a smooth polished rail for this to sit in, like a, like yeah. a, like a wheel, right? That, yeah, that sits within the, 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 the surrounding jade eye. That's unbelievable. Uh, honestly, all I'm gonna say is, if, I, if the jade eye collectors are watching today, yeah, yeah, get the light behind it, absolutely. If the Jade Eye collectors are watching today, this should be sold out right now without graphics. You should be calling the call center now demanding to own it. Yeah. Demanding to own it. If you keep that shot for me, Al, I'm gonna grab some tweezers if I may. There must be some tweezers, right? Yeah, I've got them here. Okay, I'm, uh, gonna, I'm gonna just run in front of the shot. Apologies, I know it's not um, there you polished. Go. Just there. Okay, yeah. and I'm just gonna put these tweezers behind this. And you can see oh them through goodness. the crystal of the jade. That's aqua jade eye, okay? These are the other side. This is in front. This is behind you. You can see them. That is crazy. And that's with the phone light. That's not with my special jade torch. I'll try and creep through here. Yep, perfect. <laughs> um, I'll give you a 30 second clock. I'll let everyone know. I, I, There's a hundred of them. There wasn't a piece like this in Tucson, and I don't think I'm gonna find one for you in Hong Kong. Well, Ross has just said as well, that's the best I've ever seen. Thank you, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I mean, we, like Ross, first thing Ross said to me today, and this just shows you the level of ed education that we're all on right now. Ross said to me, and understands how important it is, these are both aqua. Like, you know, to get a piece of aqua is imp pretty impressive, but the whole of this show today is exclusively aqua. This is an aqua jadeite show, but that's secondary to the fact that these are carved and removed and moving components. Yes. 90 you know, carats, that is, uh, genuinely, I'm just gonna be honest, that's unimportant. The carat weight is, is so unimportant right now. But you, you know, to, to, you can get gold, you can solder it, you can separate it, rejoin it, whatever. Mm -hmm. To do it out of one boulder, mm -hmm. 
and actually have, you know, a physical moving part. Yeah, so the central portion of the, the Jedi horse is open work, which means yeah. there is open work within there um, that creates that wonderful silhouette of that Jedi horse. And then the outer perimeter, you can see, is as good as it gets. This is the best crystallized jade that you can get. Yeah, I mean, look at that translucent. And it's the, the, the highest skill available. The highest skill available. I didn't think I could be more confused by the intricacy and just how yeah. a carving is achieved than, than the chains. Yeah, and uh, I just However, want you to understand, because we always talk about the, the, the story behind the piece, yes. right? And we've barely encountered a... A horse, right? Yeah. We like see the Pixu, we see the dragon, we see many different things. But in ancient China, the horse is often shown carrying symbols of wealth, uh, a noble standing. These horses are depicted as white, typically without a rider, and bearing many gifts on their backs. This bejeweled precious horse represents recognition, success, and nobility. And at the bottom there it says, a white galloping horse represents the turning of the tide wow. and the imminent arrival of good fortunes. And this is why it's important that this horse turns, it literally turns. It is the turning of the tide. That's, that's fascinating. And the imminent arrival of good fortunes, health, wealth, and prosperity. That's fascinating, mm -hmm. Dave. Uh, just absolutely incredible. And to say that we have, well, to be part of this, to be honest, because mm -hmm. let's be honest, it's a moment in history, isn't it? Oh, for sure. I mean, to be able to say that you've you've sold a piece of jade out like this, you've held a piece of jade out like this, you've offered it to your collectors. There's very few people alive mm. that have even seen this level of jade. Yeah, I mean, I remember seeing uh, Pillar and Stone a couple of years ago, and they had Can nothing just like hold this. Hold it a second, because sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to. Sorry, Adam. I'm just going to take this out shot. Thank you. So, you, you, I want you to understand just how impressive this is at the top. There is two dragons, right, that are carved here and here, right? So we're entering into the year of dragon. You want good fortunes. You've got the white galloping horse, the turning of the tides, and then you've got two dragons coming centrally, right? They're facing it in the center. The one thing I'd do right now um, is if, I mean, I'm not a jewelry maker, right? You know, you, you have incredible guest designers here. They're yeah. the best, right? Susie Menham, who works with incredible fine jade mm. and, and creates some of the, the most incredible one-of-a-kind masterpieces for her clientele around the world. But for me, I look at this and I say, I'd set a pearl at the top. Yeah, Right, absolutely. so you've got the two dragons chasing the pearl. Thank you. So here's the one dragon, here's the other dragon. They're literally right there with their traditional wonderful faces. And I'd put a pearl just above here and then you've got that horse as well, which is just as good as it gets. And you can see it, just free moving, turning. It's absolutely sensational. You can see that. It's up. Yeah. And you can hear the jade. I'm just gonna shake it, if I may, sorry. You can hear it. You can hear the pitch of the jade. That's top crystal jade eye within the mother jade eye. It I'm gonna start at three and a half thousand pounds, which okay. is just, I can't replace it. And you guys know that you've seen it. It's unbelievable what we're doing today. And I said, I actually said to all of you, none of you are even paying four figures today. Look at this. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Just in my hands. Susie down, and Wiltshire's got two. Patricia's there, Anne's there, Cheryl Anne's there, Sue's there, Jeanette's there, Maker in Gloucestershire. That is absolutely mind blowing, isn't it? Mm -hmm that it pivots. I mean, realistically, we shouldn't actually have the quantity we have today. We're so fortunate. Have we got quantity? Yeah, oh yeah. But we shouldn't. And you know, the whole reason I set up my own thing, David Harry Jules, is because, you know, I understand that if we want fine, fine jade, we can't get quantity. So we, you know, very rarely can we bring it on TV. And it's, yeah. it's, it's designed to fill that gap in the market for those of you that want those kind of one of a kind pieces. Pretty <laughs> soon, by the way, you know, I'll, I'll have a stock of imperial green jade out, which will be available to you guys, but never be enough to be on TV. So that will be on David Harry Jules, but a piece like this should be on David Harry Jules. Yeah, absolutely. It should be a one of a kind. But today you get the opportunity to multi-buy. So I'm gonna give you another 30 second clock. I wanna say congratulations to everyone who's made the decision, the acquisition of a lifetime right now. Yeah, it, it's mind blowing, Dave. And it's, it's incredible how with everything that's gone on in Burma, as, mm -hmm. uh, as in the availability yeah, yeah, of it, it's yeah. decreased. Mm -hmm. And yet, it's what you're bringing us, Dave, seems to be getting more and more and more exciting. Well, this will be the, this will be this the pinnacle. This is the pinnacle. 
this, this can be, this is the pinnacle. Okay? Wow. This is the pinnacle. So we're at three and a half thousand pounds. I know there are so many of you right now on the phone lines, which is incredible to see. I'm going to take three thousand pounds off the price straight away because I know how badly we want this and I know you want to know, can I afford it? Is it something I can do? I'm just going to tell you right now, we're nowhere near done on this. But this is the piece, if you want it, if this is the piece you fall in love with, if you want world-class Jada in your collection, mm. right now, you're in triple figures, you've got your 0% interest payments, and I want you to know, we are nowhere even close to being finished on this. So this is your opportunity, the opportunity, the ultimate acquisition. Wow. I can't see a finer Jada than this ever being available on our channel. Thank you, Sue in Edinburgh, just says, wow. Yeah, exactly, mm -hmm. it is wow. It, it, and you said earlier on, the artistry is absolutely key as well, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, I mean... It doesn't get any more skillful, that surely. That level of skill is labour-intensive, Yeah, is expensive. And on top of that, you can only do it on fine-grade jade, which is evident with this piece here. Uh, this is probably the finest of the ice jade eyes yet. Wow, so fantastic. Uh, good day, Susie. Had to get two. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, that's, that's guest designer, Susie. Oh, Susie, wonderful to hear yeah, from you. Yeah, Susie, get to I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, ring you very soon because I want to talk to you about some Imperial Jade uh, that, that I would love uh, for you to design some pieces for me. And, you know, like I said, we're bringing oh, it to the Western amazing. market. And I can't think of anyone else better to design that collection. But this is on another level. It's yeah, we're all level. in agreement with you there, Susie. Absolutely. Probably the finest of the Ice Jadeites. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah. Hundred percent certified aqua jade well, from Manmo. There's the, there's there's the tweezers that you literally yeah, yeah. held before behind. You could what? Sorry. Looks like tracing paper. Yeah, it's that's that it. It does, doesn't it? Uh, Susie's not the only one multi buying. Like I said, we've got uh, Maker and Gloucestershire who's got two. Uh, Leslie, you're on the phone lines as well. There's a lot of you there. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. We have another piece coming up, which is so important as we enter into the year of the dragon. Wow, and I'm just looking as well at the detail. The detail, even down to the muscle definition. You know that lovely, yeah. that beautiful image of that white horse. That's yeah. absolutely stunning, isn't it? Oh, look, whilst we're on that, I'm going to show you the, the white horses that uh, appear at the auction houses, right? Small white jade carving of horse. This is something that is, it's usually a recumbent horse, like a horse lay down. You know, yeah. that one sold for about 95,000 Hong Kong wow. dollars in 2022, which is about 10,000 pounds. There's another one here, pebble carving of two white horses. They're usually- Is it? The, yeah, this is for London Bond Street, 12 to 18,000 pounds. Okay. You know, th they are usually white horses, okay, because of what they symbolize. And there is another one here, uh, articulated carving and a jade eye pendant. Now, this is so important, again, this isn't a horse, but this is so important again because that is free moving in the centre right, of Right, okay. This is 19th, 20th century. Uh, and they say the first of a circular with concentric decoration and two auspicious bats. The second of celadon iron red tone uh, with the lotus flowers. You know, two and a half inches from a private European collection. We're building private European collections. Definitely. Right now. I'm at 499. Where do I go from here? Well, I'm going to take 200 pounds off and this is going to disappear. We have the dragon and the pole coming up. I'm telling you right now, if you're even waiting for the, the next piece, that color with that level of artistry. I'd be familiar, on the phone yeah. lines. I'd be demanding through our contact center that they make it available because we are limited. This yeah. is unbelievable, the opportunity that you have. Yeah. Uh, Alison, really Maker in Gloucestershire, Malik in Berkshire, Cynthia in Greater London, Christine in Hertfordshire. Ask yourself this question. Will you ever see a piece like this again? No, I you should know. I, I, I've just been to the biggest gem show on planet Earth, literally tens of billions i'm sure in fact you know what i saw this is just to give you some context of how rare this level of detail and artistry is i saw a cashmere sapphire mm. that was fifty five thousand dollars per carat right. okay which was a low price for cashmere sapphire i saw a 27 carat golconda diamond yeah um and i saw probably because i always look for the rarest gemstone in the whole of tucson Okay, and I thought I found it, because I found that 26 point something carat Golconda. I was checking to the gentleman, Ashok, who owns it. And it's a, a famous diamond, you can do your research, it's called the Tenor Diamond. Because it's a, a lady bought it in London many, many years ago, and she paid a tenner for it, 10 pounds, right? It's literally called the Tenor Diamond, there's a Where lot of information we? about it. She thought it was costume jewelry, and she wore it for 20 years, washing up, blah, 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 it's huge, 26 carat diamond from Golconda. 
And she went to a wedding in London. This is the way she realized. And she sat next to a person who was a jeweler and they said, I'm in love with your diamond. She said, oh no, it's just costume jewelry. He said, I'll tell you what, on Monday, go down to Sotheby's, it'll change your life. She went down there, type 2A, Golconda diamond, one of the finest in existence. And this gentleman now owns it, right? And he had it just on his booth. He also had some wonderful pieces of Van Cleef. He had some Harry Winston pieces. He had some yellow jade eye earrings, open work carving. Wow. He had the most incredible pieces I've ever seen. And I said to him, I said, you've just, you know, you've made my show because I wanted to find the rarest gemstone. I found it. And he said, that's not even the rarest gemstone on my booth. And I said, what is? And he goes, I've got the only cashmere ruby in existence. And it was like a four carat, pristine cashmere ruby from 1942. And it was just on his booth. Never even heard that they existed. He said it was cut from one piece of rough where the blue literally turned to red. And there was eight pieces cut from wow. this one ruby in 1942. He said the GIA can't even certify it because they don't have any reference material. And that was in Tucson and this wasn't. I'm going to give you a minute. I'll give you 60 I seconds. Ross, I'm going lower. Day. I'm going lower. This He's is your it. opportunity. Unbelievable. Yeah. Just completely unbelievable. Even like somebody with little to no gem knowledge will mm -hmm. look at this and go, how? Yeah. How? Like, like I said, you know, to get the even, artistry. like Susie said, to even just get aqua jadeite yeah. is sensational. Which this is, I mean, look, you can see. And can we just sit with the tweezers behind it a second, Adam? Apologies. Just because I just want you to see the crystallization that we're talking about. There it is. Amazing, completely translucent. You can see the tweezers as Dave, there you go. Look at that. Oh my goodness me. Just go, just a, a lovely, a wonderful reminder that we haven't ever seen it all, have we? That's literally artistry on another level. The prancing horse, aqua jadeite, with an oscillating or spinning circle of heaven. Okay, straight down. Your final price. Well done to everyone who's multi -bought. Something that shouldn't be affordable, something that even four figures would feel too low for. If we get a great deal, we pass it on to you and I'm gonna go straight down, take 100 pounds off, we're going to 199. You've got your interest-free split payments. This is the ultimate showcase. Aqua Jadeite with that free moving component carved from that single incredible Jadeite crystal. Giant carat weight with the most supreme transparency. Yes, we only have double figures available, but look at your incredible split payments that you're getting what? on this piece today. Jenny, Christine, That's Lee, crazy. Alison, Tyne and Weir, Maker, Jeanette, Anne, Janine, Jeannie, Maker, Gloucestershire, Malik, Jane, Beverly, uh, Anonymous Makers, Alison's got two, Marion's got two, uh, Maker and Gloucestershire's got two. This is the way to do it, by the way. Absolutely, if you can afford to do that, if it's within your budget, then look at what is on your screen right now. Look at the £49, supreme quality. Forty-nine pounds, seventy-five yeah. pence, mm -hmm. and it's double-sided as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, Carved double -sided. With the two dragons at the top as we enter into the year of the dragon, with the wonderful carving of the rocking horse. You know, the, the turning of the tide, the imminent arrival of good fortunes, which is the meaning behind this. And you have your forty-nine pounds seventy-five on interest-free split payments. Oh. Probably the greatest deal combined ever done across Gemporia or jewelry maker. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ross was just saying, uh, is this, it, it is the nine dragons, isn't it? Have you got a pearl per dragon? Yeah, there you go. So you've the got that, so you've got the, the, the two dragon heads at the top and then the, the nine calf pearls representing, you know, the, 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 the nine dragon sons wow. of the dragon king. Um, and then the meaning of the horse. Yeah, and uh, Ross has just found this. So here's the rundown of the big 10 numbers, the good, nine in Chinese, nine is pronounced Zhu which also means long lasting wow. as the highest single digit. It represents the maximum level of mortal happiness, longevity, and good luck. A perfect 10 is reserved for the gods. That's amazing. Yeah. All that meaning inscribed in this one work of and art. This is what I love about yeah, the, the, the Chinese culture when it comes to these 10,000 year history of Jade, you know? Yeah. These moments that you see, the more you look at it, the more like you understand story, it. Isn't Absolutely, it? it is. It's a, it's a fairy tale. Yeah. Um, and you're, and you're constantly as well seeing, learning more and more yeah, as, you, as you look into the piece, the work of art. Amazing, absolutely amazing. The details of the dragon, the fact that this. Okay, look, I, 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 the whole idea of this show, I told you in the last couple of days I've been having a conversation with our uh, sales manager, Wayne. 
Yeah. And I said to him, look, do one now and bring one much later in the year because we're never going to get this again. And he's of the opinion, which is kind of our, our mantra here, you know, if we have it, we bring it to you. The True. best deals. And I said, yeah, but if we show both of these, how can anyone decide, right? True. So we're not going to ask you to decide this or that. I'm going to try and make these both as affordable as possible so you can own them both today. Um, a message here from Karen saying, uh, that might just be the craziest price I've ever seen Dave do. <laughs> Thank you so much for making it possible for us to own. And we're not done because I want you to be able to get both. I don't want you to, 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 to miss out on the dragon that's coming up. And I certainly don't want you to miss out on this horse. Especially it's the dragon. So I'm going to give you a one minute. I've only got, how many do we have remaining? Sorry, Ross. 35. Okay, only 35 of these remaining. And then we're moving into the incredible dragon and the pearl. Oh. I want you to know in, in 20 seconds, I'm going even lower on this piece. The only reason is the fact this. that I want you to be able to get both of these. Create your heirloom collection. Create that, that you know, unbelievable, unparalleled collection of world-class jadeite. Two supreme masterpieces. Right yeah. now, we're under 50 pounds on interest-free split payments, right? That's crazy. And we're going lower. And we're not just going a little bit. You know what we do here. We, if we want you to get both, if we're going to bring you both right now, I'm going to go straight down. This is a crazy deal. I just had Karen say it's the craziest deal I've ever seen Dave do. I want you to understand that we've bought a limited edition number of these for our birthday over on Gemporia. Yeah. It's a different deal. And, and we paid twice the price that you're about to pay. Straight down to 149. Wow. Yeah. Couldn't Would bring you a Swiss blue topaz ring for that. That's true. Well That's so true. You know, you think about the gemstones that we can offer at 149. Ice jadeite is not one of them. And with this with unbelievable this... artistry. Yes. Absolutely amazing, Dave. Uh, Leone's got two. Our, our wonderful Susie's got two. Maker in Gloucestershire's got three. Um, I've got Cheryl and Deborah and Ron and Funmi and Kim and Karen and Donna and Laura and Anne and Jane and Beverly. Yeah, this will be a sellout, jewelry makers, no doubt about that. So if you have a phone um, in your hand, stay where you are. If you've got a, if you've got it in your basket, strongly advise checking mm, out for sure. Because otherwise, it's going to slip through your fingers. Um, what did you say? Sorry. 57 people have it in their basket. Well, there's far less than 57 available. We had just over 30, you know, maybe two minutes ago. We don't have anywhere near that right now. No. This is something that I would truly say is unmissable. Unmissable. Look at that. I can't believe it. Maker in Cumbria's got two. Deborah, you've got two. Leone's got two. Susie's got two. Alison's got three now. Another maker's just got two. Hertfordshire, sorry, Herefordshire, you've got two. East Sussex has got two. I, I, yeah, wow. Uh, wow, wow, wow. All the meaning in one mm -hmm. amazing piece with such skill, such artistry. Mm -hmm. Artistry that you can't even comprehend. I can't, even though I it's say it. Achieved. It's hard to actually get my head around it. Yes. You know, that is carved from one singular piece of jade. And don't they say that about art though? They say that you shouldn't, you know, you must look at it and you must ask yeah, questions. Yeah, absolutely. It's thought provoking, yeah. isn't it, artwork? Great art absolutely is, you know, it should pose questions, it yeah. should provoke, and, and that is exactly what this piece does. It's awe-inspiring, it's astonishing, and you, you, we're gonna wait with you. We understand how busy it is and how frustrating yeah, that can be. Please have some patience. We are gonna get 25. to your call. We, we, we're gonna get this piece home to you. We are here with you. I want you to be able to own this piece. Yeah, we've priced it so that you can own this piece. Right, 27 on the phone lines, 44 in baskets. Okay. For the final... 17, okay, okay. yeah. 17 opportunities remaining you can still do it but you just need to be extra fast on mm. this as well you, you can and, and the still only do reason it. we've gone this low obviously it's in part in the deal that we did um largely in part to that but also because we want you to own this piece that is coming up yeah in in, in a second's time and to have the, the opportunity the to own this dragon this level of color with that sensational pearl carved at the centerpiece and the horse two unbelievable transparent translucent aqua jade art carvings is uh, is phenomenal so well done to everyone who is successful just amazing on this. i'm absolutely literally amazing. over the moon for you absolutely amazing what achievement what an absolute achievement and it's, it's even more mind-blowing when you see it in person as well okay um you know look we've got uh, 11 opportunities look at the split payments that we're talking 10 left let's give everyone a minute clock to close 
And uh, can I just say, if, you know, if after this minute, if there's like three left, don't think you've missed out. Make sure you pursue it. Make sure you're acquiring this. Stay holding until the contact sent center tell you that, you know, okay, there's none left. Yeah, that's a massive quantity that you managed to achieve as well. Oh, it's phenomenal. Massive, massive. Uh, um, I still can't get my head around it, Dave. Not how, a single how, piece in the whole of how? Tucson. And of course, I'll, I'll be looking in Hong Kong as well. Literally, the, the moment I've arrived back in the country, I've been um, on the phone to Stanley Chu. I've been on the phone to my high jewelry team in Hong Kong. I've been acquiring, like I said, Imperial Jade, which is a landmark deal. Probably yeah. the biggest deal of my life. Wow. It's still nothing like this. No, no, it's just unbelievable. We're just saying about meditation, you know, something mm. like that. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Top jewelry is tactile. Yeah. Isn't it? It, it, it? There is something, especially with jade. Jade is tactile. Anyone who knows jade knows that there's a well, magic to touch it. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. physically feel it. Do you know, I'm casting my mind back. Piaget used to do, I think they were one of the first companies to do well like a spin. Stay ring. holding, there is three left. And that, that's gold. Yeah. Let's be honest. It, it, you cast Absolutely. it. Mm. Whereas this is literally Jadeite. Congratulations. Wow. Again, there's two or three remaining stay holding, but this piece, can I just grab it? A yeah. Second? I'm trying to show it from there. That That's level of color. Goodness. And Ross, certified aqua, right? Certified aqua Jadeite with that presence of color, with that wonderful dragon, the traditional long dragon that is, is, is you know, surrounding this, thank you, Ross. Just wanted to share that with everyone. This is the Chinese certification we're talking about. Of course, it is Jade. It is unenhanced. It is Type A, and uh, it is also certified Aqua, which is down to the compact nature of Jade. That's a great analogy that you were explaining earlier on. Um, you know, because when we say sort of rough, coarse crystal, yeah, exactly. The, there it is, Aqua Jade. Well, I I used to use another analogy, which was like oil drums full of like basketballs and yeah. you know uh, whatever, but. Jeff Mason gave me a much a much nicer analogy, which is you think of three jars, one's full of conkers, another one's full of marbles, and then the other one's full of sand. It's the same volume, but the compact nature that, that was within yeah. it determines the value, the supreme nature of that jade. I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. Both of these are so compact, they so are compressed. Amazing. This one, and remember what we talk about when we talk about aqua jade. It says first and foremost, you know, an insider looks at kind, an outsider looks at color. And they say, first and foremost, you want to make, a, make sure you've got a, a good stone and then the color impacts on the value. Well, we know it's a good stone, it's certified as such, but now the color impacts on it. The color without the crystal is nothing. When you get them both, there it is. That, that, that has never been removed from the jade. That uh, is the just pearl. Just a hidden pearl inside. Mm -hmm. How amazing is now, this? Now, just so you know, extraordinarily compact aqua jade. There is the dragon surrounding it, the traditional a dragon that moves throughout the jade. Oh my God, look at the carat weight. 240. Yeah, now the previous piece was under 100 carats. This is 240 carats of, of green jadeite with that wonderful sphere in the center, which is the dragon and the pearl. That story, just amazing. Yeah. And, and right now in the market, there is a huge presence. Thank you for trusting us, by the way. I see you multibung already. Yeah, already. There's a huge presence of, of people wanting to bring the dragons. Uh, you know, people have been holding back jade carved dragons for like 10 years, waiting for the year of the dragon, right? Yeah, isn't it meant to be one of the luckiest? And think about it, it's the only uh, animal of the zodiac that's mythical. That's true, yeah. Right, so it has a huge standing in uh, in the, the Chinese calendar, in the Chinese culture. It is the, the king of all beasts. It is the, the beginning of everything. And on top of that, in the year of the dragon that we're just about to enter into, of course, that's when it's gonna command its premium. So many of the pieces that you're gonna mm. see on the market right now, people have been holding for years, yeah, just waiting for this year. Relating, yeah. I'm gonna start at 5,000 pounds, irreplaceable at that price. I mean, you guys know that, I know that, but we didn't pay that for it. Yeah. Look at that detailing of his foot there. The fact that he disappears into well, the circle of heaven. Well, that's because they say, don't they, that the dragon is so powerful that no mere mortal should be able to see a full dragon and survive to tell the tale. Wow. It's so powerful. And that's why they're often, you know, Just hidden behind parks. clouds, uh, under waters, wrapped around mountains, in the clouds, as we said. And here it's, you know, embedding itself in the jade, emerging from the jade. You can see its talons. You can see its wonderful muscular body with its yeah. scales and the wonderful face with the tendrils, you know, clasping at that pearl in the center. 
Just Beverly, beautiful. Janice, Cynthia's got two, Marion's there, Maker in Swansea, Nicola in Surrey, Dorothy in Durham, Ron in Kent, Sue in Edinburgh, Jeanette in Nottingham, Maker in Gloucestershire, Anne in Denbyshire, Denise, Margaret, Kefili, uh, Maker. You know we're nowhere near done. You know that we are nowhere near done right now. Look at that detailing. Mm -hmm. Wow. One of the biggest carrot weight carvings we've seen for a long time. Mm -hmm. But with the internal yeah, moving Yeah, the, the carrot curl. weight is, is so unimportant. It's so, so impressive. But Jada is priced piece by piece. Yeah. It's not priced by the carrot weight. No. Not realistically. No, that's more the diamond market, isn't it? And uh, when you look at a piece like this, it's so significant. Wow. That presence of that kind of really saturated Looking color. Down to that. That is aqua certified. The flame, well, it's yeah. called the flaming pearl, isn't it? Yeah, the, yeah, the, the 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 pearl of abundance. Wow. Um, I'm gonna give you a thirty second clock. I promised you we're gonna look after you. I said, look, we're gonna price this so you can own both of them. That's pretty amazing that yeah. you've said that, I mean, especially as you've got literally in a month's time a trip to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> Where these um, could be which taken. Which I'm yeah, very excited about. Um, and again, I'll take you guys along with me. I want to show you what's happening in the market. I want to show you, you know, what, what is happening with Jadeite because we have built some awe-inspiring, impressive collections together. Mm. And these are those pieces now that are going to take your collection to the next level, I hope, if you're lucky enough to get one. Yeah, I'm going to take £4,000 off the price because I did say no one's paying four figures for these today. So I'm going to take you straight down there. So, you, you know, even though we're talking about uh, objectively a more valuable piece because of the, the presence of the colour as well as it being aqua, the carrot weight as well, you know, over twice the carrot weight of the previous piece. And of course, the wonderful dragon and the story of the dragon and the pearl. There's that moving part mm. in the centre. Look at that. It's genuinely, it is just an absolute pleasure and a privilege to be here with Jada like this. Yeah, and the fact they both move so differently as mm. well, don't they? Yeah. But then obviously and this is the, 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 the idea of getting a spherical shape within that Jada. I can't. Is I, they've got to polish it all the way around 360 degrees, all the way around to give you that spherical nature of yeah. it. Yeah. It's a, it's a very special piece. And this is Where why do you I knew, begin? Well, exactly. And this is why I knew the reception on this would be, you know, like what we're talking about right now. Um, my friend wore a jewellery maker dragon jade up pendant to Tucson this year. Oh, if I'd have known they were there, I'd have met them. Uh, after four hours, she took it off and hid it. She was offered £4,000. Wow. Isn't that Thank you for that message, Lorraine. That, that, yeah, that is the reality. I, want, I wonder, Lorraine, which one it was. Yeah, I would love to know. Um, there you go. That is so the, imagine and, what and the moving parts one would be. Exactly. And, and this is the value of your jade. Although we bring you Thank these you impressive, Lorraine. incredible deals, you know, in the eyes of the market, if you've got certified jadeite, if you've got big carrot weights, if you've got intricate carvings, yeah, and that was offered to her at Tucson, they're mm -hmm. going to then sell it for a profit and all of it's wholesale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. 30 second clock. That's well amazing. done, guys. This one, many of you are committing early. I think, you know, the kind of confidence that we're giving you on this right now. And I can, I can, you know, I can visualize that mm -hmm. situation as well. Yeah, because, you've been there, yeah. Yeah, I can actually visualize that because people are there solely, travel all around the world to purchase the finest yep, gemstones. Yep. So they would, I can imagine, I can imagine that, Lorraine. Good luck, everybody. Wow, Dave. Well, Ross, and, and to everyone watching, I'm about to take this to the price that we should be at. I'm going to tell you we're nowhere near done, which is crazy. And I apologize, Ross, but I, I've cleared it with Wayne. So Ross wasn't privy to these conversations. But as I said to Wayne, I said, we either break these up and sell them individually, like throughout the year, or we put them both in this show. But I want to price it so you can both you can get involved on both. So if this was for later in the year, if this was on its own today, this carving and the horse separate the price that we would aim for on this and it would sell out would be two nine nine. So I'm going to go there right now. And that's what it says on Ross's sheet be, of paper yeah. as well, which we know is a sensational deal. But I've said to all of you today, you've got the chance to, to acquire both of these because we're going to make that happen. We, we, you know, we made the decision to put them both in the same show. We understand that with our JDAT collectors, you're going to want to get both of them. Mm -hmm. This is your opportunity. This genuinely is your opportunity right now. And we're nowhere near done. Had this been just a showcase dedicated to this piece, I'd be done right now. Also, there is the drill hole yeah, just yeah, there. Yeah. 
Yeah, there is the drill hole. So that's that's very cleverly drilled in that direction, kind of skims the surface. Um, so the, obviously it's not detracting from your beautiful work of art just here. There it is, the moving pearl. But Ross is saying, okay, all good, but we need to see him there to yeah. do that, to justify that price tag it needs to be a seven. Yeah, okay, so th that's very true. I'm about to take this lower than we're comfortable with going, really. Yeah. And the only argument for that was the fact that we had both of them available. I didn't want you to have to choose. I didn't want you to have to miss out. I'd much rather separate these so you can save for each of them and say, you know, in three months, we've got one more of these coming up. Yeah. And that way, but if we're going to bring them in one show, then I need to see 50 people on the phone lines right now. Can I have a minute clock? I'm asking 50 of you to, to get it on the phone lines or the web or the app. And we're going to take this lower. But we, like Ross said, you're right, Ross. We can't just do it anyway. We want to see you there. We want to see if the demand is there, if there are those of you that want to own both, that want to come on in and get involved on this. If you show us you're there, we're going to do it. Well, Ross has just said, actually, you know what, Al? You can already now, where we are, mm -hmm. you can get both of these amazing mm -hmm. carvings yeah. for under £500. Yeah, it's crazy. Which is crazy. And we're going lower. And you've got your interest-free split payments. And let's not forget, you know, sometimes we throw away... Yeah, you know, kind of throwaway statements like add a zero to the price. Yeah. You add a zero to this, you're not getting it. Yeah. Anywhere else. You're yeah. not getting it. You know, I saw this piece, no moving components, uh, type A jadeite. Mm -hmm. It was twelve and a half thousand dollars at Tucson about three days ago. Wholesale. And it sold. My goodness me. With the heart of the pen. We need to see that you're there. Oh, Ross is... What's he saying? He says... He's digging his heels in, Dave. Okay. Okay. He says another minute. I'll tell you what I'll do, Ross. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to take some off right now, which will take it lower than we should ever be. But I will give you one last chance, one opportunity after this, like Ross said. And if you show me, there we go again. If not, we've done an incredible deal. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna, Ross, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to 249. Okay. Okay, which is an incredible deal. It's already lower than we should be. Had this been a showcase just dedicated to this piece, we'd never be even here. But this, for me, is doing everything I said that I would do. But I am prepared to take this lower, but I'm only gonna do it if you're there. If not, this is a, a sensational deal. So, like Ross said, how many people do we need to see on the phone, Ross? 20 okay. more, he's well, saying. We need to see 20 more people on the phone lines. It's already £62.25 on interest free split payments. This is a crazy deal. But if 20 of you right now want to join in on this deal, this is the power of numbers, we'll take it lower. So I'm going to give you a minute clock. I am going to give you a minute. And I'm going to say, I, I personally want to give a better deal. I do. I'd love to take this lower. But, you know, I, I, I genuinely do need some help from you guys yeah. at home as well. I do. <laughs> so I, I'm asking for just 20 of you to show you know, your support to, to be there. If you want if you want this okay. and you'd like it to go lower on price. Yeah, okay, there's about eight people we need now, so it's gone crazy. Okay. I'm not surprised. Well done. On the eve of the year of the dragon as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, there has never been a better time to get hold of your dragon. Or, well, it's never been a worse time outside of here. Yes, Because true, the price true. gets bumped up. But right now for you guys, it's, it's an amazing opportunity. And it looks, hopefully, what is it? Four more people. Four more people on the phone lines. Yeah. And I'll take this lower for everyone. And all of you that have already committed, all of you that have already multiple, get an even better deal. This should never happen. Just amazing, isn't it? For that yeah, weight. much larger carrot weight. You know, over twice the carrot weight. And with the, um, the saturated colour, both aqua as well. Aqua, yeah. Ross, can I do it? Yeah, he's giving me the do thumbs it. up. So, congratulations, well done. Should never do this. We're taking it. To, to 199, which is 100 pounds lower than we should have ever been. We're going straight down to 199, you get your interest-free split payments, which take you, I think, just under 50 pounds on your interest-free split payments. So, well done to every single one of you. So both for less than 350 pounds today. Well, yeah, that That's is crazy, really isn't it? One of them. That puts it into crazy, crazy perspective. Yes, and to be I honest, on did you payment. just say both of these under 350? Yeah. But are you telling me that any one of these should be under no, 350. No, definitely not. Let alone both. So wait, let's 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 take it that little step further. Hang on, what are the split payments together then? Because you mm. don't even have to under 100 pounds on split payments. Yeah. Yeah. To get them home. Yeah. 
Alison's got two, Marion's got two, I've got Elaine, Maker, Laura, Christine, Diana, Brenda, Catherine, I've got a Lee Thanks and Somerset, Cheryl, Heather and Kent, Ricky, Mary, Angela, Maker, Jenny, Elaine, Lorenzo and Great London, Joanne, Norfolk, Maker, Diana, Neil, Linda, Maker in Cumbria, Maker in Swansea, uh, Julie and Caffili, Margaret in Wiltshire. This is your opportunity. We're at forty nine yeah. pounds and seventy five pence. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Hi, hi Lorraine. Yeah, hi everyone. The pendant was the nine dragon piece, I remember that. Yeah. It was a gift from me. Oh, what a gift, Lorraine. She rang me and the gentleman also offered 7,000. Wow. So she was offered 4,000 and then 7,000 for one of the, the Jadeite carvings that we sold here um, on this very channel. That is the reality of it in the real world. Do you know, that's, and thank so you so much. So glad you got to experience yeah. Tucson as well. What an experience that must have been. And, you know, there you go. You, you completely you know, validating what we all know. We always say it, don't we? But to actually hear, to have the likes of... Uh, real uh, world experience. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, one of our lovely viewers texting in live mm -hmm. saying, look, this is my experience of Jewelry Maker Jada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How amazing is that? And those, you know, we've got moving parts within this as well For today. the first time. Wow. And, and you've said before, Dave, you know, with Kotan, I guess it would apply to the pieces like this. Don't sell it just yet. Yeah. Don't sell oh, it just 100%. yet. Oh, 100%. If 100%. you are going to sell it, if you can part with it, maybe 29 wait. chances remaining. Wow. That means you haven't missed out. That's a healthy quantity. If we'd have came to screen today yeah. with just 30, we'd be over the moon. The fact that yeah, this absolutely. isn't a one of a kind. Absolutely. Look at that. Look at, even down mm -hmm. to the scaling on his back, the mm -hmm. muscle definition. Gainer, you can do it. Wow. Lynn, you can do it. Florence, you can do it. Anne in Greater Manchester, Mary, Angela, Jenny, Joanne, Neil, Julie, Margaret. Multi buyers in Cumbria, in Middlesex, in Bristol. Just amazing. Yeah. Truly, truly, truly amazing. Um, good luck. How many did we have of these at the beginning? Did we? Yeah. Three figures. What's the likelihood? And I kind of know the question, yeah. the answer to the question, but what's the likelihood of, us, you, of you being able to replace something like this? Very, very slim. Very, very slim. And it's actually impossible at the price on your screen. But yeah. very slim for any price. We just don't see it. The reason being that the, that the material that is suitable for carving like this just doesn't come out from Guatemala. I'm going to give you a minute clock to close this one out. We're in single figure stock. We had over 100 of these. Well done. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, straight down to single figures. Amazing. You can do it, Diane, Lynn, yeah, and you haven't Ricky. Missed the boat yet. You can do it. Mary, Angela, Jenny, Joanne. I, I, do you know the worst feeling for me is if I, if you see something like this, you don't mm -hmm. check out in time, and then it comes to the end of the day and you're thinking about it, aren't you? And yeah, like, oh, yeah, 100%. why didn't I just act that little bit faster? Absolutely. There's so this, nothing worse. This is that unique opportunity that you can be a part of. There are five yeah. chances remaining. You've got kind of half a minute to make this yours. You haven't missed out. It's a free phone number. You can use the web and the app as well, which means you can kind of just bypass the queue yeah and you can use the split payments on all platforms amazing and there it is the moving pearl in the mm -hmm. center wow uh, wow dave just truly unbelievable another level so what 87 pounds something you can get the two of them home for today makes no sense does it no it makes no, no it really sense doesn't. at all again when you have those conversations with the likes of roland schluss yeah or, yeah and uh, mason and, and k did you mention by no, any chance? I didn't, that, no, I didn't mention the, the kind of deals that we do because, you know, we are one of the biggest buyers of JDA in the Western world. And with that volume, we are privy to some incredible deals and we pass yeah. them directly onto you guys. So well done to anyone who's successful amazing. in those auctions. Truly, today. truly, truly amazing. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Now, Dave, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you so Firstly. much. I appreciate that. But I really appreciate you coming on to Thank show us so those. Much. They're absolutely amazing. No and problem. I can't wait to hear more about Tucson. Yeah. And, and just a quick one for any of you that are tuned in uh, right now. And I know that you love your incredible Jedi. If you want to, to, to see Imperial Jedi, and even more, if you want the chance to, to own it, if you want to hear from Mason and Kay and other experts in the industry, there's going to be a series of, of, of drops and, and information coming on David Harry Jules. So if you go there, Facebook or Instagram, follow along, yes. um, be part of that community. And of course, you'll be the first to know when the Imperial Jedi arrives in the UK. Well, you get, you, you're very, uh, you're great on social media, by the way. I, I was try, you, I, I was, try. I was Thank you very over much. Social, uh, over Tucson. Thank you. Saw the pearls, the mm, fibre pearls, things like that. Yeah. Amazing. So oh, Dave, everybody. Thank you, Alan. Thank you to you guys as well. Oh, isn't he just wonderful? Just a little 
literally when you think it can't get any better it gets better and better and better and better now wow so you'll see how we hope to see Dave very very soon now I can bring you two more jade auctions we're going to continue with the movement of jade and I'm going to start with wow the two gourds but with their own link. Look at that. Now these are extremely limited. Now not only do you have the link, which is almost acting as a bale, but if I turn it in that direction, can you see how there's a drill hole where I'm holding it with the tweezers? So it kind of goes through in this direction. But again, that love, oops, um, that amazing ice. Let me hold it this way and you can see it better maybe. Can you see that there? Drill hole just there. That you could feed directly. All carved from one absolutely incredible piece of ice jadeite. The good luck gourd. Now, the last time this was on air, Jewelry Makers, 25 carats again, that intricacy, that skill, that artwork. When we, when we just reference back to that GIA article that Dave brought to air, where it showed that carved jadeite bangle, you know, it, it, you start to recognise you know, just how amazing, what offerings we have on our screens right now. But if you look at that image, see, see the link? That's, cut, that's one piece. Carved, not, not the, each, each section, if you like, is not a separate boulder. That's all carved out of one piece because the link is into the link. Now, the last time we brought this gourd, vase, vase and gourds effectively the same thing, very auspicious, I, I believe to bring you luck. It was brought to air at £199. I've got 40 available for you today. And in 60 seconds, on the back of, is that was that Dave's first show on the back of Tucson here at Jewelry Maker? think it was um so really you know only the news from tucson was news we were expecting we know that the price of our uh, of our type a jadeite particularly the ice jadeite particularly with this movement should not be anywhere near what we bring our customers but fantastic that we do in 30 seconds like you watch the reaction how fast this is for the first time ever, we're going to take this under £100. First and last, let's be honest, because it's going to sell out at that price tag. There are only 40 available. You still have your 0% interest split payment carved out of one single piece of Type A Ice Jadeite. Laboratory certified as well. You know, Dave said earlier on, didn't he? He was like, the, the certificate alone should be hundreds of pounds. Good luck, as promised. Under £100, you've got that lovely jemmy translucency. That's crazy. Madness, absolute madness. Uh, at the end of March, Dave goes to Hong Kong. At the end of March, there is nothing stopping him taking these to Hong Kong, where, of course, it would be at the, you know, the, the, the market value, which is nowhere near 99 It's con considerably more. Look, oh, my goodness, if you look at the documentation for this piece it's not just aqua it's also lavender so we should be putting that on the our graphic shouldn't we aqua lavender and we've just squeezed it under 100 pounds our business model is so far removed from anywhere else in the jade world that's the reality and that's why lorraine i really thank you for texting in um you know saying look my friend wore jewelry maker jade like two tucson and was offered 4,000, what was it, and 7,000 pounds. Out of the 40 that were available, I have 10 left. Well done to those of you that have multi-bought, well done to those of you that have got yours, again, carved out of one amazing piece. It's not a case of, right, okay, I'll do the gourd and then we'll, we'll work on the bale separately and connect it together. Can't be done. 
it has to all be done in one amazing piece just blows my mind in terms of that wonderful intricacy uh, 24 pounds and 99 pence 0 percent interest again there's so many of you getting involved if you love the gourd um, or the vase rather then again, uh, um, we have this one, but it's last of stock. We can reference Mason and Kay, actually. This was um, a smaller uh, jadeite, water jadeite, very similar in actual fact, $1,350. And that's a one-of-a-kind piece that they have. Not a bad price. However, I need to point out that's much smaller. Um, here we go. Go to you, Jen. Um, <laughs> okay, this is good. U.S. dollars... 14,800 up to 19,700 but they're the estimates so that will be massively low they would have sold way above that way 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 above that and that's imperial green i think you'd all agree but again it's already 20 grand that's their estimate just to spark up their interest you are sourcing aqua natural type a burmese jadeite with that movement hand carved today for 99 pounds now i've got another quantity there's 40 of these this is amazing oh i really like this one this is beautiful it's a bit smaller look at that again turn it side profile all carved out of one piece of jade how amazing is that one piece of jade interlocking links just amazing isn't it should we do something ridiculous oops sorry so ridiculous that when we crash the price tag we're going to immediately put a red clock on your screen 60 second clock because it is that it is going that low i love this one it's your good luck vase little pair of earrings i think it'd be lovely it'd be great for gents as well um, again, look at your certificate of authenticity, jewelry makers. This is from the Chinese Gem Lab, Aqua, Aqua Jade. I, and to be honest, when you're looking at sort of the moving parts, this is what David was describing. You know, it's got to be Aqua Jade, hasn't it? You know, that fine sand crystal that he was describing in the jars. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get this level of intricacy. Are you ready? Oh my goodness, me, Ross. There's only 40, though. Even if you got hold of some of the other ones, you could get two for the pair of earrings and the larger one earlier on for the, for the, for the necklace. Amazing. But can I also just say, you've got, you've got Valentine's Day around the corner, haven't you? You know, vases is good luck or protection jade is protection um how amazing would this be to actually gift and i do think it's something that you could give to, to ladies gents and all different ages 49.99 is a massive closeout deal jewelry makers for the fact that this is aqua jade you've got 20 seconds then we're going to duck straight into immediately into a break jewelry makers we only had 14 that's why we've got the limited um uh, time um and we push those boundaries massively under 50 pounds incredible jewelry makers do not go anywhere because remember we've got so much more to bring you and your master class we'll see you in two Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie, one of Jewelry Makers guest designers. Just wanted to give you a little heads up at what's coming on Thursday the 8th of Feb. So at 9 o'clock we have some beautiful floral pendants, they're absolutely stunning. Some gorgeous gemstones, you set them yourself, they are exquisitely well made, I can't wait to show you them. And then at 12 o'clock we have some fantastic settings, I've never used them before, I will definitely be using them again. Uh, they're snap settings, anyone can set them. You can use little to no tools at all. Bish, bash, bosh, they're done. Can't wait to show you those too. So I really hope you can join me on Thursday. Can't wait to be back in the studio and I will be seeing you there. Bye. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. 
Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Oh, what a wonderful Wednesday. I did say it was going to be pretty special. And we've got the lovely Linda back in the studio as well. You right, my darling? Oh, fine. I've just spent the last half an hour um, in the gallery. Yeah. Watching you and Dave with that jade. And it was just such a privilege. It was brilliant. It, gosh, that's a stressful He's place amazing, though, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, the lengths he goes to, bless yeah, him. Absolutely to bring opportunities yeah, like that. He was. I and how wonderful to hear from our audience saying about, mm, you know, look. Amazing. It's lovely to see the process out there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, okay, so we've brought you some amazing price points on one of the most valuable gemstones in existence. And now, I'll tell you what we're going to do, like a little mini clearance on what was my collection that I launched. This is all we have left. 16 items, some with bigger quantity some were more limited once these are gone they're absolutely gone and one thing that I'm going to promise is that these are going to clear the vault get them gone look there's no sh we're not recommissioning these again we're not doing them again once they're gone they're gone now some how long ago was it a couple of years ago maybe I don't know maybe a year I don't know um anyway I launched the willow and tick uh, uh, collection and 
what I really wanted the inspiration of the collection to be is not so much about sort of, oh, this is inspired by a flower or this is inspired by a work of art or a landscape, whatever. I wanted it to be more about emotions. So each of these will come with a little card. I'll say this really quickly. Come with a little card, little write up on there. What, what the inspiration from my point of view was, you might perceive them to be very, very different as well. Um, okay, so these are clearance deals, yeah? Get them gone, Roscoe, yeah? And they all come in little Hessian bags as well, by the way. So they're perfect for gifts. We've got 16 lines and every single one of them are going. Um, let's start in silver or gold? Sil the gold. Well, she's up here. There she is. The lady on the moon. Um, hang on, have I got the card? Yeah. Yeah, love you to the moon. So I can read it with you. And that is encrusted with zircon as well, jewelry makers, gold plated sterling silver. Um, and the card, it says it's simple. This piece is all about your love, perfect, unlimited, heart stopping love. Be that romantic or maternal, friendship or love of yourself. This lady sits elegantly in all of those blissful emotional, emotional um, moments. Um, so yeah, they all come with a little willow and tick card, just like so, with that write up on there and also come with in their uh, certificate itself clearance deals let's get it get, let's get them gone you've got 3.4 grams of precious metal um, a black spinel and also you've got the white topaz which are um, emblematic of uh, the actual stars in the sky itself clearance deals come a little hessian pre uh, presentation bag I mean for the ground oh, wow Ross you weren't kidding yeah, well, that's a big gram weight. Big, big, big gram weight. Oh, sorry. There she is, sat on the moon. You've got two gemstones in there as well, in your little Hessian bags, and they come with the gift cards just like this. I, I'm going to say it, you know, even if you take the card out, if you're just looking at that thinking, because it's also symbolic of, of femininity, isn't it, mm -hmm. the moon? Totally. Um, you might be gifting on that part. You don't have to include the card. It's entirely up to you if it's just the piece of jewellery that's speaking to you. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everyone. Not going fast enough, says Roscoe. Yeah, clear it out. Let's get it gone. They're not going to be recommissioned. By the way, there's nothing wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just they haven't been on air for a while. 2022 was when they were first, two, launch, uh, two years ago when we first originally launched these as well. £12.99 pence only. They are not cubic zirconia encrusted. These are genuine gemstone encrusted. Um, and again, can I just show the card that it actually comes with too? And a hessian bag. So if you are thinking about those gifts. So there you go. Comes with a willow and take card. And then you've got the little write up there at the bottom. Um... Here's, here's me being all yeah, here's me being all moody, perching, looking out the window, just doing a bit of sketching. <laughs> it's not posed, is it? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Can I just say I'm the most awkward person in the world for photographs as well, so 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 that one was a proper like hmm. uh, yes, yes, Ross. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Get them gone. Get them gone. Get them gone. Get them gone. We've got quantity. This is the one we had the biggest quantity of, wasn't it? Um, and it's also got one of the biggest gram weights too. I'll just hold it, show it up to the neckline, uh, so you can get yours. We'll do the same in the silver. There you go. There you go. Love you to the moon and back. Okay, let's bring you the same in the silver. So again, comes with a card, comes with a little bag, the little gift bag. Um, amazing. Oops, sorry, there it is. There it is, there it is. is it, oh, it's sold out. Well done, well done, well done. Look how low we're going. Look how low we're going. Get them gone, get them gone. The tiger. Do you know who actually designed this? I can't take credit for this one. It was actually my husband. I, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't. I wanted to do the tiger, but I couldn't draw one. All my tigers ended up looking like tiggers. <laughs> so yeah, here's the picture of Tom looking mm -hmm. out the window with this guy. <laughs> no, I can't take credit for this one. I couldn't draw it. Mine all looked like tigger. Um, and he's actually one of my favorites. 
I love this one. There he is. Um, and I'll read the tiger to you in a second. It's cool, isn't it? It is cool. I put it to the back of my hand and you have also got in there beautiful genuine gemstones there. Some orange sapphire um, at £14.99. Again, they come alongside absolute clearances. Orange sapphire in this one. Um, so again, comes with your Willow and Tig card. And then inside, we'll read it together, shall we? I have to get a bit closer because I can't read it from there. Oh yeah, I tell you what, I'll read it to you here. Uh, the tiger is considered across many cultures as the king of all beasts. It is admired for its courage, strength, protection, and solitude. At times, many of us uh, will feel like we could benefit from those strong traits. In those times, your tiger is beside you. There you go. Um, amazing. Let's do what, sorry? The silver tiger. Here he is. Here he is. Um, I think this is something... Yeah, these are uh, these are great prices. But like I said, points being sat in our vault. Get them, get them gone. Get them gone. Twelve ninety nine. There's the tiger. Sapphire. Yeah. There you go. It's a lovely sapphire. <laughs> Adam's still teasing me about the picture. Let's do what? Sorry. The phoenix. Yeah, that's here. Here we go. It's got an Ethiopian opal in the centre. This was a popular one out of the collection when we first originally launched it. Um, yeah, very popular on launch, this one. Big Ethiopian opal in the centre. And again, let me just read the card to you at the back. It says, the phoenix, and uh, depicted as a symbol of life, death and rebirth the phoenix is hailed throughout history like the sun that dies to welcome the night it is uh, reborn in the morning sky this piece is our reminder that no matter how challenging our days might be every dawn is a new chapter um i think it's sold out well done let's do the gold rose yeah there, there it is okay get them gone ross get them gone Everyone sold out so far. That's fantastic. There we go. And it was one of our audience. Oh, one left of the gold. Love you to the moon and back. Okay. That's the only one. Um, it was actually a customer that, that encouraged me to do the rose as part of this collection. Um, often given as a symbol of love at first sight or continued love. Um, oh, Valentine's Day is on the horizon. Um, the rose encompasses beauty and purity and many of us see this vision as a reminder for those emotions. Again, you might think of it a different way. So it might remind you of a nearest and dearest loved one. Um, you can discard the card if you wish. It's entirely up to you. But again, um, I really wanted it to be quite... Uh, um, a natural looking rose as opposed to so that's why i was really focusing on actually creating the curves of the petal itself and again you have genuine garnet in there that's what's bringing you the red um these are clearance deals at 14.99 jewelry makers so again they come within a little hessian bag if you are thinking about with the willow and tig embossed on the front there so if you are thinking about gifts um, they would be perfect for that. Angela, Mary, Northamptonshire, Ma uh, Maker in London, Tracy, Cambridgeshire, Cynthia, Joanne. These are sellouts, jewelry makers. Got it. Is it gone? Yeah. Not quite. How many? You can still get involved, but these are rock bottom clearance deals. Yeah, because we're not recommissioning another Willow and Tick collection. This is the only one that I, I wanted it to be a one off collection. I didn't want it to be a repeat. £12.99. Oh, need to get hold of that. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Or maybe you know you've got like Mother's Day, absolutely. Um, maybe it's a name. Maybe it's a name or maybe a loved one's favorite flower, um, whichever it might be. Okay, let's move on. Let's do the Buddha. Oh, the Buddha's one of my favorites. I like the Buddha. Um, okay. Here it is. One of my favourite ones, this is. Again, genuine gemstone. So you've got your zircon on the bale. And again, I can read this to you. It says, uh, Buddha. Buddhism uh, fascinates me, whether considering considering it a religion or a prophecy, 
Um, all it encompasses are beliefs of pure goodness, positivity, and ultimately thoughts that can only benefit our own state of mind. So it's about being positive, effectively, and kind, and all those things. Uh, but again, massive closeout deals, big gram weight to this as well. And then you have your um, lovely, is it topaz? No, zircon, I beg your pardon, that is um, encrusted in the bale as well. We do have the budger in the silver as well, but again, very, very limited. Um, we'll bring them all to you. It's only 16 lines, isn't it, across the entire collection? That is all we had left. Um, so again, make sure you're checking those out, everybody. Um, little extra saving, yeah, go on, Roscoe. Get them gone. 16.99. What is the gram weight on this? Because it is 3.37 grams. It's not flimsy. You know, we did want it to be quite an investment of your precious metal there as well. Yeah, loving that. That, that one a nice 20 inch chain. Oh, on Amazon night stretchy, says Ross. Yeah, I like that. Very nice. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Or maybe in some, um, in a Marla or in your Botswana that you had earlier on, all of those things. Yeah, there's nothing saying it has to go on a chain. Um, okay, next up, gold what? Gold heart. Uh, this is garnet. Ross, have you seen these before? Some of them. Um, so here it is. So it's a garnet cabochon. Yeah, heart carved uh, garnet cabochon. And the heart symbolizes health and self care. Life gets crazy, and often we forget to look after ourselves in amongst the chaos. Remember to take care of you too. And that's why the, deep, the, the precious metal kind of looks like hands copping the heart. Um, it's about protecting, you know, health uh, and look, looking after yourself. Um, but again, that is a, it's not a trillion, it is a cabochon carved into a heart. Um, and again, in your precious metal there as well. And um, we do have this in the silver, but if you are a yellow gold person, again, you don't have to have the card. They don't, they come along with it. They also come with a little Hessian bag. Uh, Lauren, have you got one of those bags there? Is Lauren still there? Um, just to show everyone. Oh, it's not Hessian, is it? It's velvet, actually. Um, that has the willow and tick embossed onto the uh, um, bag itself as well. They've gone. Congratulations. Let's do. Thank you, darling. There you go. Um, the acorn, got the acorn, silver acorn. This is what, okie doke. I don't have the card for the acorn though. There he is, in your tiger's eye. It's so good, it, uh, the acorn is like, you know the saying from tiny acorns, great oaks grow. It's yeah. about aspirations, hopes yeah, and dreams. Exactly. Um, again, this is one of the first collections that we launched. It's a beautiful gem, that is. Yeah, it had right? to be Tiger's Eye, didn't yeah. it? Had to be Tiger's Eye for the acorn. Fourteen ninety nine. My father in law wears the acorn. Yeah, wears it all the time. He tuned on the original launch. I like the acorn. He wears that on his chain. Um, yeah, and it is about hopes, dreams, aspirations, you know, goals, those kind of things. Um, again, sterling silver, and then you have your lovely tiger's eye, and then parve detailing on your zircon as well. Um, okay, there's again. This, I'm surprised this was actually oh, okay. I'm surprised this is actually on air because the acorn flew. Let's do the dandelion connector. So I, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll show you the connector and I'll show you the pendant because it'll make sense then. Does that make sense? So look, because there's the pendant. Yeah. But then if you wanted to make matching earrings, say, you've got the dandelion connector as well. Yeah. There you go. And that is a Zambian amethyst in the center there as well. Uh, 12.99, my goodness wow. me. Oh yeah, maybe. Try the code. Try the code. Feb 20. Try it. See if it works. It is amethyst after all. You never know. Don't see why not. Give it a, give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. Um, and again, all comes gift 
uh, um, packaged rather so that if you did want to actually gift it you could do that there massive clearance deals for you as well this morning jewelry makers so um, read the card I believe what the mind can conceive the mind can achieve uh, make wishes and dream daily whilst also appreciating the joys of what we have right now once upon a time something you'd only dreamt of is now your reality um, so being thankful £12.99 they're absolutely flying out again just literally wrap looping maybe a pearl or maybe using it in your multi strands connectors have got so many uses haven't they um, okay let's do the matching pendant again nothing stopping you as jewelry makers you have the ability to obviously look recommission this or sort of you might look at it and go actually yeah, I'm going to use that as a connector and um, because it actually has moving parts as well so um, the dandelion dock that's why I wanted the moving part there but the bale is hidden at the reverse also again with your amethyst in the center this is one of the original ones one of the first ones that we launched from the willow and tig collection comes with the card as well and your little velvet bag sorry should we do it last time we've seen willow and tig as in collection yeah, no, um, there's no plans to recommission it. No. No plans to recommission it. I wanted the... Because there's, so, there's only so many sentiments that you can actually capture in a, in a jewellery collection, I guess, um, before it becomes quite diluted. So I, I wanted this to be quite limited. £12.99 pence only. Um, amazing. Gloucester, Surrey, Julie, Mary, Neil and Linda, Linda, Mako, Lancaster, I've got multi-buying, uh, London, Cheryl, Cambridge, Cheshire, Neil and Linda, well done to you, Elizabeth, Sandra, Devon, you're all there, make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Um, yeah, did we have quantity of this one, Roscoe? A little bit more, he says. That's a good job, because the, the phone's, uh, the call screens are super, super, super busy. Well, if you can go lower, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm game. Everybody pays the final low price. Oh, wow. $9.99. Do you know what? I'm not even sure I bought them at that price. I'm not sure. Uh, Adam thinks I'm writing my uh, Christmas list. <laughs> Dear Santa, I have been a very good girl. <laughs> I was I was sketching, Adam. I was sketching. Uh, Nine ninety nine. Well done. Lots of multi buyers on this. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Again, make sure you're checking out your baskets to guarantee your success. Um, there's a natural Brazilian. Uh, uh, amethyst that you see in there i don't know try the discount code see if it works see if it works it's an extra 20 percent off that already low price tag if that is the case that's amazing isn't it just feed it directly onto chain but there's nothing stopping you actually using this actually as a connector as well maybe with linda's um amazing pearls um that are coming up in the month has it sold out well done well done well done well done okay have i got yet yeah, the one I don't have the I don't have the um, card for this one. I don't think you really need it. Yeah, topaz set in the center. There you go. So, mm. your topaz set in the center of a genuine cultured pearl. This was the most challenging to create. Because actually, I know that something that our, our jewellery maker audience can do, set pearls into, uh, um, sorry, set gemstones into pearls. But actually, the team that was creating it, it was a whole new skill set for them. Um, so it's something they needed to learn. £12.99. Um, this one's called The One. It's about finding your one. Um, twelve ninety nine only again. Wow, clearance deals. Lots of multi buyers. There's nothing stopping using this as a charm as well. 
So some of the pieces, some of the pieces say pendant, some of them say charms. The reality is they can be kind of both. Then I, I didn't want them to be so itty bitty tiny that you know they couldn't be worn on a chain and vice versa. Uh, Twelve ninety nine. That's a genuine culture pearl, mind. And that's a round, brilliant cut topaz in the centre there. Sold out. Well done, everyone. Amazing. Next up, the willow tree. Yep. Dan, can you pass me a bust? Is there a quantity of the willow tree? Okay. I don't know if you're allowed favourites of your own collection, but I think this is my favourite. Right, I said to you this morning when I came in, didn't I, I said the willow, so I want five of those. Do you? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. if we go to the web, Willow and Tig, the lady, uh, um, on, okay, sold out. Love you to the moon and back. So look at the others. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Oh, there's two still available. The Buddha and the Rose. I'm surprised. Okay. Dandelion sold out. Acorn sold out. Heart sold out. Now we're on to the Willow Tree. It's going to go in a heart. Why heart. do you want five? I've got four granddaughters yeah and um a new grand niece oh. so i want one for her as well for you well, know, a couple of years their set was zircon they've got zircon on the branches mm, so um and, and for obvious reasons obviously i can't do a, a collection name it after my two children willow and tiggy um and not include a willow tree can i nope. um but also they are a thing of beauty and it is definitely something that's quite nostalgic for me but again if i read you the card um it says on the reverse the willow tree a symbol of freedom and our ability to bend to bend and adapt to different scenarios that life might throw like a willow tree we must learn to move with life's obstacles and it's true i think we'll all in, i think we'll all encounter um obstacles from time to time there's a big gram weight in this one um as that's fairly obvious i'll hold it up to the decolletage in a second but can you also see the little zircons that are set on each of the leaves um itself i just think they're quite they're quite musical i think willow trees and how just, they they're move so their rhythm. elegant aren't they yeah yeah, there's like long, slim um, fingers that just sort of... Yeah, there's just an elegance yeah, to them. Very um, elegant. We're going to do something extra special on this one. There's only 40, but it's my favourite. I'm gonna, oh, There we are. It is my favourite of the collection. I love the willow tree. Um, it's become a thing in our family, you know, if you drive past a willow tree, it's like, a willow tree. Mm -hmm. I've got my next door neighbour, but one has got a most majestic the one stomach. in the front garden. And you know we've had a sort of quite a lot of breezy wind lately. Just watching it, yeah, moving in the wind is so soothing. Yeah, it's they're wonderful. rhythmic, aren't they? Yes. They sway. Wonderful. They literally sway. Not, I mean, the gram weight is huge on this one. You've got genuine zircon, nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. But we're going even lower. Again, comes with the card. Comes with the the velvet pouch as well. Good luck to you all. I'll hold it up to the neckline as well so you can get an idea of the size. Well, it's just perfect, isn't it? Just peeking out, you know, in a, like a, a white linen or yeah. silk shirt. So lovely. Thanks. Um, I'm saying it looks good with my outfit. Fourteen ninety nine. What's the gram weight? 4.31 grams of sterling silver. That's a lot. And you've got zircon, not cubic zirconia, genuine zircon. Again, they're going to be a sellout. The last time we. Oh, bittersweet, this is. It's gorgeous. Bittersweet. It really is gorgeous. Get gone, says Adam. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Stop getting too emotional. We need space no. in the vault. Get them gone. Get them no. gone. Fair enough. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, and they were launched in what 2022. So yeah, they need to. They need to be. They need to be worn. I truly believe that. Um, okay. Up next. Let's have a little look. The rose. Oh, I can bring that bus back then. The silver rose. Here we go. So, of course, just so that you know that Tiggy wasn't left out on this, Tiggy's middle name is Rose. 
Yeah. It's gorgeous. I mean, my, uh, the twins are obsessed with Beauty and the Beast. Are so they? that would be perfect for them. Yeah, because if you think the Beauty and the Beast, that's quite a realistic mm. rose, isn't it? Rather than a sort of caricature mm. um, version. And, and I wanted to create that kind of lifelike detail within like the folds of the leaves. Well, the leaves are so, as pretty almost, aren't they, rose leaves? Yes, almost as pretty they curl, as the don't they? Yeah. Um, again, you have your garnet within there as well. Um, I think I've read the details on the rose, haven't I? But yeah, but it does come with the with the card as well. Have we got quantity of them? Oh, we've got quantity of them then, jewelry makers. Now I, I I think apart from the fact that this collection was inspired by emotions, feelings, you know, things like that. Valentine's Day, mm -hmm, you know, definitely. how much is it? I don't know. I don't. I think know. any day, to be honest. I think this is a lovely just because because. You know, you often give people flowers, yeah. don't you, as a thank you. Yeah. Or you're going um, to their house for dinner or something, can you take some flowers? Well, this is going to last a lot longer than those Absolutely. Flowers. Well, Carol said that the other day, didn't she? Flowers don't last. Jewellery does. Mm -hmm. That's Definitely. what she said. In a, in a beautiful husky voice, she actually said it. I was like, that was lovely, Carol. <laughs> um, but it's true. It is true. Should we what? Should we do something extra special? How much would a single rose cost you on Valentine's Day? It's going to be £15 pounds minimum. Minimum. And that'll be a bird, won't it? A single red rose on Valentine's Day. Flowers are astronomical at Valentine's Day. I always say to my husband, don't buy me flowers on Valentine's Day. Because it's, look, it's so expensive. Because mm -hmm. the following day, they'll be half that price. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about we bring you a rose that doesn't die. Exactly. And I promise it under a tenner. Well, what's not the not to like there? Genuine gemstones, rose that doesn't die, lasts forever, encrusted with garnet, price pledge it under £10. For you today. Comes packaged, you don't even have to buy the box. So you can present it to your loved one. I'm not even just saying husband, wife, partner, spouse, girlfriend. Your friends. Just because. You see, it's a perfect just because, isn't it? A rose. Single rose. Yeah. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence as promised. <gasps> oh, Roscoe. Oh, he's a tinker, isn't he? He says, I'm going again, Al. Let's get him gone. We've got the bigger quantity of this one. What a tinker, Roscoe. Um, <laughs> it comes with the velvet bag, sorry. It comes with the card as well. Um, so you can literally gift it just like so. How about we go even lower? Nine ninety nine. I think it's a seal of a deal. You might go. You know what, L? I'm not interested in the willow and ting. That's fine. Just get rid of that. Just gift it like it is as it is. You might turn that into a charm for a stretchy bracelet. Do it. You treat it as a connector that way. Actually, yes. If you buy two, they make a gorgeous pair, pair of, of earrings. Yeah. On a, on a fine chain, you can see them on the fine. It's on the fine chain there. Just dropping from about an inch of fine train. Well, it doesn't have to be. If I turn side profile, look, it doesn't have yeah, to be a necklace. The, yeah, exactly. That could fit nicely into a stretchy bracelet as mm -hmm. well. That's why we've got mm -hmm. that kind of hidden bail. Going even lower. Get them gone. Seven ninety nine. Wow. 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 That's an amazing deal. All that precious metal. Because it's not base metal, this. And they are genuine garnets. What flowers can you get for seven ninety nine? Bunch of daffs. I like daffs. I do like daffs. Well, it's normally the first bunch of seasonal flowers, Love a daff. isn't it? Yeah. And they're only a quid. Yeah. So I do like a bunch of daffs. However, they're even cheerful, daffs, they, they are. Daffs. They're happy little yellow faces. Yeah. However... You know, they're not going to last forever, whereas uh, a pendant like this definitely would. It's genuine garnet, so you might be incorporating the fact that it's someone's birthstone. It might be a name. Rose might be a favourite flower. Lots of reasons people actually sort of gravitate towards uh, uh, towards the rose. Um, not just because the emotions I was saying. Go on then, let's do it. <laughs> Ross is like, all the minuses. Are we good with that? Yeah. Get them gone. Have you got a tissue out there for Elle? She's um, weeping here. Yeah, you know, it's fine. 
It's all good. We do need to get them gone though. <laughs> uh, hello to you, Bernadette, my lovely. And she says, uh, I got the rose last time and gave them to my sisters. They love them. Beautiful collection. Oh, bless you, Bernadette. Thank you. Thank you. See, how lovely is that? And especially at prices like this, they are giftable, aren't they, without breaking the bank? And, so you know, like... th this is something... Um, I quite like bold jewellery, but my daughter is the absolute polar opposite to me. She likes... It doesn't matter if it's quite large, but she likes delicate jewellery. Yeah. So she'd be jumping on that straight away. Yeah. Well, the whole collection, actually. It's all delicate. Well, there's very different pieces, aren't there? There's some which are much more heavy in their gram weight, and some... I mean, this has still got a gram weight to it, but I think the movement in it makes it that little mm. bit more delicate, or at least I hope so. Clearance mm. deals for your jewellery maker. That's the only reasoning behind that. We are losing money on this one. Massively so. I think that's fair. Six ninety nine. Oh, we can't commission it for what's commission it for what's on your screens. It's an absolute giveaway deal. I mean, look, that's a charm. Mm -hmm. As a pendant, whichever. Again, this comes with it, but you don't have to use all that if you don't want to. Um, Six ninety nine. Cheshire Sharon Maker in Oxfordshire, London. Linda, uh, Brenda, Jerry, Barbara. Lots of multi buyers. Hello to you, Michelle, Leslie, Northamptonshire, uh, Karen, Christina. Again, it was a customer that actually prompted me to Sylvia. I don't know if you're watching Sylvia, but Sylvia um, messaged me separately and said, "Oh, can you do a rose?" Because it, I think I can't remember if it was your mum or, um, but it was a flower that had great meaning to you. Um, and I was like, you know what, me too, because it's a flower that my sister loved. So mm -hmm. again, lots of sentimental reasons there as well. But um, but also, who doesn't love a rose? They're beautiful. Well, it has a huge unspoken um, emotion, doesn't it? You yeah. don't have, if you just give a rose, it's you know you're giving that and being, it's being received with love. Absolutely. So, you know, it's the unspoken Whereas a daft emotion. takes a bit more explaining, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, yeah. Just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> that you know instantaneously yeah. that message with the rose, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Unless, of course, I mean, I love a daft, like I said earlier on. Um, or a tulip. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Another flower. A, a rose has that immediate message, doesn't it? It certainly um, does. Right. Well done. Keep on dialing through, everybody. Uh, let's do the silver Buddha next. I'm going to take this off because I really like them on the bale. Shall we? Ross says, let's get everybody on the phone lines. Now, the yellow, there's one left of the yellow gold Buddha, and it closed at $16.99. Now, first price crash. What are you going to do, Ross? Ooh, we've got 100, that's why. Okay, we always order bigger quantities, though, don't we, of the silver? So that's good. Um, never go out of fashion. Never, ever go out of fashion. And you see Buddhas not just in jewellery. You see them in, obviously, artwork. You see them in sculptures as well. Um, whether you look at it as a religion or a prophecy. Uh, do you know, regardless, it's a very good m mindset. Yeah, isn't exactly. It? That's right. It's a culture that we can all learn from. Absolutely. It's about being good, treating yeah. people kindly, and uh, um, understanding that you know things happen in life for a reason, and learning from them. All those kind of things. Well, so the world would be such a better place if everybody took that. T totally, on, totally, it? because it tells you to let go of things like anger, resentment, jealousy, those kind of things. Um, so it's a fantastic. For what, whether you, like I said, religion, prophecy, it's a fantastic mantra to live by. We're going to do something extra special. Clearance deal. We've got a big quantity of them. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Ross, I don't know if we should have gone that low. Even Buddha's looking a bit disturbed. Oh my goodness me. Ross. That's Zircon, not Cubic Zirconia. You know that, don't you? Gosh. We're not making money, Al. We're making friends. We are, and sure. that's all good. Like mm -hmm. I said, it was launched in 2022. Get them gone now. Get them gone. And they've been, it's been, we're not recommissioning another Willow and Tick collection. This was always going to be sort of a one-off. 
Um, Amazing, amazing. I can't believe it's seven ninety nine. dollars Fantastic, well done. Lots of multi buyers. Hello to you, Belinda, Oxfordshire, Isabel, Katie, Christine, Leslie, Mary, Northumberland, Janet, uh, Angela, Sandra, well done. Susan, Jill, Cody. Make sure you check it out though. We had a hundred, but the phone lines have gone nuts. And there's lots of people just getting, mul uh, getting multiples because you can put them away for a present draw, can't you? Mm hmm. Ah. I wasn't expecting that, Roscoe. I was expecting maybe fourteen ninety nine. Launched at seventeen ninety nine, and you're taking a whole ten pound. That's already low, though, isn't it? Seventeen ninety nine for um, what is it? Four grams about that? Four grams of, of precious metal. There or thereabouts. So three point five grams. So that's not bad. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay, the last one, which is the garnet heart. So again, um. In terms of meaning, this is one that I really think I, I'm certainly guilty of. That's why I set I, I I actually designed this because you know we all get so busy, don't we? And we all get so caught up in in the madness that life is that often we actually forget to take time for ourselves and um, sort of to look after ourselves, etc. And it was actually a bout of illness that made me design this. Um, anyway, so this is in solid sterling silver. Again, you've got a carved cabochon um, in a garnet. There it is. The price on screen, it's never been any lower than that. Well, this should be, in, uh, you know, actually this should be one of the most expensive pieces because the garnet, and I hope you can see that there. Can you see, is, that, is a, a carved, it is a heart. It's not a trillion. It is actually a heart, a pronounced heart. Can you see the cleft just there? And do you see how the light just played then internally? Um, so again, the positioning of the precious metal is about looking after your health. Um, yellow gold sold out. In one minute, it's never been lower than twenty one ninety nine. Today, should we price promise it under £10? Shall we? Let's do it. How many have we got, Russ? Oh, we got quantity. We got quite, you might just look, again, Valentine's Day around the corner. You might go, L, all of that, that's lovely. That's lovely, and that was your inspiration, but that's not what it means to me. So I'm not going to gift the card. That's absolutely fine. You might be looking at this because you've got the love, you've got the emotion, you've got, you know, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, whichever it might be. But it comes with it, is my point. Under £10, price pledge. Or if we're going to do it though, Ross, there's not nearly enough people there. Because we could take this out of the Willow and Tig collection, you know, couldn't we? Okay, get it gone. Let's do it. Wow. I mean, you've got a birthstone there, so you've yeah. got January birthdays. You've got the iconic shape of a heart. Heart, always loved, which, isn't it? Yes. Um, you've got your precious gemstone. You've got your precious metal. That does not add up to nine ninety nine. No, 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 no. But it is. It, it is because of you know. Get it, it's clearance getting gone now. Yes, but I think you know. Limited I think you edition. should keep the Willow and Tig card. Okay, if you if you don't pass it on with a gift, keep it. Because, you know, I'm obsessed with Antiques Roadshow and provenance is the thing yeah, true. about pre-loved jewellery, yeah, um, whatever. And, it, you know, you produce these little things and it's, it's um, social history. Yeah, it's absolutely. It's where we were on a so certain day. Absolutely. Note. And also they were sort of very exclusive, very limited edition. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't many, there won't be many people who have got this. No, no, no. Um, amazing. Keep on darling through everybody, but time is against us. Now we have got um, your Wall of Fame coming up as well, the other side of this break, and also the most amazing masterclass project um, with the lovely um, with the lovely Linda. So again, make sure you're with us with your printable downloadable um, instructions and also the draw because it's Wednesday. So don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. Hi 
Hi Jewelry Makers, it's Charlie, one of Jewelry Makers guest designers. Just wanted to give you a little heads up at what's coming on Thursday the 8th of Feb. So at nine o'clock we have some beautiful floral pendants. They're absolutely stunning. Some gorgeous gemstones. You set them yourself. They are exquisitely well made. I can't wait to show you them. And then at 12 o'clock we have some fantastic settings. I've never used them before. I will definitely be using them again. Uh, they're snap settings. Anyone can set them. You can use little to no tools at all. Bish bash bosh, they're done. Can't wait to show you those too. So I really hope you can join me on Thursday. Can't wait to be back in the studio and I will be seeing you there. Bye. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. And just like that, it's the last hour. It is. Where did that time go? I don't know, but we won't get it back. No. Oh, that's a morbid thought, oh, isn't no, it? It's that's gone a morbid now. thought. Yep. Okay, on to something positive. Let's do the Wall of Fame. Do you want to start us off? I will. And uh, this just took my eyes straight away. It's just beautiful. And this is from Susie. 
Susie says, hi all at JM, here's my very first Wall of Fame entry. Oh. It's a simple suite of multicoloured agate rounds, four and eight mils, with silver plated findings, spacer beads and charm. All components from Jewellery Maker, and it was made for my friend of 65 years for her uh -huh. trip to South Africa, where she's currently on safari. Oh, how nice. Good luck to everyone this week, although fingers crossed for a lucky first time a win, as I've just received a heavy parcel of goodies acquired mm -hmm. in last week's Mega Clearance event. And P.S. Wayne is simply the best. Warm regards. Bit crazy, but yeah, he ain't bad. Bit bonkers. He ain't bad, yes. he is bonkers, yeah. Um, number 665 is from, oh, let me just slide that in that direction. Oh, just for a minute. Um, and this is from uh, Janet Batty. Hello to you, Janet, you're number 665. Hi, everyone at Jewelry Maker. I decided it was time to have a go at some seed beading. I used a Gem Jewant seed bead kit, uh, which I bought a few weeks ago. Followed Monica's tutorial, which was very clear and easy to follow. A big thank you to all the guest designers for their wonderful tutorials, and good luck to all in the draw. That's absolutely beautiful, yeah, Janet. Well it's done. Like thank you for sending it in. Again, it is, isn't it? You're 665. Fingers crossed. Mm. Oh, right, okay. Oh, again, right up my street, some beautiful pearls. And this is from Barbara, Barbara Hewitt, short and sweet, says, Hi to all. This is pearls with silver spacers and power toggle class. <coughs> Thanks for the win last week. Oh, well done, Barbara. Oh, well done, and you're six, 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 so that's a lucky number. You never know, Barbara. You never know, you never know. I've got number 667 from Emma Stapleton. Hello to you, Emma. Um, and Emma says, please accept my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's an amethyst wirework tree made from Zambian amethyst chips um, and 0.4 millimetre champagne gold wire, both from Jewelry Maker. It was made for my mum's birthday this month. I haven't entered for a while, but really enjoyed this project. Got my mojo back. Love watching the shows when I can. Good luck to everybody in this week's WAF. Emma, that's beautiful. It and is. lucky mum. Yeah, that. absolutely. That's, that's a plant that lasts forever. Exactly. 667. Six, well gorgeous. done, lovely. Right, I that's presume nice. now I've got 668, which I have. Another gorgeous piece of jewellery, and it's from Kim, Kim Hopkins. And Kim says, hi, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. It's an overhead necklace made with fossilised jasper and all from Jewellery Maker. Good luck to everyone entering. Great shows and demos as always. And stay safe, everyone. Well, Kim, you're 668 and that is stunning. Loving that, Beautiful. Kim. Beautiful. So I, wearable. I have number 669 and this is from Beryl Sloan. Hello to you, Beryl. Uh. Oh, look. Um, hi all at Jewellery Maker. Please find attached my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. This necklace is made from shell pearls and opal round beads with sterling silver spaces and sterling silver hook and jump rings. The glow from the opal eye in the sunlight is beautiful, but taking um, the picture in overhead light did not capture the orange glow. All components are from Jewellery Maker. Fingers crossed for a win. Good luck to everybody. Oh, amazing. Well, I can definitely see the glow there. It's a beautiful piece. And I like your little dragons as well. Yeah, very sweet. Gorgeous. Very, very sweet. Next up. Next up, gorgeous pair of trapeze earrings here from Alan. Alan, you're 670. And Alan says, hi, please find my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Kim allowed me to make some earrings with fossilised jasper in silver base metal or from Jewelry Maker. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for entertaining me while I recuperate. Stay safe, everyone. Well, Alan, I hope you're feeling better, and I'm glad that you uh, <laughs> are watching us for your recuperation. Yeah, well bless done. you. Get well soon. Um, I have number 671 from Leslie Robinson. Hello to you, Leslie. Oh, beautiful. And Leslie says, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Here is one of my latest necklaces made from carnelian cubes and three millimeter rounds together with sea bead uh, pearls and spacer tubes, which came from another string of beads. A sterling silver bolt ring class uh, secures at the back. All items are from Jewelry Maker. Good luck, everybody, says Leslie. Good luck to you, your number 671. Wow, this is lovely. I think I remember these, this shell. Um, and this is uh, from Sheila Liggettwood Clark. And Sheila says, this is my first entry, or another first timer, for the, wall of, for the Wall of Fame, but I just love working with these mother of pearl clovers. All components <coughs> are from Jewelry Maker. Excuse me. That's beautiful. That's um, Loving that. 
inspired by a very high-end design. Absolutely, like lovely those. Earlier, yes. Well beautiful, done. Beautiful. Last but by no means least today is uh, 673 Katura Dixon. Hello to you, Katura. Um, hello all at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A pearl with gold spaces, bolt ring clasp. Beautiful bracelet. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Thanks to all the designers, um, including presenters behind this uh, scene people, for all the loveliness we have had uh, the last year. Looking forward to what's in store and hoping for a win to buy, buy, buy. Uh, good luck to all, and that's Katora. Amazing. And here you all are, lovely Jewelry Makers, on said wall. Now, it is time to hopefully make a couple of you a little bit Jewelry Maker mm -hmm. richer. Do you want to do the winner today? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll um, do the scattery rolly bit and you can do the Oh, OK. Bits. Fair enough. Teamwork there then. There Teamwork. So the winner receiving £100 credited to their jewellery maker account <laughs> is... Have I got one there? Yes. Number. Ooh. Six, four, five. Six, four, five. recent entry, I think. Sean, well amazing, done, Sean. well done, Sean. Such a talent well and such a lovely person as well. So very deserving. Um, hundred pounds being credited to your jewelry maker account. So right, I'll do the spinning, you do the picking. Okay. Yeah. Right out. And if I spin it that way, not in the way. Go for it. Right. Runner up. Oh. Receiving fifty pounds. Yeah, not just the one. Yeah. And this is number 682. Sorry, I, mean, I should show that. 682. Isabel Morgan. Isabel Morgan. Morgan. Congratulations. Hooray. Well done to our winners this week. It is done without fail every single week on a Wednesday. So get your photographs and entries in. Drop us a little message. The only stipulation, of course, is that they are jewellery maker products. That's all. Um, and you never know, we might be crediting your account with some jewellery maker readies. It's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Not no, bad at all. We've done that not. since day dot. We have since Hundreds day dot. Hundreds of thousands of pounds. Hundreds of thousands of pounds accumulatively we've 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 gifted. Yeah, over you. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's amazing, isn't it? It's that's amazing. amazing. Right then, are you ready for your wonderful masterclass project? Now, um, take a look at all this gorgeous. Oh, Linda, stunning, and so you this jewelry. So, so you. Yes, Cause exactly. You've yeah. never made any secret of the fact that you are lover, a lover of pearls. Oh, absolutely. Always have been, always will be. You know, there's no way I can sway from pearls. The only thing I would ever think might do, and that, it just reminded me when I saw one of the entries on the Wall of Fame with the opal. But yeah. then again, you see it's so much made in heaven pearls. They do opals. work together yeah. so beautifully. Oh, look at that. So uh, <coughs> this is the project that we're going to start with, jewelry makers. Um, but there's three different projects. So if you're if you're eyeing up, uh, say those lovely hearts, they're coming up in a project. Um, and you've got one here, which is the one which comes with the instructions. So that has all these lovely little connectors. Can you see that? Um, so those connectors times two, and then you get some one with the negative space. So, um, if I, in fact, do you know what I'll do? I'll tilt the board up as best I possibly can towards your Adam, and then I can show you in no particular order. There's one kit which has the cat, which has the connector. That's what we're starting with. Did you say the large one? So this is what we're starting with: the large mother of pearl, the wire, the silver. Uh, sorry, the pearl strands. Then if I move along, you can see you have the chain and then you have the mother of pearl sterling silver connectors, a bit Van Cleef and Arpels, I agree. And then moving along again, quite similar to the first kit, but with a slightly smaller uh, mother of pearl detail there. So three separate kits. Now, um, in terms of the actual tutorial instructions that you get, it's this piece, isn't it? Yeah, well, originally it wasn't actually, um, and I will explain why. And I will quickly try and do both because I'm only going to do a certain okay. component from that one. 
Okay. Um, because the kit projects, I sorry, came with wire, mm -hmm. then the upstairs thought really I should be demoing and doing instructions on use with the wire, which I totally agree with, which just didn't hit my head when I was making the jewellery. So I quickly went out while that Mr. Dave Troth was on and sorted this, the instructions for that particular piece. Okay. So I'll go through that very quickly and then I'll also demonstrate this new way of tying a stretchy, if okay. I may please. Perfect, yes, absolutely. Um, okay, so first kit project, sorry. Um, <coughs> you have your amazing strand of beautiful cultured pearls. These are beautiful pearls. Again, look at that lovely luster that Linda has used um, in between within this project, um, in between the links of your precious metal, um, your sterling silver wire. Here is the wire, and it's so e easy, I think, Linda, to, to kind of look at that and go, oh, yeah, it's just wire. But it's precious metal. It's precious metal wire. and. The thing that you will learn is when you've got uh, a silver plated copper wire yeah. and then you move up a few grades to silver plated 925 wire, you'll, you'll find that your jewellery making becomes <coughs> much easier because the, oh, really? the precious metal is so more malleable yeah. and slightly softer that there's nothing that you can't do in my work with wow. the precious metal wire. So don't be uh, don't be hesitant to actually no, no. start working no, with silver. Can I just say that mother of pearl connector or pendant, whichever way you look, that looks like an opal, doesn't it? It does because you've got such yeah, an amazing iridescence of colour across yeah, the surface. It, it looks it? like a, an Australian opal. Yeah, it's not. It's mother of pearl. But there's so much iridescence across the surface. Mm -hmm. So can you see the two little links there as well on uh, Linda's lovely necklace? You can nip them away if you want to, but yep. they're perfect to create that lovely, perfect suspension. Now, this is a big piece too. In terms of its size, what's the size of this piece, Ross? 20 by 15 millimeter. It's massive. Yeah, if, if I would too. First, I thought it was when I first. Oh, did you? Yes, but I it's. Did. I understand why you thought it was noble. You've Look at that. Got the pin fire effect. Yeah. Topaz all the way around. Yeah. Nine two five sterling silver. You get the meter of your point six uh, silver wire, and you're getting the strand of the pearls. High end jewelry. High Absolutely. end. Very high end. I mean, I as you have probably noticed have mix the kits somewhat because I've got all three kits so I can mix them but um, you know this is just inspiration for you just ideas yeah and you take from it what you will amazing absolutely amazing is there quantity of this of this project 70 available and I don't want to but I'm gonna I'm gonna put them down for a second I almost don't want to put the strand of pearls down because they're absolutely beautiful and fully deserving for to be the main focus well look at the consistency but, of yeah them look now. at that that's so consistent uniformity but just look at this and I don't know what Ross is look at that it's just beautiful isn't it 99 pounds and 99 pence I think for that Richard. mother of pearl alone let's half that price and I'm going to tell you we're still not done wow sorry I was just looking at my star buy sheet I've got 70 available I was asking for my own personal pre uh, um, benefit I'm not going to lie I would like to join you on this kit it is beautiful isn't it it's you know, um, having these little, these, well, they're not little actually, these pearls, the drop sort of, uh, elongated sort of drop rice pearl shape, it gives such a lot of elegance mm, yeah, absolutely. to pearl jewellery. And you've used maybe a couple in that necklace, haven't you? Maybe a couple. That wouldn't be a full strand. Oh, no, nowhere near a full strand. Nowhere near, no. I've sort of used the heart which you'll come to in a minute, mm. the one that's got that translucency on it, it's almost mother of pearl again, uh, as a connector at the centre, and then made the jump ring connectors and then connected to the pearl wow. on the silver wire, etc., etc. Don't forget your project comes with the tutorial instructions as well. So that comes uh, for free. That's available upon dispatch of your um, of your project, not before. Um, and you can print it off. I mean, what I've been advising is actually getting yourself a ring binder and actually sort of just making, you know, filing them away so you've always got that point of reference. What? That's sterling silver. 
sterling silver it's a big size an amazing piece of mother of pearl and that is topaz all the way around there as well so i think this on its own for 29.99 yeah, so is incredible yeah, so do i it's an exquisite mother of pearl pendant that it is it really is it's oh. got it's so high end well linda you've been working with gemstones for many years haven't you many mm. many years for you to actually go actually thought it was an opal i did when i first uh, took it out of its packaging i thought my word that's a big you know pull there yeah. or australian which whichever one it could be either <coughs> but it has Look, that pin fire of an opal that sort of under the surface yeah life absolutely amazing 29 pounds and 99 pence i had 70 of i paid that for the strand of pearls i think that'd be amazing price for the strand of pearls um so we have got the other two kits what we're going to do though jewelry makers is going to dive into your demonstration any questions that you have for linda um do text in because we are live here in the studio don't forget as well you get your downloadable instructions with your project purchase and we've still got two um well you can cue me as and when you're ready um for me to bring the other parts of the projects they're available on pre-order right now though everyone so make sure um you do shop ahead to guarantee your success but what okay. are you going to show right. us well I, um the demonstration um instruction leaflet is the the jump ring one which we've just put together but as far as i'm aware you will also get a um instruction on the new stretchy type of thing as okay because well, i'd already done that right so for the uh, the necklace using that little heart connector and then making connectors with the pearls and jump rings you can if you don't have any jump rings in your stash I mean, you can use any jump ring size that you happen to have. It doesn't have to be like these are about five or six mil internal. Um, is it radius? I'm not diameter. Sure. Diameter, that's yeah. the word. Um, but you can use any size that you have. Um, but so I, the, the main part of this demo is the Mobius ring, which is in the center of the jump ring connector. Okay. So I knew what, I know what I was going to say now is if you haven't got any jump rings, then use the wire yeah. to make them. Just get yourself the right size mandrel, whether it's a pen, pencil, something that is completely <coughs> circular, has no angles in it. And then just twist the wire around and then with some sharp snip pliers, just pinch them off so that you get a nice straight if you can manage to get a nice straight cut rather yeah, than flush. a slanted cut in a nice flush cut that's the word I'm looking for is a flush cutter yeah then you've made yourself the jump rings yeah, but if perfect. you've got them in your stash obviously you can use them right what you need for the Mobius link and now I have you can do any number of um, jump rings in a Mobius ring as many as you can actually get in which you'll see in a minute um, but I'm going to do a three because they're quite large jump rings. So I've got three closed jump rings there. And then I'm going to put two either side to be the link, uh, to link the connector all the way around. So I need one closed jump ring. Obviously, these are jump rings that you can open, but I'm leaving one closed as it's delivered. And then the next two, I'm putting my flat nose pliers um, just a small way from where the uh the cut is and then just towards me leave that to one side and then the same on the other do that you can prepare all the links um in advance so you can prepare them and make them you can make them as you go um but my advice would be to prepare them i.e the closed two open ones and then the two closed at the moment ready to create into connectors so for a Mobius ring, the trick is you take the closed jump ring, then you take the open jump ring, and again, using flat nose pliers, pop from the top through the closed jump ring, slide it up, and then balancing on your index finger, close slightly past the join, and then press down to make sure that you've got a nice join there. Then push the two jump rings together, like a bit like a Russian wedding ring type of design. Pick up the other open jump ring. As I say, you can use as many as you want to. 
this is just three and again now the trick with a mobius ring is to put each open jump ring into the closed jump rings in exactly the same way so again in the middle picking up both again resting it on my index finger pushing slightly beyond the join and then pinching back just testing that there's nothing there rough that could open and pop that pop that down on your bead board or surface whatever you've got and say so you've got like that russian wedding ring now so then open up your two single jump rings and pick up the mobius ring and again going through the center just literally close up that jump ring and just keep it separate from the three intertwi intertwined ones that you've popped through again pick up by that jump ring that you have just threaded on so that is now you can easily see where you need to go into the three jump rings forming the mobius back and then you've got what i term as a mobius ring connector because you've got two open jump rings to enable you to connect wherever right so the next thing is to um now i haven't got any pearls left over so i'm using the botswana agates actually just to demo for the gemstone or pearl connecting part so if you take your sterling silver wire slightly warm it with index finger and thumb it just makes the wire behave a lot better makes it more malleable and easy to use you only need to you know don't be over generous with sterling silver wire you need to chop off about an inch two and a half centimeters that's all and then take your flat nose pliers again and about a centimeter from the tip of that wire just get the very end of your flat nose pliers pinch the pinch down so you've got real purchase on the wire and then just push down through 90 degrees so you've got a little upright and a little lot sort of one centimeter branch take your round nose pliers and about a centimeter down the plier again right nice and snug so you can't feel any residue of the wire support in the angle push down towards you and up so you've got half a turn pop the pliers back where they fit and then gently ease it back to the upright so you've basically got like a lollipop head okay now in your case you'll be using the pearls but as i said i haven't got any left over so i've got some of the botswana agate four mils or six mils even pop on whatever you're using now you can see there's more than a centimeter of residue there so i'm just going to take my cutters and snip off by eye this is to leave about a centimeter which is the same as i had on the other end to make the simple loop keep that little snippet of wire because you can use that in a multitude of things now i'm going to put my index finger onto the wire and push down towards the gemstone so i've got my right angle again and then again using my round nose pliers again about a centimeter down the plier support the gem push down easing your elbow upwards until you can't go any further remove the plier pop it back where it fits and then just ease it down don't worry if they're two completely different faces at the moment one's going that way and the other one's on the flat because you can just take your flat nose pliers and support that one and turn that one round so you've got them both on the same plane now and again flat nose pliers a simple loop opens so as you do with a jump ring take your flat nose pliers and towards you just a small quarter turn at most take your mobius connector and pop that um the last gemstone uh, sorry the last jump ring that you popped onto the mobius itself and just seal it in by pushing that back to where it came from so that's firmly in place and then you've got a connector now 
<coughs> with, in your case, possibly a pearl. Then you've got a single jump ring. Then you have your Mobius triple and then a single jump ring. So <coughs> could I just pinch the um, the heart, little heart shape? Yeah. <coughs> Do excuse the me. <coughs> yes, please. There you go. <coughs> Do excuse me. A bit croaky today. That's all right. So Shall we bring that kit to air, actually? Yes, do so. Um, because Fine. that includes the one in the <coughs> centre there. Mm -hmm. That includes the length of chain that you've seen uh, Linda actually create this necklace with, um, which is a complete chain, isn't it? So you can yeah, wear it, it exactly as is. <coughs> and mm -hmm. then you get two of the open hearts that you can see in those earrings, and then you get... Um, one mother of pearl connector there as well. So you've got two actually, because I've got sorry the other one. two. Oh yeah, of course two. <coughs> oh, do it, excuse Thank me. You. I'll just have a quick drink. No, you carry on. Um, so you're getting these times two, and you're getting a your sterling <coughs> silver, um, twenty inch. I think it is. Yeah, twenty inch uh, cable chain. All of that for an amazing jewelry maker project price tag. Um, even if you don't, you know, you might use the connectors for something separate. You might use the chain for something yeah, different. Absolutely, it's entirely what you want. <coughs> entirely up to you. That's the joy yeah. of being a jewelry maker, isn't it? Forty nine ninety nine. Not your prices, Roscoe. It's all solid nine two five precious metal, and again, mother of pearl. It'll work beautifully with all of the other uh, projects that we're bringing you as well. Again, that was the from the first part. Uh, the first project was this lovely pendant. 19 pounds and 99 pence only wow wow for the t i mean that's even if you were never mind the chain the four connectors that's five pounds each for the four connectors and yeah. then your chain for free which is yeah. 20 inches gosh that's not bad is it gosh that's i mean have you have deal. you seen how much money um chains you know sort of yeah. free ch free standing chains are that's if you can find them to be yeah, truthful absolutely uh, and and even on the high street you know some of your more affordable jewelry houses you'd be talking well you'd be spending more than 19.99 for a 20 inch chain oh gosh likely. absolutely you would um and definitely five pounds per uh, per connector you'd expect to be paying more than that so um well done uh that's working out at what three pounds each is that right three six, no 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 four for a full pound per component, sorry, beg your pardon. Um, so make sure you're checking out on those. We have quantity, Roscoe. 70 available. Take it away. Right, so now, sorry, I quickly made another Mobius ring connector. So now we've got the little um, beautiful mother of pearl heart that has two soldered precious metal um, jump ring attachments creating a connector. So if you take the Mobius ring connector that you've just made, which is also attached to the pearl, and then just open the single jump ring that you attach to the triple jump ring Mobius, and then pop through the soldered jump ring on the heart shape and close again. Just every time you open or close the jump ring and attach, always take time to open towards you, close in exactly, mm -hmm. um, the opposite direction and then just press down slightly on that join and then I'm just going to place that down so we have the heart connected going around the neckline on the one side I've just made another Mobius ring connector here just so to show you where I started with the design pick the heart shape up again and pop the Mobius ring connector into the heart on the other side so now all we have to do now is to make the simple loop using the wire in the project um, pearl and attach to the jump ring there and then just repetition of pearl jump ring mobius ring jump ring all the way along the neckline obviously you might want to make this a long one you might want to make it a choker one you might want to make it slightly bigger you know 18 inches 20 inches whatever so it's just a matter of making up those connectors the mobius ring connectors with the pearl on for as many as you need mm -hmm. come up halfway to the top of the neckline add your clasps most clasps well not Yes, I suppose most class, well, let's say a, a toggle class comes in two pieces. So attach toggle on one side and uh, the T-bar on the other side of the neckline. 
and that will be the job completed then. But I do sort of encourage you to make all the components in one go because you're going a little bit of a rhythm, as yeah. Elle said, and it'll be easier. Um, and also it'll be more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? More continuity. Yeah. You know, hopefully all those jump rings, you will remember to double well, check them flow, each time. You, you do get a flow. flow, yes. And this could be a bracelet. This could be earrings. Um, it can be what you want it to be. But Mobius ring using jump mm -hmm. rings is a um, pretty tech, again, a nice technique to have. And you can use up to seven. If you've got very large jump rings, you can use up to about seven, even more if you want to. And it does, it, it makes a really, really, really pretty design for connections. Right, so that's that one. Do you want to do the other kit while so I we can on? do, yeah. Um, let's do it. That's, that's stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I, that's what I call like a watch bracelet design. I mean, that is done on beading thread, um, using a crimp bead here, um, yeah. onto uh, the, the beading thread goes through the soldered jump ring on the mother of pearl connector, and then passes back through the crimp bead, Yeah, compress it down, and then put a crimp bead oh, cover lovely. on it. And then I've gone all around the, the wrist diameter with a pearl, then a jump ring, pearl, then a jump ring, pearl, Lovely. then a jump ring. As I say, you can make the jump rings from your sterling silver wire. Well, genuine cultured pearls. Um, this is the same, con similar connector. It's not exactly the same. Notice how these are not, uh, the actual connections are at nine o'clock and three o'clock on this, whereas mm -hmm. the one on the other one was more 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Mm -hmm. Does that right? make sense? That's so you could spend right, it. Yeah. Um, mother of pearl, genuine culture pearl, sterling silver is also because you get um, a meter of your 0.6 millimeter wire so if you wanted to create those jump rings in between uh, your pearls you absolutely can do that um, do we have quantity of this really we've got a hundred in terms of quantity and straight away there's reaction can i just say as well that connector which you can do so much with a connector snip snip one of the jump rings away it's a pendant if you want to you could literally use them in earrings you can use them as um, asymmetrically, I know it's something that Linda's very, um, very much a fan of. Well, take a look in your bracelet. It's become the feature of the bracelet, hasn't it? At forty nine ninety nine, we are not stopping there. Definitely, let's do it. Comes with the project instructions as well. Don't forget that. Twenty. Wow. 24 pounds and 99 pence so that's getting you your beautiful cultured pearls beautiful of, bridal look yeah it? very much so i mean if you were to make this piece of jewelry there's no way on earth you'd be selling it for 25 pounds would you no definitely not and there's the actual connector which is mother of pearl um and then you have a lovely halo a wonderful halo of your topaz all the way around make sure you're checking out your baskets and as always text in if you've got any questions back to you lovely Right, well you see this little bracelet here, that's, that's a stretchy. Now, in the past, making a stretchy using pearls has always been a little bit, well, a lot difficult, right? Mm. Because of getting the elastic through the pearl. I mean, getting elastic through any gemstone is tricky by the nature of the elastic being a bit floppy. So, <coughs> I stumbled upon, oh, do excuse me. <coughs> that's all right. I stumbled upon a, um, a new way you you might well have, have seen this because it's not i haven't invented it i saw it um of threading gemstones pearls whatever on to elastic and then knotting off without the use of any glue which is useful because sometimes glue can sort of eat into the elastic a little bit over the years and uh, make it a little bit um, breakable then so what I've done is I've taken a length of about, I don't know, 20 inches mm -hmm. out of the red elastic that came out of the previous um, beading thread kits that we had on air earlier. So I've taken about 20 inches and I can, because I want for a stretchy, I now like to have two um, lengths of elastic going through a stretchy because it does take a lot of stress. So I'm just going to join the two ends together like so. So one end has got two separate ends as it were and the other end will be a loop <coughs> so i'll just lay that down a moment 
<coughs> do you excuse me while I have another very quick drink? No problem. No problem at all. So that's a really good point, actually, because pearls are <coughs> that little bit more challenging, Yeah, they aren't are. They? But I did that pearl stretchy there with this method. Mm -hmm. Now, the best thing that you can do with elastic is create... Uh, I mean, you can imagine, again, elastic going through the eye of a needle. It's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. So I do remember doing this probably the very, very first year of jewelry maker, and it just suddenly came back to me, and I double-checked it, and it's still very valid. So here I have about three or four inches of... Oh, you can't see it against that grey. Um, of This is the beading thread that was in, I think it was the purple... Um, but there's beading thread in all of those um, thread kits that we had on earlier. Just a short length, again, creates a loop and have two equal lengths. And what I'm going to do now is push that together as best as I can. Underneath this plasticised top there is uh, about 19 strands of wire. Mm -hmm. So you can then, using your flat nose pliers, just press on that loop and try and create a stylized V shape. As it's got wire in there, it will hold the shape better than if it hadn't got wire in there, which is why I'm using beading thread, tiger tail, whatever you want to call it. So now I've got uh, my beading thread and it's got two parallel lengths and a V in the middle. So I now get my elastic and pop one side of the beading th thread through mm. and you see what i've basically created now is a needle so i use these bicones that i found in my stash because i haven't got any of the pearls left over so i'm just going to thread and trust me this so works with um with the pearls in the in the project kit because this is exactly the same method that i use so just thread on and pass whatever you're using down towards the two open ends. Okay, not all the way down, obviously. The best thing that you can do, which has just occurred to me, is to take the, the, the open ends and do a overhand knot and then just thread that knot down to about an inch and a half from the end of the elastic. And then if that slips down, it'll hit the knot and it won't fall off. So simple, simply just thread on. I won't bore you too much with the threading on, but you see you've put the two lengths of the beading thread acting literally as a needle on and continue to thread on. I have one hiding here that I did earlier. So I'm just going to flick that round right-handed. Now you can see I've got my ever the professional. I've still got my, uh, move it over a bit, I've still got my beading thread needle attached to the loop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ease the beads, pearls or whatever it is that you've threaded just up so I've got, got about, I don't know, that's probably about a centimetre either side loop if you see what I mean. So we've got about a centimetre length of loop there. I'll remove my beading thread needle and then go back to the other end of the elastic and just take off right on top of this side of the knot, remove that and then holding the loop and holding just one of the two threads at the other end just put one of those loose loops from the top through to the loop and then bring them together bring your two ends together and then just pull until the residue of the elastic has come to a nice position a nice point in between these two beads here Give that a nice tug. Always give elastic a gentle tug. I should have said that before threading it in the first place. Just give it a gentle tug now and then, just to take the elasticity from it. You know, it, mm. take, um, it, it just makes it have more longevity, the elastic, if you take some of the memory out of it. 
because it will regain its memory when you when you start to wear it so just gently pull and then again open it out and gently pull on both sides separately like so now this is where the point now where we come back to our normal knot okay. but we've threaded our loop onto one side so it's an overhand knot right over left pop through and just pull into the space between the two beads again gently put some stress and tension onto the elastic and then repeat right over left again and bring back that knot into place and then one more time this is just for added um, security take right over left and then before pulling together go exactly repeat that again repeat that twice once twice so you can see a series of knots are sort of appearing there loops and then pull down to where the other knots were and you can see the knots are alongside they're not on top of one another they're working their way up the elastic and just give that a nice pull again and now I can't guarantee this next step working on pearls due to the nature of the fine drill hole but on most gemstones um, you'll be able then to push the gem along so that that knot now has disappeared inside the gem I can then just snip off I mean when I get this home later I'll go even lower on that little uh, snip off there but if you now pull on that it is that's a much safer finishing so I'm going to quite a lot of stress on that yeah and because that knot is extra looped in then um, it is much more secure than using an overhand knot even with a little dab of glue or nail varnish yeah. on it and of course you can get the glue or the nail varnish onto the gem themselves which isn't the best thing so just give that a little stretch. Now, another top tip, I haven't really made that very big, but another top tip is when you wear stretches, don't stretch like that and put on, just put your fingers through and then your thumb through and then roll. Yeah, roll them down. Roll them yeah. down and that causes less tension on that. And then yeah. the same thing is roll back again. Absolutely, yeah. And each time do just that but i will guarantee I i'll guarantee you that that knot will last longer um give you peace of mind than it would just doing your overhand knot and pulling and then popping that little bit of glue on now yeah. varnish on so that's a quite a nice little technique to have absolutely and you know what it, for, for quite some time you know what linda i was literally doing just the overhand knot and yeah. the overhand knot once again so yeah. i yeah. didn't realize about doing the surgeon's knot Yes, oh absolutely, yeah, finish it off with the surgeon's knot. The last knot is the surgeon's knot, which is yeah. over twice after the first right yeah, over Yeah, how strong that is. I mean, the, and the, um, that bracelet there with the little black spaces in size eight uh, seed beads was done in, with that method. Mm. So I threw those pearls, which would be very difficult to get one um, length of elastic through it, but I have got two lengths of the elastic through using that beading thread needle technique. Yeah, beautiful. Now, $24.99, lots of you still um, in the process of checking out your basket. So you get that lovely connector, you get the pearls, you also get the uh, wire. Now, oh, should we do some lovely sterling silver essentials for you as well? Um, yeah, coming to the end of the show, of the live show anyway. Um, and we always need, we always need trusty faithfuls, um, like bolt ring class, your head pins, your jump rings, as we were just describing, um, because they ultimately are what holds all your wonderful pieces of jewellery together. Now you're getting a pack of what, 10? Uh, 7 millimetre, um, 7 millimetre classic bolt ring class. I mean, you can't go wrong with something like this. It's one no, of those staples. No, you can't. Staples. This is one of the sort of class that most people are aware of. It's attached to a lot of commercial jewellery. Yep. Um, and, you know, sometimes there is a need or a want or a wish for a, a more of an elaborate class to go with the sort like of jewellery. Like our early birds this morning. Exactly. But this is your go-to class yeah. <coughs> as a beginner. 
Totally agree. You and know, all the way through. Yeah, absolutely. There will always be that need for your bolt ring class Definitely. alongside uh, other designs. £9.99 pence only. Jewelry maker says 2.2 grams. That's a pound each per bolt ring class, and it's all solid sterling silver. Not stopping there, though, lovely jewelry makers. How about. it's the finale of the show i mean Shall that I... would be the perfect class for that um mobius ring piece of jewelry yes. because it's just a continuation of the look isn't yeah exactly it? you get that continuity and it's part of the design then mm -hmm. isn't it yeah and likewise similarly with your round cut gemstones mm -hmm. or round uh forest gemstones it's that continuity of your design at 4.99 it's a cheeky little add to your order deal just to say thank you very much for tuning in this morning um what a lovely wednesday it has been have we got quantity of these though? 80 available. Yeah, it's it's always one of those, or oh, might as well add it because I know I'm going to need them. Yeah, I Isn't mean, it? again, my uh, in my opinion, thinking that journey with jewellery making is you come into contact with certain products, particularly in the findings lists, and it's yeah. finding different ways, <laughs> excuse that pun, finding different <laughs> ways of using the findings. Now, it's just occurred to me with the bolt ring class that where Elle's holding it on the tweezers head, that could be attached to an earring finding. Yep. You could then make a series, going back to the sort of capsule jewellery earlier, you can then make a series of drops, single drops, triple drops, whatever you want to do. Open your bolt ring clasp and then having put that drop onto a jump ring, you can then have a series of different earrings for on holiday and that yeah, without having to take yeah, you know, that load of earrings. Um, amazing, well done, well done. Oh, I can squeeze one more item in. This is so pretty, I'm glad, so glad you said that, Ross, because this is so lovely. Um, this is the last auction of the day, though. Again, oh, Mother of beautiful. Pearl with a pearl. It would go so beautifully with Linda's kits. Look how nice that is. It's almost like um, a ballet dancer's skirt. Oh, it is, it? Yeah. yes. Yeah, you, could put, you could actually add a slightly larger round pearl on top of that and create something that sort of is a stylized angel or oh, lovely. dancer or something. So mother it? of pearl in the actual uh, um, shell and, of course, the um, genuine cultured pearl. You can see all that sterling silver on the reverse there as well. Look how pretty that is. Good luck. Make sure you check it out. This is our finale of the day. So sweet. That on a chain. Like a christening present, that wouldn't it? I was going to say that. Christening, yeah. christening present. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Love it. Nine ninety nine 99 purely because it's been a pretty amazing Wednesday. Um, so a little bit of a finale deal for you all. Amazing. Is there quantity of these available? 40 or rather just under. Angela snapped up three straight away. Well done to you. You're not alone, Angela. Five, Debbie, Stella, Gerda. Um, new customers, Karen, Debbie, well done to you, Mary in Cambridgeshire. So sweet. So sweet. It is beautiful. It's beautifully engineered, isn't it? And of course, you've got the, the story, haven't you, of, of how pearls actually form? Yes, with the, the, within the, the design of the jewellery. Yeah. Amazing. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We're running out of time, but Linda, when are you back with us? Do you know as of yet? I don't know as of yet. Soon, no. I hope. Soon um, we hope. I have no idea. I think hopefully I might find, may find out today. Okay, fingers yeah. crossed then. Um, I'm back with you bright and early in the morning where I've got the lovely Charlie. So very excited. It's our first show together actually with Charlie. Uh, we've also got a selection of Nan Hong. We've got some beautiful chains, got some amazing pearls. And also, um, we, te we teased you with the Black Series Jadeite, didn't we? Um, didn't have time to squeeze it in, but we'll bring that in tomorrow's show as well. So make sure you tune in tomorrow um, for the lovely Charlie. Thank you. As Thank always, you. Well, I'm going to go and order my Tiggy and, sorry, my Willow and Tig collection. Oh. See you soon. <laughs>